on, oh, what are you doing? Leaving these. Who are you? Did you leave some here yesterday as well? I might have. Why? Can you tell me who they're from? Who's sending them? I can't, no. All they tell me is where to leave them. What, but, but, but they're from this florist, yeah? Yeah. Leave them on the steps, they said. Which is what I've done. See ya. Put the side, next one creaks. Oh. What oh, the no. What are you doing? We're just going. Well, uh, yeah, well I can see that. Don't say out to Fizz, will you? Hello? What's happening? Why is everybody oh, up? Great, now everyone's gonna know. Uh no, it's okay. Um does your dad know you're here? Not unless you tell him. So where does he think you are? Schoolmates. So let him go on thinking it. What harm is it doing? Well, she's lying to her dad for one thing. What's all this? What have you been up to? Never mind me. Um, I just caught these two on their way out. <gasps> Chill out! And I thought I could hear noises. Look, I'm sorry, OK? Only can we not tell Katie's dad? Yeah, because he'll kill me. And then he'll probably uh, kill me as well. Well, I don't know. Hey, don't look at me. Oh, why don't we all just calm down, eh? And have a bit of breakfast. I mean, where were you two going to go? Oh. School. A bit early, aren't you? Chesney, she's your guest. Get the two of you some breakfast while I go get myself ready. Yeah, OK. Mm. What are you doing up? Did you hear him? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, make you a cup of tea, shall yeah, I? Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Oh. <sighs> Morning, lads. Morning. Morning. Dad, have you been sleeping on the settee again? Well, you see... Your daddy had indigestion, so he was more comfortable down here. Yeah, but it's gone now. I'm all right now. Oh, you hope you are. I hope everything's OK, yeah. Claire, love, she me and you go for a drink this lunchtime. No. Nope. I'd just like to, you know, talk about things. Why don't you talk now? There's something Mummy and Daddy have to talk about in private. No, we don't. Well, I think we do. Please. No. Right, come on, boys, we're behind the clock this morning and they start school even earlier in France, so we don't want to start getting into bad habits, do we? Right, I'll get what I can on credit cards. Great, how much? I don't know, maybe six grand. That's not enough. Well, it's a start. Anyway, she's going to have to come down. We can't manage 20. Well, we're going to have to, because you promised her and you didn't let me... Sorry to interrupt. It's all right. You really? No, I haven't come to work. Um, just Cairns asked me if I can come and collect his knives, if that's OK. What's so you want them for? Oh, I forgot to give you this. I mean, he just left a note. He didn't, he didn't even talk to anyone. I think so, yeah. What, he's resigned? Oh, I'm so sorry. Although I don't know why I'm apologising. For your stupid boyfriend? So is it all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. What's what I go and do that for? If else is a change or something, whatever. We've got more important things to be talking about. Yeah, uh, look, I don't think Kylie's got any intention of taking Max with him. Maybe not, but if you start messing with her, she's just going to do it to spite us. Yeah, you're probably right. Even so, we can't give her what we haven't got. Yeah, but we can give her what we can and never mind where we get it from, right? Cheers for that. I think he was a bit worried that Liz was going to chuck him away. <sighs> or at him, by the sounds of it. Oh, dear. Anyway, see you later. Yep. See yep. Ya. Right, we better make a start. Yeah, come on, we've got till dinner time. Don't be late! I've got my 20 week scan this afternoon. Get to see Dave is out. It's a little face and everything. Oh, honest. Yeah, and then they give you a photo to take away with you. Oh, no. So, this? Why are you here? You've been here all night? You have, haven't you? You lying little... Yeah, well, I had to lie, so I knew you'd be like this. How do you expect me to be? And you've known about this, have you? No, no she didn't. And I've got to go, I've got to catch my bus. No, you wait here. Katie! I've got to go as well. Hey, why don't we get together later, talk about this? I can talk to my own daughter without your help, thank you. Well, I know, but... Just come round after work. We'll have a nice cup of tea. We'll try and sort it all out. And that toe rag she's been seeing, he'll be there, will he? He's not a toe rag, but yes, he will. Right, yes, then I will be there. And so will my 16 year old daughter. Right, it's just got birthday on Monday, right? So I'll invite a few people and we'll have a surprise do it at the Rovers. Well, not too much of a surprise, eh? No, no, it'll be okay. Mm. I'll see you later. See ya. Hey, Kev, guess what he did last night? Well, he turned himself over, so he goes from lying on his tummy to lying on his back. With just a little bit of help, but not much. So, you can't tell me who ordered them, because you don't know. Right, well, thanks anyway. Bye. Yeah, I'm sorry about 
what happened before. What happened? With Katie. Oh, yeah, right. But we are probably seeing one another. It's not just like one night. Sure, yeah. Bye. Bye. Charlotte, I have to talk to you, and I mean have to. So if you're not going to answer your phone, I'm going to have to come and find you at school, OK? Oh, somebody looks pleased with himself. I was just thinking, one day we'll look back and think this is where it all started. An old railway viaduct in Weatherfield. Where are what's to have it? Our empire. <laughs> How many businesses do you need for an empire? Oh, I don't know. 25, 30? I'll remind you of this conversation when we're opening our latest in Shanghai. <laughs> That's a long way. Oh, well, come a long way. I don't think we're going to stop at this, do you? Well, yeah, I did, actually. Oh, no, I've got dreams of an empire. <laughs> And I've got nightmares that we're not going to be ready. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, hiya. How's it going? I didn't know what time you were opening at, considering you're not opening at all yet, if that makes any sense. Perfect sense. So, no regrets about leaving the Rovers? It's just wonderful not having old Ma McDonald queening it about the place. <laughs> I hope you don't talk about us like that. Not while you're still paying me. <laughs> anyway, who makes the coffee around this establishment? You do. I knew there was a catch. So... Two men, one woman. So? So, shouldn't we have a bit of glamour? Somebody who can draw the punters in? That's why you're here. Well, I'll take that as a compliment, but no, I meant somebody behind the bar, somebody you can flirt with. Like I said. And somebody who'll put the hours in and stand behind that bar all night every night, because I won't, I have a life. Oh, your life can wait. Think about Shanghai. Do you know what? I think I know the very person. Go on. Oh, no, I'm not telling you till I've asked her first. Another visitor. It's non-stop. Everyone wants to see the baby. Yeah. Hi, Pam. Oh, hiya, love. Hiya, hiya. Hi, Mal. Oh, so, we're arranging this christening. We go to see the vicar, right? And he says, are you both practising Christians? And Molly says no, and he's looking straight at me, so just says, yeah, 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 of course we are. And then it says, and the baby, he definitely is. <laughs> I've only one question to ask, and you know what that is. And the answer's yes. Kevin is still going to be the godfather. And why? Because I can't think of a way of stopping him. You could have stopped him by not asking him in first place. That wasn't me. It was Tyrone. Poor Tyrone. No, he's not poor Tyrone. He's the happiest he's ever been in his life. Only because he doesn't know just how unhappy he should be. Oh, for goodness sake. Is this what you've come round for? To remind me that I once made the biggest mistake of my life? Well, thank you, but I don't need reminding. I've got a permanent reminder right here. Which I'm not saying that I'm sorry about. It's just... I'm not likely to forget, am I? Of course you're not, no, love. Hey, and I'm here to help you and support you. And always will be, whatever happens. Nothing's going to happen. Charlotte, listen, right? I'm here. You haven't answered, so I've had no choice. I'm outside at the main gate, and if you don't come out, then I'm just going to have to come in and find you, which you might not think that I'll do, but I will, I promise you, because, well, I just can't take any more of this. Mrs. Stape. Hello, Fiona State, yes? Yeah. Well, can I ask you a favour? Only my husband said he'd meet me here and... Well, I don't know where he is. On his way, I suppose. Is there someone that can go before me? Because I'd really like him to be here. Yeah, I think we can manage that. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. So, if you'd like to take a seat again. Mrs Cooper. You never wanted to see me again. Why do you keep turning up in my life? I think you know why. I haven't a clue. And what you should know is I can't just walk out of a lesson. It's you who's been sending them, isn't it? Sending what? The flowers, the bouquets. It must be you, because you were there when we buried Colin. You and nobody else. Keep your voice down. What flowers? Oh, come on. Stop playing stupid games. What you try to do, scare me. I'll tell you what does scare me. That other people are going to start wondering, and then they'll start investigating. I don't know what you're on about. Yes, you do! No, I don't. What's more, I've got to get back to a class. You don't know what it's like for me. 
I can't take any more of well, it. Well, talk to somebody else. Talk to your little wifey, but don't come bothering me. Wait, no! These are only suggestions. Rhubarb and haddock potato cakes. They used to go down great in the submarine. Mind you, most things did. I can't imagine there's much competition. Hardly any. <laughs> oh, would you look who it is? A present from your former employer. From Liz? Oh, the darling woman. She shouldn't have entered the trouble. What is it? His P45. And um, a few choice words to go with it on how she feels about people she takes pity on and gives a job to who then throw it back in her face. Takes pity on? <laughs> I was the one doing her the favour. Working in our grotty little pub. Where I still work. Well, you do. Yeah, but you don't have to. Why don't you follow Kieran's example and come and work here for us? Are you serious? She is. She mentioned you earlier, and you're not by name. Well, won't she be good? Terrific, yeah. So? Tempting, but, but what? Look, you'd be working with Kieran again. The old team. Hmm. No. No, if I leave the rovers, it won't be to work behind another bar. Sorry. Kieran, tell us she has to. I wouldn't dare. Anyway, she'd only do the opposite. Yeah, right. Okay, see you later. See you later, love. Mwah. Bye. Bye. So what are we going to do now? Have a times? Nah, I'll just think of somebody else. <laughs> if you want to look at the screen... Yeah, I am. So is it all right? Baby's got a very strong heartbeat, which is the main thing at this stage. In fact, I can put that on for you to listen to. Sorry, babe. Sorry, it's all over coming. Where have you been? No, 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 where you been? Look at that. That's the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. What's that noise? That's your baby. It's its little heart beating. Isn't it fantastic? Makes everything else unimportant. Doesn't matter. Park, please, Liz. All right, Ashley. You ready for another Jack? No, son, I'm all right with this either. How's that family of yours? Great, yeah. Except for Claire threatening to take her and the boys to France to live with the mother. Nice. Well, it looks like it. It's all my fault, like. Well, it would be. It's the husband's job to take all the blame for everything. Right. You got the money. Keep your voice down. Either you've got the money or I'm off to Cyprus and taking Max with me. Stevie's getting it. Twenty thousand? Yeah. So sit down, let's have a drink while you're waiting, what are you having? Have a lager. Hiya. Oh hello. I don't want anything to eat. Oh, me neither. I have to do any shift here. All oh, right. So you're not in the for the job. I mean, it wouldn't break your heart if you were to work somewhere a bit more glamorous. Well, there's glamorous and then there's glamorous. <laughs> no, not pole dancing. Good. Working for us in New Bar. All dolled up every night. Nice place to be. Getting some good tips from upmarket punters. They want as generous as you think. Well, the pay will be better than you get here. I can promise you that. Yeah, and I'll be getting in at two every morning and never seeing Ross. Oh, of course you would. Listen, I wouldn't be doing it if it meant I never got to see Simon. And when will you? We'll arrange shifts. I'll arrange them so we get to spend time with our families. That's a promise. Oh, go on, say yes. I'll think about it. Think about it, then say yeah. We open a week on Friday. Gotta go. See you later. So the art's okay, then. I just had indigestion. Oh, I've been really stupid. I make Claire think it was angina. Of course, she was upset and concerned for and me. And you thought, this is nice, I'll have some more of this. I suppose I did, yeah. Mm. You make pies in that shop of yours, don't you, lad? Sometimes, yeah. Mm. Well, what you want now is humble pie. And eat it in front of her every last crumb. I told you, didn't I? You did. I said to me, you stay well away from him. And then I find out. She only went and spent last night in his bed. What, in their house? Well, I caught her coming out of this morning. Oh, dear. A 270, please. Mm. Yeah. You, uh, you gonna join me? 
I'll just have a soda water. So, the message obviously didn't get through before. Well, I promise you it will this time. Shame, innit? All them years it took us to get together and now you're off. Well, you never know. Might bump into one another again. Yeah, I hope so. And this 20,000? It's coming. Well, you know what? I'm trying to believe you, but I'm not sure I do anymore. Well, let me get you another drink and just give Stevie a ring and tell him to get a move on, all right? Tell him he's got ten minutes. Ah, baby, eh? I never thought I'd ever see anything as wonderful as that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a sandwich so I can get into work for this afternoon. Do you want me to make you one? Uh, yeah. OK, thanks. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you know Katie that was here this morning? You mean last night? Well, yes. Anyway, me and her, we bumped into her dad, so he's coming round after work. For? Well, to sort of have a talk about things. Oh, and Chez. Oh, no. I had to do something, John. Else he'd have just come marching in and knocked Chesney's block off. Yeah, which he's probably going to do anyway. Right. Well, we're going to have to try and stop him, aren't we? Sure we are. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. Who's looking after the shop? Well, no, I've closed it. Oh, yeah. What have you done that for? Oh, no, hang on. No, it's all right. I know why now. You've been drinking. I just went for a quick pint. Oh, well, that'll make everything all right, won't it? I asked you to come with me so we could talk. Yeah, and I said no. So what, you went on your own and talked to a pint glass? I talked to Jack Duckworth if you must know. Not about me, I hope. About how sorry I am how things have got and how I don't know what to do to make it right. Oh, yeah? And what did he say? To do what I'm doing now and to talk to you. And is it working? It doesn't seem to be. No, I don't think it is either. So perhaps you better go back to Jack and see if he's got any better ideas. Sticky toffee pudding. Yeah, everyone does that. Oh, no, I don't like that one. Oh, they loved it. On the submarine, yeah, sure. I downloaded this one last night. Uh, who wants puddings anyway? You know, people just like to read what they were. Ah, new recruit. So, what do you think? Very nice, yeah. Do you like the music? Yeah, it's a... Uh... We are like the ATM then. You know, the best looking, most attractive, most talented people in the one place at the one time. <laughs> we can't lose. Well, but can I just say something? Well, you don't agree. I can see for you three this is like a big adventure. Oh, yeah, I hope so. I don't need an adventure. I need a job that's going to put money in my pocket. Yeah, well, we'll be paying. That's what you mean. <laughs> yeah, of course we will. Yeah, and I know you said it'd be more than what I'm on now, but how much? <laughs> you said that. Yes. And do I get a job description and a contract? Well, I wouldn't mind one of them. <laughs> OK, OK. Welcome to the wonderful world of human resources. I'll draw one up and have it to you tonight. Uh, and you as well. <laughs> what, he actually said that? He doesn't want Terry at his funeral. Why? He says he doesn't think of him as a son anymore. He just wants people there that he loves. I suppose... Anyway, don't say out. Hey, Kev, come and have a look. Just had a great big smile on his face. Which is gone now, so, uh, so will we. Oh, we'll be getting in your way. I'll see you later. Yeah, OK, bye. Bye, little Jack. Look after your mum till I get home. Well, you know... I can't imagine what life was like without him. And just the two of us in that house, what did we do all day? I don't know. Well, I won't want to go back to it. You see, I told you on his way. Yeah, but what's he brought with him? I've got as much as I can, as much as I'm going to be able to get. Uh, and what's that supposed to mean? Look, I've maxed all my credit cards, plus all the cash I can get hold of. So it's not 20? It's still lack of a lot of money. But less than 20. How much? 10. Well, a bit more than 10. 10,200. Nah, forget it. Kylie, hang on. You promised me 20. It's you that's breaking your promises, not me. Will you just wait a minute? Why? So you can keep on playing games? I thought you said you wanted Max. I thought you said you'd do anything yeah, for him. Yeah, we will, we will. But you won't give me what you promised. Just. Just wait there and let me just talk to Steve. What is the point? Please, one minute. You're going to have to get 20, you're just going to have to. I can't. Well, then we can't have Max. There's no point thinking you can bargain with her, because you can't. You can only bargain with people who've got any sense, and she has not So what am I going to do? Rob a bank? I don't know anything. You've just got to get 20. Right, OK. Yeah. I'll try. 
Yeah, he'll get it. He's gonna get you the 20. How? Well, it's just isn't your problem, is it, love? Stevie said he'd get it, so we'll get it. Oh, what, like 10 minutes ago he said he couldn't get another penny? So what's changed? I'll tell you what's changed. I'm gonna go to the bank and I'm gonna borrow it. Well, what if they won't give it to you? You see this? Yeah. Mine. Round the corner, cab firm, also mine. I'll get an overdraft on both and that should add up to what you want. Well, how long's that going to take? I don't know, a day or two. Oh, no, 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 no. An hour or two. That's what you've got. Now, I'm going to the cafe to get something to eat. You can bring it me in there. But this time, it's 20. You got that? 20 grand. Can you really get it? I don't know. Where do we pull the photo of that scan? They're all going to want to see it. Oh, I think I've got it. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, cheers, love. Mm. Oh, and if you see Chesney telling me he hasn't got to go out till after Katie and her dad have been. Are you listening? Yeah. Well, what did I say? About Katie and her mm. dad. Actually, I have to go out later. What? What for? Just a meeting to do with work. Well, you'll be here when he comes. She'll be. Oh, yeah. Good. OK, well, i better get off. Bye, love. Bye. We said we'd never use the business account for anything personal. Yeah, I know. Because the times when it would have suited me. Yeah, yeah, sure. Funny, once we start taking money out... Yeah, where will it end, look? It's just... I just say you're going to pay it back. Which I will. Well, how? I'll get a bank loan from the Rovers, but look, I need it today, I need it now. And the one thing you haven't told me, what's it for? I'd rather not. Well, then. <sighs> OK, OK, OK. Look, it's to buy Max. Little Max, you know, Carly's son. I know. Well, um, we give her 20 grand, she goes off to Cyprus with a new boyfriend, leaves us with Max. So, Becky's desperate we find the money, which means I'm desperate we find the money. You do lead an exciting life. <sighs> look, I've got half of it on credit cards. Only isn't it illegal? Look, we're only buying him so we can look after him, give him a proper home. Okay, if there's any okay, other... okay, okay, okay. I can have it. Look, I can yeah. hardly say no to giving a kid a decent home, can I? <sighs> Mate, look, you're a legend. Kiss you, but... Uh, just, just pay the money back. Yeah, yeah. Look, I've got to go. I feel, you know... Just go. Go. But you think I've got a right sheep coming in here, don't you? Well, I was a touch surprised to see you. What? Pay me debts, me? Well, sometimes. And, uh, this is one of them times. Ah, glad to hear it. Except, I have to wait till somebody gives me what they owe me. So if you can just add this on to what I already owe you and uh, another can of coke and you can stick that on as well. I see. Yes. Mm. Hiya. I've got to be quick, so I'm not supposed to be here. You text said you wanted to warn me. Yeah, came out of your house this morning and what happened? I bumped straight into my dad dinner. No. Yeah, and he's coming round to yours tonight and he is really, really not happy. He's coming round to my house? Yeah, your sister invited him. So what are we going to do? Well, I think you should stand up to him. Tell him we're old enough to do as we like. But won't that just make him even madder? Yeah. Here it will. How's it going? I'll be in about half hour or so. Happen a bit more. OK, I'm just going to uh, pop on for ten minutes. See to something. Yeah, sure. Right, OK, girls, I've just been on the phone to my manager. Oh, my manager. Well, he is my manager. What else would you call him? Unlock it. <laughs> right, anyway, he wants me to do this job tomorrow. It's in the country, but I told him I don't know because it's my little sister's 16th birthday. So um, we're having a big party, aren't we? No. Uh, a little party. With a couple of friends, two or three, nothing fancy. Oh, right. Um, OK, I'll tell him I can do this job tomorrow. Could you ask? You don't want a big party, do you? No, do we heck? What, and have everyone watching us? See what we get up to when we've had a drink? No, thank you. Jack's not in, is he? Well, no, but he could be back any minute. Right, I'll uh, try and make it quick. I've tried. I really have tried. Telling myself, your baby's nothing to do with me. Tired owns the dad and I'm just going to stay out of it. So, so what are you doing here? Well, it's not that simple, is it? When Ty talks about nothing else, all day it's what baby Jack's been up to. Oh, you should see him, Kev. 
because he loves him. Yeah, I'm not denying that. All I'm saying is it doesn't make my life any easier. And then I see you out pushing him in his pram and hear other folk talking about him. It's all anyone seems to talk about, at least when I'm around. So, um, so what am I supposed to do? Tell them to stop? Oh, what I want you to do... I want you to agree to us doing a DNA test. <laughs> Look, you've always said yourself you're not sure who the father is. Yes, I am. It's Tyrone. No, you don't know who the biological father is. None of that matters. Yeah, it matters to me. I've tried not to let it. But it's there, nagging at me all the time. Am I the child's father or not? I tried telling myself, well, I'll never know. But it's no good. I have to. Well, I don't. So it's too bad. You can't just say that. Yeah, I can. There is not going to be a DNA test. I don't need it, no. I will know. It's not going to happen. You'll still expect me there at the christening. <laughs> I'd a lot rather you weren't. Make an excuse, say you're poorly. I'd be delighted. Yeah, well, I can't do that. Well, I can't agree to a DNA test. Not now, not ever. So there we are. So you wouldn't talk to me this morning. But I'm not going to go away. In fact, what I'm going to do... I'm going to come round to your house to see you right now. And this time, I'm going to stay right on your doorstep till you agree to talk to me. So it might as well be sooner rather than later. Save us both a lot of trouble, because I'm not going Dan! anywhere. Where are you off to? Uh, well, uh, as I said, I've just got someone I've got to do for Peter. Well, it's going to have to wait, because remember we've got Katie's dad coming round. Uh, well, but can't you talk to him? No! Not on my own. I'm frightened of him. You can tidy up while I'm at work. I don't want him thinking his daughter's been stopping in a dock house. Well, I'm going to have to go out later. Yes, but after he's gone, hmm? Hey, Larson. Oh, uh, hello. Right, we've got it. Well, Steve has. And it's 20 this time? 20 grand, yes. I mean, it's our money, mate. So let's see it. In a minute. Now. I've had enough of this in a minute, in an hour, sometime right, tomorrow. listen to me first. What we're doing here is probably illegal, and if it isn't, it flipping should be. I don't see why. Shut up and listen. So, I definitely don't want anybody knowing. Especially Liz. Yes. So don't go throwing money around, don't go telling people about the deal or where you got it from, OK? And then we're going to tell Sep Dimitri. He didn't know enough English to tell anybody else. So this money, let's see it. Because I won't believe you have it till I do. Well, I can see it. But you ain't getting it until we get Max. Give me the money now and I'll bring him round tonight. You bring Max round tonight and then you'll get your money. Half. Give me half now and half when I bring him. OK. Right, I'll just keep my occupied. Hey, Royston, are you all right? Very well, yes. Good. Surprised to see your sister back in here? Yeah, I know. Well, what it is, you see, um, she is off to Cyprus, but she's going to leave the little lad with us to look after. So, um, yeah, it's just what we're trying to arrange, like. Having a holiday. A very long one, we hope. Right, Roy. You know I said I pay my debts? There you go. 100 smackers. Well, plus uh, what I've just had, but you're not bothered about that, are you? Strangely enough, no. See you tonight? Yes. Are my deserve or what? Probably, yeah. Well, you definitely are, because you're only doing this for me, ain't you? Well, if you're telling me there might be another reason, can you tell me? Because I can't think of one. It is your house. You don't have to let him in. I invited him. Yeah, well, tell him you've changed your mind. We don't want to see him. You're going to have to talk to him sooner or later. Why am I? Because he's Katie's dad. So she might have to talk to him. I don't see what I do. Well, because... No, I don't either. Because you want to go on seeing Katie, don't you? Yeah. So you've got to show him what a nice lad you are. Though why are we giving him biscuits? Oh, because I'm trying to make it civilised. To show him that this is a proper home and not some drug den. And it might help if you put a clean shirt on. This is clean. Well, it don't look it. You know, you could do worse than just apologising. 
He's sorry about last night, he realised it shouldn't have happened. But I'm not sorry. Well then you better hope he likes biscuits. I just don't get what you want me there. Because what did you think? It's you that's caused all this. It's just to show me off. What I'm trying to do is show you what's good and what's bad, what's right and what's wrong. Since you don't seem to have the faintest idea. It's not wrong, I'm 16. I know you're flipping 16. And you know, because I've already told you, that being 16 doesn't make you an adult and free to make a mess of your life. Oh, God, you're here. Come in. How do? Nice to see you. Sit down. Thank you. Now, what can I get you to drink? We've got tea, Nothing, coffee. Thanks. Come here to talk, not to drink. Oh, come on, you can have a cup of tea. As or you something. may know, I brought up my two daughters on my own. Not the easiest of tasks. And not made any easy when folks like to think of as neighbours encourage my youngest here to disobey my instructions and behave like... Well, I'm not going to use any bad language. Let's just say behave in a shameful fashion, eh? We didn't encourage anybody. We didn't even know she was here. Come on, house as big as this and you didn't know. We didn't. Which might make us stupid or blind and deaf, but we didn't. And if you don't believe that, then fine, don't believe it. You already told him you didn't. Yeah, well, I'm telling him now. Calm down, calm down. No, why should I? Nobody ever takes any notice of what I say, or if they do, it's just to tell me I'm lying. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all of this. I'm sick of everything. All right, you didn't know she was here, I accept that. Thank you. Can I just ask you what your attitude would have been had you known? Well, we wouldn't want her disobeying you. Of course we wouldn't. So you'd have kicked her out? I think we would, yeah. Possibly. Right. Well, I'm telling her now, in front of you, so nobody's in any doubt. I don't want her seeing this lad again. So, are you going to back me up? They better not, or I'm going. Yeah, and I'm coming with you. Can you believe this? Look, Owen, we're not Chesney's mum and dad. No, but you're as near as he's got, by all accounts. I want to know, are you going to back me up or not? Well, we wouldn't want Katie here if you're not happy with it. But we are talking about in this house. We can't lay the law down for what happens in the great wide world. All right, fair enough. But I'll deal with the great wide world. So you two, you've heard that. Whatever's been going on stops now and stops for good, OK? Very well, love, thanks. Hey, what's it say about Kieran joining the enemy? Oh, yeah, well, fell up with the mum later, didn't it? Well, why can't you do that, then? Come and work for me. Because then what happens when I fall out with you? Where do I go then? You wouldn't fall out with me. Yeah, I would. There you go, we're arguing our red. One pound twenty, please. <laughs> Thank you. Then can I see your favour then? What? Our kid's supposed to be calling in with Max and um you won't see it nasty, will you? Oh, that is a big favour. I know. I know you don't like her and it's with a really good reason. But it's just Maxie and, you know, we don't want to go upsetting him and if you and I start arguing, then I'll... I shall be civil as long as she is. OK, fair enough. All right, thank you. You can't stop us seeing each other. Oh, no. Chase, that is not going to help. True, though. What's true is that I'm your father and as such I'm responsible for your moral welfare. Listen, I'm going to have to leave you all to it. What? Do you have to? <laughs> yeah. Look, well, there's nothing more to say, is there? I think we're agreed that what happened was unacceptable and we're going to do all we can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes, no more sneaking around, no. I think they both get the message. Right, come on then, young lady. I'm sure you've got plenty of homework to do. I haven't, no. Then I shall be ringing the school tomorrow asking why not. Bye, then. Bye. Bye, then. Well, thanks. What else could we say, Chesney? We could hardly defend you, could we? That's what happens now. We stop seeing each other. You really think that's going to happen? I will try not to be too late. Oh, you've not even had anything to eat. I'll get something. Oh, and this was supposed to be such a nice day with me getting me 20 weeks scan and everybody happy. Instead, we've all been arguing and now... Oh, now I'm left on my own. I can't believe that. What, you thought we was the two most popular girls in college? The ones everybody wanted to be with? Uh, we're the two people most definitely don't want to be with. Yeah, or they'll get called the same names as we do. Like what? But, you know, also just like lesbian. But like, oh, stay away from them too. Because mm, you never know who they might fancy next. Well, is this why you don't want a big party? Yeah. Well, it's one of the reasons. Well, don't you worry about them. Who are they anyway? Half of them don't even wear bras. Right, <laughs> I've got to go. 
But you know what you have? What well, they haven't? It's a big sister that's on your side. <laughs> right, that'll be Jason for me. Jason? Yeah. We're going out, did you not know? Why would we know? Well, it's no secret. And I... Mm. Rosie and Jason. Mm. And we worry about what people say about us. <laughs> You know what I got? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. This. You know where it's from? Well, how can I when I haven't seen it? You! You sent it just like you sent the flowers. And how do I know? Because only two of us know what happened and I'm certainly not sending them. So who does that leave? So who sent this? You go. I saw what you did. Is that what yours says? Sit down. I'll get us a drink. So, let's hope they keep their side of the bargain and keep that Chesney under control. Like you keep your Katie under control. I'll try. I'm sure they'll try, but... Kids have minds of their own, you so it doesn't mean you have to give in to them, does it? No. Liz, I'm doing what I believe is right. Folks can laugh at me if they want, but... I'm not laughing! Well, I shall keep on. That's all I can do. Maybe you do think I'm just being charitable, but I am not. I need someone. Rosie? <laughs> and yeah, I do need someone with a sense of humour, which you've just demonstrated you have. Look, give me a call when you make the right decision. Goodbye. Bye. Do you think you should have a middle name? It's just that Jack Dobbs sounds a bit... Honest and decent, like someone who, if you'd lost your purse and he found it, you'd know you'd get it back with every penny in it. No, no, I don't need one. Who does? I'm gonna be so proud, you know, stood there next to you, holding our son. Or you holding him. Or Kev holding him, I don't know, maybe it's the Godfather. Well, someone will be holding him, won't they? Not just gonna be lay there on the floor. Do I have to do a speech or anything? No. Oh, Kev might do that, might I? I don't know why you're speaking to me like I'm some sort of expert on christenings. How many do you think I've been to? I don't know. Well, none, apart from my own, which I can't remember, so we just shut up about it. You're making me nervous. Oh, no, no, I don't mean to do that. And there's nothing to worry about. It'd be fantastic. It'd be the best christening ever. So, somebody saw us. What about the old guy from the newspaper shop? Norris. We bumped into him a couple of times. He got the police. He wants to send nasty letters. Then I know. Fizz. Eh? Blue sky thinking. Fizz is my wife. She's carrying my child. Besides, she don't know anything about it. I'm persuaded by your last argument. Whoever it is, they know who we are and they know where we live. Go on. No, that's it. I don't have anything else to suggest. So, she wants a big party, but... I don't have one. Cos either no one will come, or if they do, it'll just be to call her and try and ask her names. Yeah, I think I told her that that time. Anyway, never mind Sophie and a pet. It makes. I'm going to make sure that she's the best party ever. What, is that what she wants? Of course she will. She's like me and Janice. We're your sisters. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing here? I've come to have a drink with the girl of my dreams. Oh. Where is Liz? <laughs> <laughs> she's just nipped out for a fag. I'm going to be a bit private time with her. Then she won't be worrying herself about me. So I can have a pint. Hey, come on through. Had you worried, did we? No. No, no, no. Are you all right, Maxie? Yeah? You want sleep? Well, of course it does. Not like. Go on, get through. Right. Let's see your money. Shh. OK, I'll whisper it. Let's see your money. So do you want to, uh, you want to sit down and have a drink? Why? Well, you don't want us here. There's only one thing you want and only one thing we want. So let's just do it so we can go out your way. Suits me. Right, here's the other half then. Cheers. Good, eh? Good, yes. Right. Max, love, eh? Mum, eh, has to go away for a bit. So you're going to stay with your Auntie Becky, OK? Will you be a good lad for her? Max, you're okay. 
Um, that's the rest of his stuff there. At least all we could carry. There anything else, is there? Not that I can think of. Say goodbye to your mummy. Come on. Good night. There's a I dinner said, place. come on. What well, harm am I doing? Oh, look at you, what harm. Get out. Still got a mouth on you, then? Oh, and you can get out as well. We all know the only reason you're here. Well, it's not to see you, that's for sure. Goodbye, sleep well. Liz, <clears throat> I have to say... Are you going? Or not? If he's going, then I'm going and all. No, there's no need for that. Yeah, there is, babe. Liz, you only mad at Kieran because he's left working here, which we've all got a perfect right to do. Yeah, and I've got a perfect right to decide who comes in my pub and who doesn't. Then you can bar me and all, because I've had a, another offer of a job, which I wasn't going to take, but now I am. Do you know, it'll be such a relief not to have to watch you showing all you've got. Hey! And rubbing yourself up against him every chance you get. What, is that because you wish you were doing it? No. Unlike you, some of us have standards. You are. Most punters come in here and look at you and just think you're a tart. Get out. Go on. Take him with you. Don't worry. I am doing. Come on. Looks like I won't be stopping. Don't come back. Either of you ever. Don't say a word. Not one word. <laughs> what is she doing out there? Who cares? Well, I'm supposed to. Look, if anybody asks, we're just looking after Max while his mum's away. Save for the next 20 years. And we don't mention the money. Not to me mum, not to anybody. What money? Exactly. Whoever it is. Norris. Fizz. Not fizz. The question is, what do they want? To scare us half to death. Yeah, well, they've already done that. But, I mean, we've had the flowers, then the letters. What's going to be next? <sighs> I was only trying to clear the air. Interfering, more like. Why can't you just mind your own business? Hey, what goes on under this roof is my business. Yeah, and I live here as well. You had no right even letting him in. He's just trying to protect his daughter. The guy's a control freak. Anyway, we're not doing anything wrong. He obviously begs to differ. This is nothing to do with you, OK? Hey, don't speak to John like that. Yeah, but take his side. It's not about taking sides, Ches. It's about trying to make this family work. OK. If we're such a family, where's the support? You're supposed to back me up. I always fight tooth and nail for you, Ches, but come on, you're going to have to meet me halfway here. There is no halfway. Katie's my girlfriend. End of story. I'm not giving her up. Not for you. Not for a red case dad. And not for anyone. Right, then you're going to have to face the consequences. Like I'm worried. Ah, that boy! Please, tell me this is good practice. <laughs> Any death threats? Sorry? From Owen. Oh, no, it's, um, it's just Bill's. Oh, then we're winning. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be doing this today, Sal. I'm up to my neck. Oh, stop complaining. Well, I'm only staying for one drink afterwards. You leave when I leave and that's final. Now sign that card for little baby Jack. There you go, love. Thank you. It's not very imaginative. Mum, <laughs> you shouldn't give me this, Mum. You'll buy yourself something nice. Thank you. Oh, them boots. Then where your head are you? Uh, sensible winter coat wouldn't hurt. Oh, yeah, and how about a matching hat and scarf to go with? New slash judge, your little girl is 16. Sensible has left the building. <laughs> oh, I think it's cute. Oh. It's underwear. Oh, you're kidding, right? Oh, don't be such a prude anyway, underwear. It's always essential. Yeah, especially when it's sexy underwear. <laughs> right, it was a free sample, but it didn't fit. It was a bit too small. 
only a present from you could also qualify as a put down. Uh, excuse me, check the label. <laughs> oh, thank you, sis. Um, <laughs> this is just me left then. Okay, now that is gorgeous. Oh, Sham, that's beautiful. It must have cost you a fortune. What was she thinking of? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Jack didn't eat much. Oh, well, he's just excited. Isn't he, mate, eh? It's a big day. Right, this is Christening Lark. First up, there's water involved. You're getting wet, mate. Sorry, comes with the territory. <laughs> hey, but it's not all bad. Because you also get godparents today. Yeah, you do. Kevin and Sally. What's a godparent? Very good question. Well, imagine life is a car, right? I mean, in our case, it's just a Ford. But it could be a Subaru Impreza or an Audi TT or, and this is my dream motor, a Lancia Integrale. Left hand drive only, but a tool nonetheless. <laughs> Where was I? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, a car, right? So a car has got two kinds of brakes, hasn't it? Yeah, a handbrake and a foot brake. When they're working. Your mum and me, we're the foot brake. I mean, our job is just to keep you safe and, you know, basically keep you going along at the right pace. And as good parents, is a handbrake. They're there to provide extra backup. And when it comes to providing extra backup, kiddo, you couldn't ask for any better than Kevin Webster. Could you? It's official. I'm never having a life again. Oh, look up. I'll stick an advert in the Gazette. Look, you can't replace the likes of Michelle and Kieran at the drop of a hat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have let your mummy buy her then. Don't even go there. Which ones? What are you doing with little Maxie today then? Well, we are going to go to the park. Ooh. Listen, I was thinking we need to start looking for a nursery. I'm already on it. Oh, say bye bye to Uncle Stevie. Have fun then. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, treasure. Hiya. You okay? Look like I've seen a ghost. Just me waist slip. Ah, come on. Oh, morning. Hiya. I was, uh, I was just looking for you. Oh, well, now you found me. Hey, I heard about your little falling out with Liz. So much for loyalty. Yeah. Look, uh, about that job. Sorry, I already filled it. Fantastic woman, actually. She's brilliant, funny, sharp as a whip. Right. Well, um, I'm glad. <laughs> So you're okay to start tomorrow then? Are you serious? Well, I don't know what to say. Well, I was about saying yes this time. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it funny how things work out? What are you on about? Well, Molly and I. I mean, it wasn't long ago that we're hardly on speaking terms and now look at us. Oh, it's terrific. I'm telling you now, we're embracing this. That child will want for nothing, not on this side of the street. Whatever Jack needs, we'll always be there for him. Haven't you gone yet? Oh, just look at the time. Shake a leg, Kevin. Oh, you're useless. Oh, look at her. Do you know, it wasn't long ago she couldn't do up her own shoelaces, and now she's doing her dad's tie. Mm. Mum! She's not your little baby anymore, Kev. I am, Dad. Of course I am. I'll be your little baby forever. Oh, I so wish my dad could see this. <laughs> what? That's why you're going to be a wonderful godfather. Hey. Uh, and personally, I think that uh, godparents are just like good caddies. Now, in a golf course, you have. Dad, uh, shut up! <gasps> are you? <laughs> oh, can I have a hold? Yeah. <gasps> oh, aren't you just so oh, delicious? Oh, looks and his cheeks could just eat her. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, Chillax, yeah? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Really? Bear not able to make it then. Tried to convince her, but she's not having it. Effie's falling apart, Jack. Oh, come on, don't talk like that. You can sort it. I wish you had your faith, mate. Well, this is the place to find it, son. All right, lads. Kev. Oh, Tyrant, if we're late, blame Kevin. Oh, no, you're all right. There's loads of time, yeah? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can... You caught it fine. Making a point, are we? Okay. Today isn't about you and me. Look, I don't know what goes on in that of yours. I got delayed at work, okay? There's no hidden agenda. Right, I think we're ready to start. Everything all right? Yeah, Mel was just reminding me not to drop the baby. <laughs> well, there you go then, mate. Take him, Kevin. He won't be <laughs> There you go. Feel free to take pictures or video. Now would Molly and Tyrone and the godparents please come forward. This will be us soon. <laughs> Faith is the gift of God to his people. In baptism, the Lord is adding to our number those whom he is calling. People of God, will you welcome Jack and uphold him in his new life in Christ? With the, with the help, help of God, God we, we will. will. Parents and godparents, the church receives Jack with joy. Today we are trusting God for his growth in faith. Will you pray for him, draw him by your example into the community of faith, and walk with him in the way of Christ? With the help, the help of, of God, God we, we will. will. In baptism, Jack begins his journey in faith. You speak for him today. Will you care for him? and help him to take his place within the life and worship of Christ Church. With the help of God, we will. In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvellous light. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. Therefore, I ask, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? We reject, we reject them. them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? We, we renounce, renounce them. them. So, what social services position? Oh, they've been great. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've had to jump through some hoops, but, you know, end of day, they want what's best for a kid, don't they? So, uh, then the adoption business wasn't an issue? Not as far as I know. Oh, that is so refreshing to hear. Honestly, it restores your faith in the system, doesn't it? Definitely. Well, it certainly seems to have given you a more positive outlook. Well, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh. Um, not exactly. No, he, he just thinks his mum's gone on holiday. And she hasn't? No. I take it you're not expecting her to return? Maybe for the odd visit. I don't know, it's, uh, it's hard to say. Look, um, push comes to shove. Carly wants to start a new life in Cyprus, so I know it sounds really harsh, but I think for her that just meant leaving the old one behind. I think it's an incredibly courageous decision. You do? Well, yeah, because Mike's welfare has to come first. I'm sorry, but I, I can't entirely share Hayley's view. Notwithstanding her wish for personal fulfilment, your sister is, in effect, abandoning her child. Please, let me finish. That said, I can't think of a better person for her to entrust Max's future to. You know how much that means to me. Thank you. Here I am, having only just come to terms with Sophie. I've got a grim show to do. Jason's all right. Sure he is. However, as a mother, you'll soon learn that all right is never quite good enough. Hey, come on, let's get a pick here, the two jacks. There you go. Tight, love me a love scooped out at road. Come on. Right, are we ready? Yeah. Say cheese. Cheese. Oh, that's gorgeous. One for the wallet, eh, Jack? No, this one I'll be carrying in my heart, Bill. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I can't wait to listen. It's all right, Molly and me understand. So what's the problem? Well, there isn't one. But your text said... Uh, I, I asked him to send it. 
I'll leave you guys to it. That's what tells me you split up. Did he know? Mm -hmm. Can't tell you how sorry I am. <laughs> Not as sorry as I am. Bites well if I can. Somehow I think we're a bit beyond that. The lad knows he's messed up. He has no right involving you, Jack. Yeah, but he has. Can he not do an old man a favour and not he speak to him? Go on, find a reason to open that bottle. No promises. Drinks are on me, Sean. Ah. And a double whiskey. Well, at least pretend you're having a good time. Aye. Right. Anybody would think you didn't want to be here. I think I'll get myself another pint. I think I'll join you. Put yourself together. If you can't play at being a godfather, at least try acting like a man. There you go, Kev. Have that one. Oh, cheers. And here's to you. This won't mean anything without you and Sal. You know, thanks to you, I am feeling so much more balanced. I mean, now I'm getting to the gym, I'm eating better. I even started cooking for myself. I reintroduced myself to my kitchen. Good. And, uh, how do you find eating alone? Oh, well, if you're asking, do I miss the company of a good bottle of wine, then the answer's yes. Have I succumbed, though? No? Good. Well, then you're doing brilliantly, because that's the first cycle you have to break, finding an excuse to have a drink. How did you manage it? Me? Never needed an excuse. I sing to myself. <laughs> okay. No, when I'm tempted, I break into song. Puts me right off, actually. Lady Gaga does it every chance. Hiya. Hey, love. We come bearing sustenance. What are you doing here? Well, I thought I'd come and find you, see whether you fancy a spot of lunch. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Ladies and gentlemen, can I present to you Lancashire Tapas? <laughs> Prepare to be transported. <laughs> So we're just going to sit here in silence. What do you expect me to say? Claire, I just want to talk. So you get Jack to Shanghai me? He was only trying to help. Anyway, it's not like you're giving us an option. Look, I can't keep saying I'm sorry. What I did was... We're sick and cruel. I was desperate. I wasn't thinking straight. Oh, now you are? There must be some way forward. I find it. So now we're back to square one. You really don't get it, do you? Ashley, you are not a part of this anymore. I'm moving to France with the boys, whether you like it or not. It's not happening. Oh, try stopping me. Because what's inside my heart at this minute, let's just say it's not angina. What's this one again? Eggy thump. You know, it's a play on words. Oh. Ecky thump. Oh. Okay. Scrambled eggs on a Lancashire muffin top. Packs a punch. Ah. <laughs> Got you. That's very imaginative. And the Widdenshaw warmer. My signature dish. Um, tastes like a hot pot. Yeah, that's because it is. He just didn't want to use the words. Out of respect. For the legend that is Betty. Well, I won't worry about that, mate. I don't think anybody's going to confuse this with hers. Mm. <laughs> <Oi>. <laughs> 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 What do you think you're playing at? Oh, not the time and the place. Oh, and the church was. You couldn't have made it more obvious if you'd have worn a sandwich board. Have you any idea how hard that was for me? We're not having this conversation again. Put it to bed. Take a DNA test. What arm can it do? I said no, and I meant no. Burying your head in the sun might work for you, but I can't live that way. <sighs> Please, I'm begging you. What? Like you begged me to have an abortion? That's what all this is about. Payback. No! No, Kevin, it's about choice. You chose not to be Jack's father when you walked away. Now, I'm choosing to believe that Tyrone is. It's as simple as that. This is great, isn't it? Boss, being here. Yeah, this is the wrong us. We're always in it. <laughs> Tell me about it. No, I mean us, together. It's like... We're all different and the same. We all know about each other. When you say we all know each other. Oh, don't encourage him. Well, we do. We've all had our rubbish times, but we can share the good as well. What happens to one 
happens to all. And that's why I love living down here. We've seen it all. What does that mean? I haven't a clue. <laughs> Hang on. Nice guy. Seriously, that was beautiful. Touch me. Oh, cheers, mate. Right, who wants another? Not you, girl. No. Them boots are amazing, I am so boring. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, hello, significant other. Uh, hello, diesel jeans. Um, hello, necklace. Uh, hello is better to give than to receive. Yeah, well, I'll uh, load you to that one then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Ellis just text me. She can make it tomorrow. What? She's a nice girl. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> She's just... <laughs> I don't know, up herself sometimes. She should be able to handle us. That's her problem. Yeah, and what about the choir? I mean, I know they're our mates, but are still going to think it's mine. Shine, three words, deal with it. <laughs> Hiya. Happy birthday, Sophie. You having a good one? Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, check my new boots. I am so borrowing them. Game line. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Well, they seem comfortable with each other. I mean, in public life. I know. Adorable, isn't it? So, do you reckon they're ready for this party tomorrow? Yeah. Why wouldn't they be? Oh. John, this is so dangerous for both of us. Whoever it is could be watching us right now. In fact, this is probably what they want. Two frightened rats hiding in the shadows. I'm sorry. I just didn't know what else to do. A lesson must be learnt before understanding dawns. Our friends become creative. I feel more of a threat than the others. Oh, you think? Just keep your voice down. Why should I? Whoever this person is, they want us to be frightened. Well, I've got news for you. I am. Do you hear that? I'm terrified! I know, and it's my fault, but please, this isn't helping. You're not the one going back to a lonely house knowing one of these is waiting for you. Why don't you just come out and show yourself and put us out of our misery? Come on! Tell us what it is you want! What on earth are we going to do? I don't know. But one thing I am certain of is we need to stick together. Oh, well, thank you for coming. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Proper do this. You guys. <laughs> Give it a rest, Kirk. Fair play. Right, now, you want any help with the presents? Uh, no, I think we'll cope. Thank you. Right. Mwah. Ty, people are leaving. Just pop to the loo and then I think we should be leaving as well. Um, I'll take him. Come on. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, didn't you know? Michelle's working for me now. Oh, great. So, between you and Nick, I've lost half myself. Oh, yeah, but let's face it. I mean, Kieran would just waste a day and all, wouldn't he? I mean, you only have to taste his Lancashire tappers to know that. Especially his mini hot pot. Mini what? We would be if Madam could be bothered to get here on time. Third time this week she's been here. Yeah, and it's flaming freezing out here. Do you want some? I can give her a message. It's all right, she's here now. About time. Morning, ladies. Sorry I'm late. Actually, I was just defending your honour to Liz McDonald. Oh, she found you then. Did you win? Oh, no, that's got a few points. Oh. What are you on about? What's happened with Liz? Well, I quit. 
You never. Rule number one, do not go quizzing management. I wasn't. I was asking her. Yeah, well, her, from now on, is Mrs. Co well, actually, we've got a bit of a problem there, haven't we? Yeah, that's all right. They can just call me Michelle. Oh, you'll live to regret that. <laughs> what are you going on about? Well, Michelle, from now on, is joining my company. Really? Oh, that's great. Can she have a machine next to mine? No, not as a machinist. As trainee assistant manager. You what? You heard. Come on, then. Let's not stand around. Choppy, choppy. I hope you noticed I was the only one that wasn't sitting around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello. I uh, dropped a couple of samples off this morning for some DNA testing. I forgot to ask, how long does it take to get the results back? Uh, yeah, Kevin Webster. Really? By the end of the day, that's brilliant. Uh, no, if I pay, could you send them by courier? Yeah, it's uh, Webster's Auto Centre, Coronation Street, Weatherfield, M10 9KC. All right, cheers. Thank you. Bye. It's all ammo! Uh, nothing. Couriers, eh? Mm, sounds a bit mysterious. Not a secret agent, are you? <laughs> no, it's that check I've been chasing up, you know, from that Gilbertson fella. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I told him I wanted today, so he's sending it across. Well, you do right, mate, yeah? His mess is about long enough, aren't they? Although you should have made him pay for it himself. Yeah, well, if it means we get it. Suppose. Oh! I can't believe I've always slept! I'm gonna put that wash on and all. Oh, I can do that. Oh, tap, it's in there, in the laundry basket. <clears throat> Chairs, you had your breakfast. I'm gonna get some out of the market. Are you gonna stay mad at us forever? From now on, we promise we will not interfere in your love life, right, John? Yeah. Good. Flask. Where's my flask? What are they doing in the wash? They're not dirty. Well, they looked it. Well, they're not. Oh, I'll do my own washing, OK? Great! Suit yourself! Oh, look at this. Uh, Roman candles, <laughs> you've got to have some of them. Oh, oh and, uh, yeah, and a couple of rockets, please, Rita. <laughs> Honestly, I think he's more excited than Simon. Are you going to the one on the red rack? No, we're just going around to Ken and Deirdre's, though you'd think we were, the amount he's buying. <laughs> well, you have to have a few, don't you? Oh, the more the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. Norris is over-ordered. <laughs> oh, I bet he's for the high jump, then. Well, he would be if he wasn't still on holiday. He's swanning around a medieval castle, last I heard. <laughs> All right for some. <laughs> Listen, I've got to go fittings to see you. See you All later. Right, love. See you later. Rita, don't let him buy any more. Spoil sport. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that'll be £30, love, please. 20, 30. Uh, are there fittings for a wedding dress? Oh, no, no, she means, you know, fittings, like, for the bar. Oh, I see. Mind you, if you had to choose between the two at the moment, I think she would choose the bar. I'm sure that's not true. Well, let's hope it don't come to a competition. <laughs> Thanks, Rita. Ciao, love. Bye. Enjoy. Uh, poxy. I wouldn't call it poxy. A party's a party. Yeah, well, it won't be with the time that I finish with it. Oh, mini sparklers. Did I, or did I not go to your sister's boring wedding? Exactly. So you owe me one. So tell the others, OK? OK, ciao. Uh, two pounds, please. Do you not want some fireworks as well? <laughs> fireworks? You can't put those in cocktails. Cocktails, eh? And this is for Sophie's party? Oh, and before you ask, they are non-alcoholic. Oh, and please, please don't come around checking up on us like you did last time. You nearly burnt down the kitchen. First Peter, now Nick. It's like we're being targeted. I don't know what you're so worried about. They'll be chasing new customers. Yeah, young uns. This place will look like a morgue. Hey! Nothing up with us old uns, you know. I mean, apparently, we're the new consumers. I think you'll find they mean people under 80. I consume. Yeah, Catherine cooks and novels and tubes of Rolos. Ah, well, I've jacked that in, you know, because of my dentures. Oh, well, there you go, then. My mum said... Yeah? There's also what pot on the menu. You yeah. See? There. Now tell me they're chasing new customers. Hot pot? Yeah, I mean, it's mini tapas, but what's in the name? Look, how can you make a mini tapas hot pot? I don't know. I suppose they just make one big one and serve it up in small dollops. Ooh, I'll kill that, Kieran. I will. I'll string him up. Well, that's one solution. I suppose we're just going to have to try and get them on... Licensing or something, or or start a petition. Oh no, no, Ken went through all that, you know, the last time the bar was opening. Rats. Hey, 
that's it. Eh? Oh, the nasty little things. Well, when I say little, I mean this one was huge. I saw it with my own eyes coming down to Nick Tilsley's bar. Cleaning its whiskers, was it? Hmm. Trying to get another nip of brandy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll soon have them closed, love. Look, all you've got to do is ring the environmental health and tell them all that, no, you no, see. No, 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 all you've got to do. What? Well, I'm the boss. I've got to keep my hands clean. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you know that pay rise that we were talking about? Consider it done. Ditto. <laughs> you little devil. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it just because of me, did you? What? Chris. No, no, of course we didn't. I know neither of us are very religious, but it makes it sort of special somehow, doesn't it? Having a name in ceremony. Uh, it does. And I am glad I were there for it. And so are we. You know, you look as if you've been doing that all your life. <laughs> well, I've had a lot of practice, on that, looking after Tyrone. Yeah. Uh, you're as good a wife as you are a mother. Don't be daft. No, 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 I mean, it's a blessing to me, knowing that it's going to be left in safe hands. Have you, um, seen that blue dummy? Um... Okay. Very nice, yeah. You could sound a bit more enthusiastic, Dan. No, honest, it's great. But, well, I just hope you know what you're doing, that's all. Setting up on business with your ex. Oh, that was a long time ago. Mmm. Absence makes the art grow fonder. Er, uh, not this heart. Oh, I was, uh, just showing Jan. She was admiring our handiwork, weren't you, Jan? Yeah. Dot spoils, you need any bar staff. Sorry. Oh, well, back to Cruella then, eh? Hey, Dot spoils, you heard who her new psychic is. On the shell. Really? <gasps> I don't believe it. First bin men, now bar mates. Well, it won't last. A couple of weeks, she'll kick her out like she did Trev. Oh, have you heard from him? No, and I don't want to neither. Right, well, I'm off to tease the new girl. See ya. See ya. Oh, poor Michelle. Having to run the gauntlet at Janice's jives. Oh. My heart goes out to her. She's not that bad. Oh, oh, she you're joking. She nearly made me agoraphobic. I didn't step out of the office in case one of her barbs came flying at me like a poison dart. <laughs> Even had Carla quaking in her Gucci boots. Oh, now that I don't believe. Carla is not scared of anyone. Saying in the wind. Scared of a pint-sized woman. Mm. Yeah, a pint-sized woman with teeth. She's like most terriers. It's just, ah, 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 your heels. <laughs> Shut at you. It's my stepmother you're talking about. Yeah, when you come to mention it, there is more than a striking resemblance. One for the nurture versus nature brigade, I think. Cheeky. <laughs> Another dramatic outcome to that. Not going for your lunch then. Do you want to get rid of me, John? No, 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 no. No, um, uh, it's just you always go for your lunch around now. Oh yeah. How am I that predictable? Well, maybe I need to change my ways. Eh, go at half past. But I am, uh, I am quite hungry. I'll tell you what, why don't you come with me? I'll close up shop. I mean, it's not like there's anybody in, is it? Um, well... Ah, too late, you see. Should have bitten my hand off. Hey. I got your message. This is becoming a habit. I know, I'm sorry. So what's so urgent? This. What is it? It's a receipt for a florist. Yeah, well, I can see that. I found it in Chesney's pocket. You're not saying it's him. Well, it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? I suppose. Doing my head in all morning. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? He's around. Could have seen something. Maybe he could have heard something. He could have come in when we were talking. Maybe he's even seen us with the body. I don't know. Look, just calm down a minute. He was having his party in the cafe that day. So? What if you nipped back home to see Schmeichel or something? If it was him, wouldn't he have told Fizz or the police? No, well, I, I, I've been thinking about that. And I reckon he's doing it to torture me. He's playing with me. That's what it is. Waiting to see what I do. Like the blue touch paper, see what happens. You're winding yourself up. He's just a kid. Yeah, a kid who hates me. All the rosy stuff. And then finding out that I was teaching again. He's wanted rid of me ever since then. Oh, it's him, all right. You don't know that. Well, I'm going to find out. What do you mean? You can't just ask him. What if it's not? Well, I'll be careful. Don't worry. I just subtly question him. I can tell when kids are lying. It's too risky. He might give something away. I don't care. I need to know one way or the other before he tells Fizz. What's happened? The oven's just gone off. Oh, no, it must be 
be a power cut. Oh, the flipping food! Never mind that. What about my hair? Go on, try in the light. I'm going to have to go and get my dad. Dad! Dad! What's up? The electricity's gone off. Is that all? I thought someone had died. What do you mean? Is that all? I've got a party tonight. Well, I'll do it when I finish work. No, Dad. There's no time. I'm in the middle of cooking. It's all right. I can manage it. Come on. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, no problems. Blimey, you can handle the spreadsheet better than me. <laughs> all down to Ryan. Oh, how's he doing, by the way? He's loving it. Of course he is. All them girls, a student loan to blow on them. Don't. Right, I've got to get off to this meeting. You can hold the fort, can't you? Uh, well, I, I suppose so, yeah. Of course you can. It might mean staying late tonight, though. Well, I've not to rush home for. Well, that's good, because some of them are doing overtime tonight. The list's over there. And can you just remind them of that before they start skiving off? Only we've got to finish this order, haven't we? We'll do, yeah. OK, I'll be back to lock up. OK, bye. I don't know what gets me. She didn't even consider me for the job. Why should she? Well, I have acted in a supervisory capacity. <laughs> You filed a few invoices, big deal. Well, what has she done? Pulled a few pints. Mm. You've a point there, Webster. Well, I think she should have given me the job because I'm gay. Well, I think she should have given me the job because I'm disabled. <laughs> Shut up. Right, listen up, everybody. Um, just to remind you that some of you put your names down for overtime tonight, so don't forget, yeah? Hey, Michelle, you couldn't nip out and get us a round in, could you? <laughs> What would you like, girls? Oh, bottle of lager will do me, Ta. Just an OJ for me, Ta. More's a bitter. And I'll treat myself. I'll have a bunker and tonic. Yeah. All right, all right. But have fun. Let's get back to it. You don't know what you're looking for, do you? I mean, you've never stitched a pair of knickers in your eye. Well, maybe not, but I wear them. Really? That's not what I heard. And I heard you've never taken yours off. Still, no demand, no supply, eh? Want to carry on? Blimey! He actually sent it. Right. All right. If you keep mouthing. Hey, um, I couldn't knock off early, could I? Only I want to get some shopping in, see if he's doing it. Yeah, why not? I want to close anyway. Show size fireworks. Great. Thanks. Woo! Yes. Flaming fuse, you could have done that yourselves. Yeah, well, how come it took you so long? You didn't know where it was, did I? Thanks, Dad. Uh, media what? No. Kev, it's OK now. Maybe you can sell this. Has Baby Jack got my eyebrows or Molly's? What? Well, she thinks they look like mine, and I think they look like hers. I'm sure Kevin's not bothered. Did this come with a courier? Yeah, yeah, I started to open it, but I got distracted. Is it that chair? Yes! And you just left it lying on the car roof. Anyone could have taken this. Sorry? Yeah, well, think on next time. And you shouldn't bring him round here, either. It's not safe. All right, well, we're just going. See ya. Sorry, mate, I should have thought. It's OK. Could you give us hand with this exhaust? It's stuck on solid. Yeah, sure. Do me a favour, will you? Tell me she had to go. What do you mean? You're meant to be doing overtime. Oh, well. 
I've got a date now, haven't I? You can't change your mind. Well, I can. This might be the one. You always say that. Well, what happens if he is? And I'm going to turn him down for the sake of a few quid. And what happens if he isn't? And you've gone and got yourself back? She won't mind. She's my mate. She'll <laughs> be fine. What? Nothing. You're a bit over the top this morning. Eh? About your jeans. Well, I, I want to wear them tonight at the party. You sure there's no other reason? Like what? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know what you're talking about. This. You've been going through my stuff? Found it in your pockets when I was sorting out the wash. Why didn't you want me to find it? I don't care if you did. I'm not ashamed about You're saying I should be. Hiya. You two all right? Yeah, we're fine, yeah. No, we're not. He's been nauseating through my stuff and he found this receipt. Doesn't matter now. Yeah, it does. You wanted to know? I'll tell you. I bought some flowers for Katie. There. Go on then, have a laugh. That is dead sweet, isn't it? Oh, don't be rotten. I think it's more play. Sorry. <laughs> John! Stop it! Sorry. Warren, she got her flowers. Yeah, I'm Dither. Yeah, I'm Lady Gaga. Yeah, all right, so what time do you think you'll get here? Right, OK, babe, but just please don't forget the vodka. All right, bye. All right, next time. Bye-bye. Turn it down. Got some nice cakes and things. Ah, oh, thanks, Mum. This party isn't going to be wild, is it? No. Just, I don't know, Chesney and Kate and some of the choir girls. Uh, Mum, I'm surprised they haven't invited Emily. They'll probably be playing Snap by 9 o'clock. Uh, you don't have to be here. I want her here, just in case. Yeah, I like how you and Dad bail out to the pub. Leave me with this lot. Yeah, well, with any luck, some of it might rub off on you. What, do you want me to turn gay as well, Mum? You know what I mean. It is possible to have fun without getting absolutely legless, you know. Oh, yeah, well, I should remind you of that, Mum, when you come home drunk. Right, I'm going to go and get changed. Keep an eye on Yeah, don't worry, Mum, I will. Just think, next bonfire night we'll have our own little nipper. Yeah. We can teach it to write its name with a sparkler. <laughs> Trust you to make bonfire night educational. No, I didn't mean it like that. I know. It's nice to see you in a better mood, even if it was at Chesney's expense. I'll apologise to him tomorrow. Mm. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Who was that? I don't know. Just put the phone down. The kids messing about. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. When do you open? Next week. Well, I just hope all those late night revelers don't keep me away. <laughs> hey, Rita, there won't be any. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> She's going to be the bouncer. I can't think of anyone more terrifying. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, I'll hold you to it. <laughs> Ta-da, love. See you. I'm ready to switch on. Oh, yeah, yeah, go on then. This is it. Combination of all our efforts. It's more than that. It's a dream come true. Oh, look at it. It's brilliant. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'd better get to Kennedy's because I'm going to be wondering where I am. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll lock up. Right. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr Tilsley. Yeah, that's me. I'm Mr Cummings from Weatherfield Council Environmental Services. There's been a report of vermin on your premises and I need to take a look inside. That's ridiculous. There's no vermin. Nevertheless, I have to make sure. Hang on a minute, you can't just barge in. Don't worry. You go, I'll handle it. No, it's all right, I'll hang on. <laughs> really, it's fine. Off to you. Okay. We'll call it a day, eh? Yeah, I reckon another half hour should be done. No, we can uh, finish this tomorrow. You sure? Positive, yeah. You get off. 
right. Well, I'm not going to argue with you, mate. The sooner I get back to Little Jack, the better. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just clear up my tools. No, I'll do that. Yeah? Well, nice one. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Sophie would go to the pub. Why? Well, get out of the way so she can enjoy a birthday party. Oh, that, right. And I said we'd meet Gail down there. Uh, not the party, the pub. I think she needs her friends around her at a time like this. Times like what? Kevin, do you not listen to anything I tell you? Well, I can't remember everything, can I? There's no brain big enough to take in everything you witter on about. David, he's got to go to court. What's got into you? Oh, just a bad day at the office. Well, do you think you could clock off early? Your boss let you. I can have a word with him. Because actually, I quite fancy your boss. <laughs> so. Oh, there's no need to look scared. It's only a joke. Come on, girl's going to be sat on her own. Don't mind me asking, who reports me to health and safety? Can't say. Sorry, data protection. Oh, how convenient. Some busybody not want to see this place open. The streets are full of them. Bars? No, busybodies. I need to concentrate. Oh, you're wasting your time. I'll be the judge of that. <sighs> oh, Kevin, look. There's Tyron and Kurt back to you. Go and talk to them. That's what we used to. So, anyway, isn't it Sophie's party tonight? Yeah. You're very brave, I must say. Yeah, why'd you say that? You left your valuables out. We haven't got any valuables. Carpets left and down. <laughs> yes. People can be very light-fingered, Sally. Oh, I don't think a gang of 16-year-old born-again Christians are going to go nicking me tufted shag, girl. Yeah, but they advertise parties now, don't they, on facial internet sites? You never know. Could end up with a house full of 30-year-old dealers selling methylone. Hey, you all right? Drop pint, Kev? Uh, no, I'm all right, thanks. Sal? Oh, I'll have another white wine, Tyrone, please. Gail? Yeah, Tyrone, thanks. Sure, Kev. Positive. What does he do that for? What? Well, he's going to want to sit with us now, isn't he? It's your friend, Kevin. Don't be so narky. I've been working with him all day. Get over it. Look, I don't want to be staring at his ugly mug all night long, too, do I? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Denzel. Yep. Well, we'll have that order to you in the blink of an eye. How's your wife, by the way? Oh, I had such a laugh with her at that summer party. Oh, did you? Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. With your accountant? Yes, that is a double whammy. OK, Denzel. All right, well, I'll speak to you soon. You too, love. Bye-bye. Is that Denzel with the dirty wife? Where is Sean? Oh, he's gone off. Michelle! Out here, please. Where's Sean? That's my line. Where is he, is he? Oh, you're a poet and you didn't know it. Janice said he just got off. Michelle, I'm paying you to keep an eye on the staff now. I know overtime's voluntary, but if he didn't want to do it, we need to find somebody who would. Go and find him. Well, you heard what she said. Well, I don't know where he's gone. I thought it was a mate of yours. Do you know what? I hate this. Being in charge of your mates, I'm going to phone you. Well, we couldn't tell he'd gone on a date, could we? No. They're just putting him to bed now. Yeah. Oh, he enjoyed the fireworks, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> His little face lighting up. Uh, yeah, literally, when he stood too close to that Catherine wheel. <laughs> Fancy drink at Rovers? Shouldn't you be at the bar seeing how Nick's getting on with that uh, inspector? Oh, Nick's ugly enough and big enough to deal with it himself. Anyway, bad news travels fast. If there were any problems, my mobile would have been going ten to dozen. OK, right. Rovers it is then. I reckon she's the murderer. Wow. Why? She's been in loads of things, eh? She's not going to be in rubbish like this unless she's like a dead important character. 
Good point. Well made, Good Fizz. Idea. Where are you off to, Chesney? <laughs> Sophie's birthday party. On your own? I actually don't answer that. If you are going anywhere near that, Katie, I don't want to know. Would I? Yes, you would. You know you would. Just make sure Owen doesn't catch you. You know what it's like. I can handle him. You and who's army? Hello? It's Julie for you. Shall I life pause it? No, you're all right. Hi, Julie, you're all right. Hey, guess what I had today? Uh-huh, uh-huh. A funny phone call. Really? What did they say? Mm -hmm. Nothing. There was just silence. <laughs> well, maybe it was the wrong number. Yeah, maybe. maybe he got cut off. No, I can hear him breathing. Not heavy breathing, just there, you know. Joking. Why would somebody want to do that? Don't you get me a fright? Shall I life pause it? No, I'm not in the mood for a murder. Yeah, bye, love. John, will you sit down? You're like a dog on a hot tin roof. Cat. Not from where I'm sitting. <laughs> right, that's me. I'll see you when I see you. Not if I see you first. Have a nice evening. Bye. You're going to meet a bloke in here? Well, I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't realise this wasn't a gay-friendly pub. <laughs> uh, what's your like then? Devilishly handsome, 33, 5 foot 8, brown hair, brown eyes, body hair, yes, body piercings, no. Oh, and he's a dead ringer for a certain TV personality that I fancy. Amen Elmond. No, Ant. From Ant and Deck. I don't know, Steve, I've just got a really good feeling that this might be the one. You spoke to him? Online. Oh, and he's a dead sexy speller. I think he's just going to walk in here and... Hiya. Sorry, I'm just talking. Um, I think he's just going to walk in here and literally whisk me off my feet. Babes, it's me. I'm sorry? Hot Stuff 99. Gavin. Anthony him at Parkland look-alike, at your service. Shall we adjourn to a booth? Get your own drink. Pint of vodka soda, please. Pint? Have you seen the state of him? Looks nothing like his profile. Babes, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Ah, evening. All hey. right. I'll have an orange juice and a white wine when you're ready to have. Oh, I'm uh, serving this young man at the moment. Hey, how are the plans going for the new, um, venture? The word you're looking for, Steve, it's bar. You can say the word. Oh, and perhaps your mum did. To the health and safety people, hence our little visit. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that right? Shall we sit down? It's obvious Steve had nothing to do with it. With what? Nothing, mate. What do you think you're doing? Um, I can explain. Yeah, Carla wants your guts for garters. Oh, Carla, I've got a migraine or something. Sean, you're meant to be doing overtime. If we'd have known you were going to bunk off, we'd have asked somebody else to do it. We're late with that order. Excuse me. <clears throat> overtime is voluntary, Michelle. I see. What do you think? You brought off work because you were on a promise. Babes, I don't make no promises. You agreed to do it. Well, I'll make up time if that's what you're worried about. Oh, I know you will. Now. Michelle, excuse me. Uh, I'm not stopping long. No, you won't. My mother chucks you out. It's always like this in here. <sighs> Sean, you better get yourself back to that factory in the next five minutes or you can consider yourself fired. Some friend you turned out to be. I'm caught between the devil and the deep blue sea here. <gasps> Who are you calling, devil? Get out! Oh, sh How old are you? Well, you said you were 28. I am. Stone. Actually, I'm really in the mood for some overtime now, so sorry to have wasted your time. I've uh, just had a woman on the phone stuck in saddle whip with a broken wheel. She wants me to talk her through replacing it. I'll uh, go and find somewhere a bit quieter to phone about. She kept breaking up. All right, see you later. Oh, Kevin, while you're out, could you pop your head in the party and just check everything's all right? Of course. See you in a bit. See you. Hi, guys. Everybody, this is my sister, Rosa. Always my name is my nature. Sophie, are those lesbians? No, not Rosa. They're from the choir from church. Oh, I thought they looked a bit dull. 
Well, why don't you have a dance with Sean? Why don't you keep your voice down? <laughs> what are you looking at? Nothing. It's called a cleavage. <laughs> you know all about that, don't you, Dolly? <laughs> Hi, babe. Yeah? I hope my dad didn't see me coming in. Happy birthday, Sophie. Thanks, Kate. I got you a present. It's just a little thing. <laughs> cool party, Sophie. Thanks, Chef. I'll get it! Whose party is this? Yours or hers? It's mine. She's just kind of like my little slave. Oh, nice one. Mm. Oh, that's so cute. You all right? What's my name on that? Everyone, who's for Cherry Bunker? Oh. Sexy. <laughs> oh, so who is that? This is Tom Cruise, the local drag king. Well, she's doing this play for free because they said there'll be lots of hot chicks here. Yeah, but she's doing it because she's totally crazy about me, aren't you? <laughs> so, why is that girl dressed as a blonde? I think she thinks it's fancy dress or something. Do you have a problem with me being your party partner? <laughs> So you know, I have not come back to work just because you have snapped your fingers and I'm going to jump to it. Is that a fact? Yeah. I'm doing this to avoid a rather annoying date, if you must know. Oh, well, match made in heaven, I'd say. Do you know you've changed since you've hung up your barmaid in clogs, cock? Sean, I've never worn a clog in my life. Now sit down, shut up and get on with your work. Yes, Fraulein Connor. And your membership to Hit the Youth is in the post. Youth? Where she find you? The pub. And I just met this fella, and he was gorgeous, and he was all over me like a rash, and... He was partially sighted. <laughs> and I'll partially slight you in a minute, batters me. Oh, I'm quaking in me old Fake Uggs. Bugs. How'd <laughs> <laughs> I take it? He's not impressed. Well, I am. He says I've changed. So what if I have? Get on with your work. Come on, get on. Well, Baby Jack's upstairs. Yeah, what about Big Jack? He's out. Why? What's going on? We've got nothing left to say to each other, Kevin. That's where you're wrong. I had a DNA test done. I'm his dad. Not her or me. You go behind my back when I told you not to. I had to know, Molly. How did you do it? How did you get his DNA? The question is, where do we go from here? He must have taken a swab from him without my consent. That's a violation. You violated my baby. Our baby. That's a vile thing to do. Yeah, well, the ends justified the means. I don't care what you say. My baby will never be yours, ever. Can you go, please? I'm stopping here. Until we work out what to do. That's right, and don't use your hands, please, lads and lasses. Are you getting up close and personal? <laughs> Sophie, 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 down this now. Hello. <laughs> 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 oh, what? She is kissing her partner. I know. No, she's not doing it to turn guys on. The Stuff. No. Oh, Sophie! <laughs> Pasta. Right. Come on, Mama, join in the fun. Loving the drag, babe. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sophie. What's her problem? Come on, guys, let's get this party back for the wild, wild road. Right about the murderer? You were indeed. Yes! Shall I have the kettle on, make us another brew? Yeah, nice one. It's weird murder, isn't it? It is. I mean, on the telly, they do it all the time, but in reality, it's like. Hardly ever, yeah. Ah! What is it? What's oh, the matter? There was someone in the yard, I swear. Right, don't move! A 
can't see anything. Have you gone? Yeah. Okay, oh, what? That's hideous. Are you sure you yeah, saw two beady eyes poking through the window? It could have been a cat. John, since when were cats this eye? And since when did cats leave our gate open? Oh, call the police. What do they look like? I don't know, I just saw these eyes. Oh, John, it was horrible. Just when we were talking about murder. I know, it's strange. John, you're shaking. Please, call the police. Oh, it's just a bit cold. Come on, let's get inside. Now, let's cup of sweet tea, we'll be okay. How could you do this to me? It's not just you who've done it to, is it? It's gonna kill me. Knowing my son's been brought by someone else across the road. Oh, so what? Are you saying we should get back together? Don't be soft. Access? What? Sorry, I'd love that. I just... I just needed to know. I wish I didn't know. In my head, he was Tyrone's. Now this is going to kill me too, thanks to you. I know, and I'm sorry. I should be happy. I just couldn't get out of my head. Oh, what? Like an itch you had to scratch? A scab you just had to pick? Yeah, something like that. And now it'll never heal over. Look, I can't cope. Every time Tyrone picks him up, I'll feel sick knowing that that's not his child. It's not Tyrone's. <laughs> And I want him to be Kevin. Not yours. I know. I want him to be Tyrone's. <laughs> oh. Absolutely nothing to worry about. What? Did you hear that? We passed the inspection with flying colours. Your little bar means nothing to me. And you're right about those light fittings, they look fantastic. Oh, brilliant. Can't wait to see them. Well, no time like the present. You don't mind if I whisk your fiance away, do you? To show the lights. No, no, whisk away. No, oh, you sure you don't mind? No, used to be in Billy now, mates. You love me, really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, don't be long. I'll get another drink. All right. All right. Was she all right? Who? The woman on the phone. Yeah, sorry. Why, what's this? Nothing. And the party? Yeah, great. Did you pop your head in? Yes, it's all fine. To bite me head off? The born again Christian cell. The place would be like a library. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were at Connie's. Yeah, I come back a while ago. You were smoking out on the couch, so I thought I'd go for a lie down myself. You just got up? Aye, aye. You okay? Yes, I am fine. It's just, um, hormones ignore me. <laughs> aye, you'll be all over the place, won't you? Oh, I am, aye. yeah. Just, uh, do you want a brew? Aye, smashing, aye. Through the window, Sophie. Yes, Dad. Sort this out. This is bang out of order. She's dragging. Oh what? Oh, Mum, get the program. Fancy a dance hot stuff. I'm a married woman. Chesney, can you stop doing that? I know, gross. Oh, very convincing. I'm going for the walk. <laughs> what was that something I said? <laughs> Sophie, in the conservatory now. I want to walk. Yes. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh no! What? Where's the stock cock? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drunk. You are. Walk in a straight line. Mum, I'm a lesbian. I don't do anything straight. <laughs> <laughs> when do you wake up in 
the morning with a crippling hangover. And remember this. Yes, right, Katie. Bye. You've embarrassed me. You've embarrassed your father. Don't embarrass your sister, because that's impossible. But you have embarrassed yourself. A teddy. <laughs> a flaming teddy. How old does she think I am? Six. <laughs> oh, look at the wallpaper. Oh, and the carpet. <sighs> well, I suppose it could have been a lot worse. Oh. I had to get the menus reprinted. It could have been the whole of the wallpaper, the whole of the flooring. We're jinxed. Where is this emergency plumber? Fifteen minutes, he said. Flipping talk about emergency. Hiya. Hiya, son. Hiya, how was your night? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Well, it was all right. Kev was a bit off tonight. Was he? Oh, I'll do that. No, you're all right. I'll do it. No, you've had him all day and night. It's the least I can do. There you go. <laughs> hey Jack, how much do I love my son, eh? I know you do, lad. Ah. Going off to bed. All right, night night, Jack. Night, night mate. Good night, son. It's a surprise, so if you see him, don't let on. <laughs> yeah, spread the word, more the merrier. All right, cheers. I'll see you later, Ken. Bye. Can he come? Yeah, there'll be quite a few now. Oh, he's going to be so chuffed. <laughs> hey, up. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jack. Oh, Happy oh, birthday to you. You shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, God. Off me and Molly. Right. Um, and that one's from Baby Jack. For his granddad. <laughs> <laughs> He'd give it to himself, but he's still in bed. I don't know what to say. Come on then. Present. It was a bit tricky. Yeah, well, it's pointless buying me a premium bond, didn't it? Well, just see what you think anyway. I hope you've not spent a lot of money on this. Sometimes since I've seen one of them. <laughs> I found it in a charity shop with these. Fancy Nitro. Tony Bennett. Matt Monroe. We thought they might bring back memories. Did we do all right? You did perfect. Oh, well, I'm very sorry, Mrs. Carmichael. She's a she's a responsible girl normally. Well, She's in very serious trouble, if that's any consolation. <sighs> yeah, well, anyway, I'm sorry that you had to ring. Bye. I found another mark. Who was that? That was a mother of one of the choir girls complaining that this house is a den of iniquity. Rosie, Sophie, Sean, come down here this minute. If you'd got back here sooner, it would have helped. I still don't understand where you were all that time. I told you, an emergency call. Well, you could have looked in afterwards. Like I said, Everything seemed fine. Yeah, well, just make sure you're at Jack's this dinner time. We don't have to go there, do we? Yes, you do. I promise Molly now. You can make the effort for once. There you are. You know, that was Rona Carmichael's mother on the phone. She spent all Friday night being sick. She doesn't want to see another water pistol again as long as she lives. I wouldn't mind, but you're not even old enough to drink. Yeah, well, I told her it was what was this doing. And I found another stain here. Look. We'll clean it all up. I don't know what you were thinking. Do I hear Michelle likes burning? Well, I don't see why I am getting the blame for all this. Yeah, well, I didn't see you in a rush to get everyone out. Um, maybe because I was too drunk to think straight. Oh, that's because you're enjoying yourself for once. Yeah, well, just get it cleaned up today, OK? All three of you. Yeah, and don't let it happen again. But it can't be that bad, surely. There's water everywhere, no electricity. We're going to have to completely redecorate. Oh, Jack, I must have a word with your mouth. God knows what it's like underneath the floor. Well, at least you caught it early. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Well, isn't there something you can do? <sighs> yeah, but it's going to cost a fortune. Well, won't the insurance cover that? 
Well, no, in my luck, probably not. I mean, they're not going to give me a big fat check first thing in the morning, are they? Oh, we're going to take forever. We're going to miss our deadline. Yes, OK, it's late. Who cares? Well, who's going to hear about it? They're going to think the whole project's a joke. They won't. Oh. Liz McDonald's laughing all over her face. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if she wasn't behind this. Oh, Nick, now don't start going paranoid. Why does everything I do go wrong? It doesn't. OK, well, first it was Nottingham. Uh, then I get Underworld ticking over and it goes up in smoke, literally. Yeah, well, you can't be blamed for that. Yeah, well, I couldn't be blamed for this leak, but it still happened to me. Oh, well, j- give it all up in that case. What? Droning on like this. I mean, who got anywhere without a few setbacks on the way? I know. Darling, but... the Nick Tilsley I know would have had his sleeves rolled up and he would be there sorting it all out. Hmm? <laughs> so, come on, how about it? <laughs> Morning. What? I know, I amaze myself sometimes. Well, how long have you been here? Well, I thought there's no point in lying around feeling sorry for yourself, so I did something about it. Why didn't you ring me? You found the leak, so we mopped it up. Right, the dehumidifier's on now. I'm, uh, I'm just about to get some new pipe. Oh, thanks. How do you fix the electrics? Well, uh, see, it's easy when you when you know how to do things, isn't it? It was chaos in here. But it looked worse than it was, and it was clean water, not like a foot from outside. You've had a problem, then. Mm. Oh. Uh, so, uh... We're back on track for the opening. It'll need replastering by this pipe. A few days before you can paint it. You can always stick a picture on it. How much is this costing? Insurance is paying. A random. You're amazing. I do my best. You went to five by your work cards. Yeah, two on Friday, two on Saturday, and then one last night. Well, you've got a quick in your neck. <laughs> Who said I were watching fireworks? Come on, tell, tell! You were a plasterer from party number four. Our eyes met across a crowded patio just as the last Roman candle went off. So are you seeing him again? Never mind. Well, it would never have worked anyway, would it? <laughs> Plasterers, they're so temperamental. It must have cost you a bit, though, if you took a bottle to each party, did you? No, I took bonfire toffee and parking. Oh, skin flint. Uh, actually, I was complimented on my knowledge of the tradition. Hey, Ash, you've converted to the course. I'm a Grand National only man. I'll not make your fortune out of me. So, what can I do for you? Just checking if you're about Jack's party. Who's this baby Jack or Big Jack? Duckworth. Tired also, I'm surprised. Don't rovers later. All oh, right, I'll try and pop across then. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Morning, blimey, you look rough. Yeah, sorry, I'm a bit late. You on the lash last night, were you? No, no, no. No, no. So, what happened then? Well, um, just woke up about four, couldn't get back to sleep again. <laughs> but wait till this new baby comes along, you'll know all about sleep deprivation then. Isn't that right, Ash? Not so bad after the first five years. Hey, a mate of mine's got twins. Oh, I'm glad I haven't got that to look forward to. One of them falls asleep, the other one wakes up. Of course, you know what they say about waking up in the middle of the night, don't you? It's a sign of depression. Really? So if there's anything on your mind, you're going to have to No, type. I just woke up because somebody was playing music somewhere. Yeah, ought to be shot. I'll see you later anyway. All right, cheers, pal. Oh, get that, will you, Joe? Hello? Hello? Who is it? No answer. Oh, well, they'll ring back if it's important. So you've no use on these before? Well, it's tricky when you're lap dancing. That'll come in handy, by the way. What, taking my clothes off? I know how to keep the punters in line if you try it on. <laughs> no problems there. <laughs> right, so, you swipe the card through there, like that. Mm-hmm. It then rings through to some computer and a message will come through and it'll say, approve, decline, or refer to bank. Uh, over by that new pack, Chris, mate. If it says approved, you press that there, it'll then ask for the customer for the pin, and then it'll print out two receipts. You take the first one, give the second one back to the customer. If it says anything else, just give me a shot, I'll set it up. Not trusting her with the money, are you? You all right with him being here? Fine. Leanne's told you we keep the tips for ourselves? Uh, Leanne said nothing of the sort. Tips are kept in the jar and shared out at the end of the night. Management excluded. We're fools to ourselves. Any more questions? No, that's all good. Do you know what? It's dead easy. You'll soon pick it up. Uh, well, thanks. See you later. Thanks for coming in. Bye, Cheryl. See ya. What do you keep smiling at me for? Because I'm not worthy. I have run a restaurant before, I remember. Do you know what? I can't wait to see Liz's face when she realises her boyfriend saved us from the brink. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Will you stop worrying about the pastor? No one died, did they? No. And the rest of the choir seemed all right for us being together. Uh, Shani was paralytic. I know that. But only if the pastor would have been. 
So... Hiya. Hi. Right, look, I'm sorry things went out of control the other night, but did you or did you not have the best part of your life? <laughs> See? But now we're in trouble. Oh, chill out. Give it a couple of weeks and they'll have forgotten. I'm not worried about Mum and Dad. Well, who? The pasta. You've seen us snogging. <laughs> what, that bigger bloke? Probably the best really he's had in years. It's not funny. Well, what did he say? Nothing. He just left a present and when We've got a prayer meeting with him today. Yeah, well, now you've got nothing to hide. I just be up front with him, that's what I do. Isn't that what it's all about? Gay pride and all that? Rosa, it's not as simple as that in church. Oh, well, give up the church and start living and stop blaming me. Yeah. I know I'd go from rags to riches If you would only say you care And though my pocket may be empty Hey, uh, wanna go for a drink? Sorry. I no, no, you're all right, lad. Just, just doing a bit of reminiscing. One of our various favourites, that. Always brought a tear to her eye. Don't do that for me. No, no. I to like to listen to music. Uh, what was it you wanted? Just wanted to see if you wanted to go to Rovers. Grand, uh, uh, uh. Come and sit with me a while. Are you okay? Hmm, no, just a bit thoughtful, that's all. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, fire away. You happy? Never been happier. A apart from what's happening to you, mm. I've got a wife that I love and a son that I adore. So things are okay with you and Molly then? You know, we had that rocky patch, but that's all sorted now. Because mm, it means a lot to me going to my grave, knowing that you two are happy. Yeah, well, you've got no worries on that score. Good. Are you sure that's all this is about? Oh, no, no there's nothing else. No, no, there's putting an old man's mind at rest. Come here. Yeah, you're a good lad. I'd swap you any time for our Terry. Mm. Right, come on. Let's go and do a bit of living. <laughs> Aye. Aye. I felt your day off. No rest for the wicked. Not working tonight, I know, are you? Do you know that's the first bit of sympathy I've had all day? Sympathy? No, no, I'm just worried you'll oversleep tomorrow because you're knackered. Bright as a button and ready to go at 8 30, or there'll be trouble. Oh, Jim, she can be tart. I blame the orange juice. It's not like her not to have a glass of red wine at dinner time. Well, actually, she's been off the booze for quite a while. You don't reckon she's pregnant, do you? Carl, well, well, it's a suicide. What's this? Carl's pregnant. She didn't go Well, why else would she be on the wagon? There's all sorts of reasons. Yeah, but they're not as interested in the water. If she is pregnant, who's the dad? She can't be pregnant. Who's the last person she went out with? Trevor. She better claim me not be pregnant. And so disaster was averted. Thanks to Leanne. She's a good girl, Leanne. Yeah, I'm looking forward to working for her. Let's hope you know who doesn't spoil it for you now. He was in there this morning, helping her. Did you say anything? No, just laughing and joking like we never had a crossword. What did you do? Had to go along with it. What could I do? You can't get away from it anywhere, eh? And it's the hardest thing about breaking up when you've got kids. Having to be civil to your ex. Well, let's hope he doesn't make a habit drinking in the new place, eh? Might need to have a word with Nick. See if I can get him barred. All right. Oh, hey, Chris. Who's this you getting bored? You know, there's nothing nice than having a quiet party on your birthday. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Jack. Oh! Is this your day? No. I'll have your foot for Surprise, surprise! Yeah. Fine, was it, Jack? Well, go on, I'll force one down. <laughs> there you go, lad. Use this as a menu. You know, considering the others got ruined, plug it over the plastering just in case we don't get time to paint. Yeah, brilliant. Cheap and cheerful. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I've, I've just got to be somewhere later and I just don't think I'll make it, that's all. Where? Wedding dress fitting. <laughs> uh, right, well, you've got to do that. Yeah, but there's so much to do here. Oh, it's all right. I can do this. Uh, how long do you need? A couple of hours. Right, well, there's nothing we can do here till I finish. I suppose so, but 
Well, when else would you go? Later on in the week, maybe. <laughs> right, when we're really busy. Yeah, but I've got to go sometime, haven't okay. I? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make it easier for you. I know, sorry. Well, look, why don't I take you if you want to go now? Well, one of us has to stay here. Well, I don't see why. Hey, Wayne. Boss. You can hold the fort here for a couple of hours if me and Jan pop out. <sighs> don't know about that. Or if my shoelaces come undone. <laughs> Satisfying? Happy birthday, Jack. Oh, thank you, Emily. I'm a pleasure to put me. Leave old Jack. Very happy returns. Thank you, my friend. And uh, this is off me and Sally. Glad we could be here. Right. And this is from me, you miserable beggar. Oh, he's loving every minute of it. My imagination was just a bit off with you, then. Was it? Happy birthday. I thought you must have made a killing on these birthday cards this morning, Peter. I'll put my prices up as soon as I knew what were happening. <laughs> well, it and Joe, but you know, Alfie really would have done that. God rest his memory. Uh, I was just thinking, Jack, uh, are you 72? 73? Oh, but... don't embarrass him. No, I've got, I've got an out to hide, Emily. I'm, I'm 74. A youngster. Hmm. I was born a month before the abdication. Edward VIII. He heard about Jake, and he couldn't leave the country quick enough. <laughs> what is it? Sleep in the back. Listen, this isn't going away. Not now, not ever. I'm here for Jack's birthday, not you. Really? Yes, Happy yes, birthday to you. Oh, I'm Happy being, birthday, Jack. I'm being spelled wrong today. That's because people love you. You never mind me. If you manage to patch things up with your Ashley. I tried. Try hard enough. So. How can I afford to get married when I keep paying out to you like this, eh? 80, 90, and 5, there you go. Hello. 95. You're gonna ruin me. Who the hell is this? Yeah, uh, keep trying to sell him plumbing insurance. It's driving you mad. You all right, John? Yeah, I'm fine. Cheers, Dave. What do you think you're doing? Sorry. Screaming and shouting like that in front of punters. I'm just a bit on edge, that's all. Oh, well, tell me about it. You've been like that all day. Who was that on the phone? Um, there was no answer. No answer? So that's what you do, is it? Scream and shout? Like I said, I'm sorry. People ring the wrong number, John, all the time. Have you never done it? Yeah. Yeah. Just get a grip, OK? Charlotte. Yeah, I need to see you. Yeah, you must have seen a few things in your time in here, Jack. You saw a lot of these down that cellar when you were the pot, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> like what? State secrets. <laughs> Racing gazette ball like you. Oh, okay, well, man. You never did a day's work down there, love. I was too busy dreaming about you, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Josh was asking how long it was till Christmas. Halloween, bonfire night, Christmas. It's just one expense after another with kids. You'd have me. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh. Hey. Now, we couldn't fit on 74 individual candles, so we've done the next best thing. Oh. Hey. Bit that, Sean. Listen, I might be 90, but I'm still the Delia Smith round here. <laughs> <laughs> Blow the candles out, then. Oh, come on. I don't know what I've done to deserve all this. When you've ducked and dived as much as I have, hmm. you kind of learn to say now when you've been dealt a decent handful once. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for your friendship for the past 30 odd years or so. And it's a pity out of here I can't be here, but we can't yeah. have everything, though, no. can we? I'd like to thank Connie for putting up with it as long as she has. Thank you. And Tyrone and Molly for being like my son and my daughter. Yeah. And I am so chuffed about that little lad because he'll be here long after I've gone. So for me, he is the future. Yeah. So, raising your glasses to Molly, Tyrone. Yeah. And little Jack. <laughs> Molly! Molly. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers. 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 Give it a miss tonight. Um, no, because then it's going to actually look like we've got something to hide. Look, Sean, Rosie's right. We've got to be upfront about it. Oh, no way. What are we going to say when he asks us what we're doing? Well, 
that we're madly in love and there's nothing he can do about it, so naff off. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Shan? Hi. Mum and Dad not in? No, they're uh, still at work. I was just wondering if we should have a little chat before we meet this evening. Look, if it was about the other night then... Yeah, it is actually. Uh, okay, well, the thing was my sister Rosie organised it and it just got way out of hand. Yeah, and... so I saw. It's that we need to talk about. I'll just text the lager supplier, see if he'll give us more discount. Oh, that's what I like to hear. I told him we'd go somewhere else if he didn't. Well, what do you think? Uh, well, it's better than the one you had on when you married me. Is it that bad? <laughs> it's stunning. You look fantastic. How's that feel? Yeah, great. Not tired to come here since the alteration. No, no, it's perfect now. All well, looks good to me. Right, well, I'd better get myself out of it then before I rip it something, which, you know me, I probably will. <laughs> Won't be a tick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jack's such a lovely man. Yeah. Threw away them all when they made him. He had his fair share of problems with Eero, of course. Yeah. They always managed to work them out. It helps when you're agreed on which country you want to live in. It helps when you're not pretending to have a serious illness. It helps when you don't force something on your partner that he doesn't want. And it helps when you're not being held back by someone who wants to live in a slum for the rest of their life. This was very naughty. Oh. So, Tyrone, didn't you? Yeah. Where's little Whipper's number? In the back, having to sleep. Oh, Bin yourself up so he can give you the run around again, eh? Yeah. It was um, very nice what you said about us. I meant every word of it. Your happiness means everything to me. Which is why I've been a bit down in the dumps since yesterday. Why? Well, what's happened? Well, I was wondering whether I mentioned that or not, but you could always tell me it's none of my business. Go on, just say it. It's about the baby. You know, I wish I hadn't have been there and I couldn't help overhearing yesterday in the house you and Kevin. I know he's the father. What is going to happen, Molly? You haven't let me down. I have. You know how much I think of him. And so do I. Do you? It was a mistake, Jack. Well, I was never a saint. Neither was Vera come at that, though she might have you believe different. <laughs> hey, well, we needn't speak ill of the dead. I'm not speaking ill of a lot. You stuck together, though, didn't you? Yeah, I know he's soft, he's daft, he's... A... You run short of a ladder sometimes, but he is the very best of men. He's my time on. I know he is. Better than anything I could spawn. Well, he's um, got the duck with Jean one way or another. How's he heck? He'd never do what I did, what Terry did. What you've done. It was over a long, long time ago, and it was stupid. Do you know, I can barely look Sally in the eye. Jack, please. One thing we managed, me and Alvira, despite everything. Despite a run of bad luck lasting 40 flaming years. <sighs> was we cared about each other. I care about Tyrone. Well, then move away from here, and I don't care if it's Oldham or Ontario. I really do love him, Jack. You see, I want you both to be happy. And if he doesn't make you happy, if you've got the slightest doubt, then you must tell him the truth and let him live a life worth living. It won't come to that. Baby Jack is Kevin, and I'm so angry I could... <coughs> I know.
You will do the right thing, though. You promise me that. I promise. Oh, come here. It's a rotten world, Mole. Excuse me. Are we done? Yeah. Uh, you didn't see where my friend went, did you? I'm still a nervous wreck. Yeah, but you wait till you've got a stranger prowling around your backyard, then we'll see who's nervous. It's affecting my work. Me too. You're taking bets off the unemployed. I'm in charge of people's futures. I made a howler the other day. Got hauled in by the head. What, physically? Oh, you mean the headmaster. What for? Snapping at a teaching assistant during a staff meeting over a bowl of crisps. You haven't told anyone about the letters, though. All I can hear is my heart thumping. Unless it's his, I can hear. Edgar Allan Poe. I've had the same thing. Let's talk inside. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. Shameful? Yeah, don't worry about the language. Yeah, but unnatural, though. Come on, you can't get away with that these days. Exactly, it's well out of date. Of course it is, I know. But what Paul is talking about, in a more general sense, is sin. When people abandon God in greed or in anger, in deceit. So it's up there with deceit, our relationship. Look, these are impulses most of us are guilty of countless times a day. But we haven't abandoned God. I know, feelings aren't condemned. The trick is not to act on them. Sometimes we have to sacrifice our own desires to honour him. Look, I might be a funny hero out, but if you heard yourself... <laughs> what, do I sound stuffy? It's a modern world, I know that. And I know that some people choose to live this way. You see, I thought that it was all equal, but I must, I must have misunderstood that. God puts temptation in our way to test us, to make us prove our love for him. Well, um, I don't think you're as modern as you think you are. Chan. No! It's all good and well when he's got us rocking out to shackles. Chan! Look, I know this is difficult, but the church isn't rejecting you. It isn't. Look, things have moved on, OK? God got it wrong and he'd be the first one to admit it. I have one what people say about me behind my back. Uh, he'll be out right day and night. That's the best he can manage. Good luck to him. Well, he's not getting any action, then. He's not stupid. He has something going on, is you know? Are you kidding? Why would you say it like that? No, I mean, she's a decent bit of stuff. There he is, laugh a minute. Almost there now, Captain. I'm back in the morning. Well, we're here now. You'd only be paying us again. I said, come back in the morning. Any need for the temper? Let's go. That's for Betsy. Oh, have you got him down? Oh, yeah, yeah. One verse a little donkey as well, gone. Which is look at because I don't want the second verse. <laughs> I could do with you at bedtime. Hey, now you, he's spoken for. <laughs> well, I'm suffering terribly at the moment. Well, what pills are you taking? Oh, I've tried everything. Oh. Pills that make it worse, don't you find? <laughs> and there's more pressure on yourself, isn't there, once yeah. you're taking something? Hey, you're all the best cure is for insomnia. I could not sleep. <laughs> 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 you think I could do the rounds, eh? The sleep doctor. Oh, no, no. The sleep whisperer. He'll scare witch out of him, tiptoeing out bedrooms. <laughs> I usually have the most marvellous preventative medicine, you see. I half an hour with Norris and I'm exhausted. <laughs> so, what's he in, Ty? Moses basket? No, no, I've just thrown him on the sofa, but it'd be reek. Hey, that's my godson you're making jokes about. Only having a laugh, Kev. Yeah, well, kids need looking after. I used to watch my girls like Hope Dinner Cell. Could you keep it down just a smidgen? Yes, a lot more. I believe from Kevin you. Webster, like Peter used to get. Ashley just gets soppy. What sort of a drunk with Vera? Amorous, Audrey, very amorous. <laughs> I'm just the opposite. I just want to go to sleep. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen Kevin like this. Doesn't take much for these youngsters, does he? When I think when I used to put away, I've spilt more than he could sup. Kevin. Sorry, Sean, you got a dustpan and brush and I'll sweep up for I'll you. I'll clear it up, Sean. No, 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 we don't want a lawsuit on our hands. Tell it. Do you think he's had enough? I'm trying. Hey, Jack Duckworth, let me buy you a big fat cigar. No, I'm OK, Kevin. Oh, come on, mate, me and you, eh? Spoke a couple of stogies, talk about the good old days. I said, no, thanks very much. Well, I'll keep you there, then. 
Kevin, come on, you're making a show of yourself. Woo! Anyone fancy curry? I do. Now, come on, let's go. Curry? <laughs> oh, yes. Have me uh, wedding dress fitted. Oh no, Joy. Hey, mm. evening, ladies. Yeah. Um, what's I? Oh, it's with Deirdre. I'm gonna get him in a bit. I said I'd pop in the Rovers. You know, wish Jack a happy birthday. All oh, right, is it his birthday? No, I just thought I'd say it to him. Right. I'll uh, just dump these. I'll catch up in a bit. See All you. right. Oh, uh, I've left me fags in the shop. Just, just hang on a minute. One minute. Oh, I'll just stand here like a lemon, then shall I? Well, mix it up a bit. Stand there like a lime, then. Somebody saw what we did. Well, why didn't they do anything at the time? Why didn't they call the police? I don't know. What's the use of flowers and funny phone calls? Blackmail. But no one's asking for anything. Well, somebody's getting something out of it. Like what? I don't know, Charlotte. I'm sorry. We can't let them win. Right now, I'd settle for a draw. That's what I love about you. You always retain that stapian wit, even in times of distress. Can't crack up now. We won't crack up. We've got each other. Charlotte! One kiss? I'm sorry if I give the wrong impression. Not asking for the world. It's all right for you, you've got fizz to keep you warm. Try sleeping in my bed. It's cold and lonely and I'm paralysed with fear. Begrudging me one little kiss. Oh, 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 oh girls. Oh, oh, oh. Celebration, is it? Oh, all right. Jack Duck with one of our regulars. Ah, free bar then. Nice try. Christopher. Oh, I'll get this. Oh, no, I'll get the old man a drink, will you? I don't even know him. Well, sure. Hmm? Someone wants his daddy. Oh, is he awake? Yeah. Come here then, my little <laughs> prince. Hello. <laughs> it's a complete failure to... I don't know. Communicate? Exactly. Communication's the most important thing in a marriage. Every conversation we have just turns into an argument. Whatever I'm doing, she's yipping yap yapping on my ears. What's the mean trick you played on her, though? And Jana Gay, I know it was. Both apologised. I only did it for a bit of respite. Do you know what Len did once to get out of an ear bashing? He played dead. Well, that was even meaner. Did it work? Well, it frightened the living daylights out of me, I can tell you that much. But when I realised he wasn't dead, I was that relieved the argument was forgotten. It's funny, isn't it, the things that we do. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. oh, is Jack going? Yeah, as quietly as he can. It's a bit of a fuss, really, isn't it, for 74? I mean, 75, yeah, I can understand, but 74? That's what Deirdre said. Hey! Ah, here he is! Hey! Happy birthday, Jack. Oh, thank you, Peter, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, many happy returns. Say it with a kiss, darling. Oh, go on, then. <laughs> hey, you've still got it. <laughs> we never lose it. <laughs> By gum, that's one hell of a woman you've got there, Peter. Oh, no, no, she's not mine, Jack. Hey, Leanne, you remember? Of course, of course, of course, of course. How did we go on at Carlisle? Oh, you'll have to pop in tomorrow, I can't remember. Anyway, what are you having? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm full of... You carry on, carry on. All right, anyway, I... all the best. And you, Pete, and you. Hey. 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 Big 7-4. Aye, aye. You don't have to stand there, you know, breathing in this junk. You trying to get rid of me? No, no, no. Just saying. What, are you having for your first dance? Ah, oh, well, we're divided on that one. Lee wants Angels by Robbie Williams. Oh, bit obvious, isn't it? But I'm gunning for Sinatra, you know. Someone with a bit of swagger. Fly me to the moon. 
I once had a mate in the Navy who did it to the birdie song. Made everybody join in. Oh, some people. <laughs> Fly me to the moon, though. Now there's a song. So I stand outside. I did for a while, but you were taking ages. What were you doing in there? You know, Peter, I could expect this of, but not you. Are you really so impatient? Sorry. I had to slink out, mumbling excuses to the woman. It's just the sight of you in that dress. What about it? Don't marry him, Leanne. Nick. All I could think of is I want to see that on my wedding day, not Peter Barlow's. Right, so we're back to that, are we? Oh, jealousy doesn't even come close to... Are they not finished out there? Oh, yeah, and they said there's not going to be enough to do. Leanne. What are you doing to me, Nick? I didn't plan this. What on earth are you doing to me? Well, I mean, I didn't expect him to be over the moon. I wasn't expecting that. Where's the support? Where's the compassion? We're not thick. We know it isn't wrong or against God's wishes. Well, they weren't making it up, Shad. He was reading it from the Bible. Oh. So do you think God doesn't want us? Oh, I don't know. I think God wants everyone. Mm, even the shameful, unnatural perverts inflamed with lust and immoral desires. Chad, it's not a joke, isn't it? I'm struggling to take it all seriously. Chad, I was stunned by that rubbish and I don't like the way it's got to you. Yeah, well, it has, OK. We're not going back there, so. We're not even welcome. Right, so... What's next? What a big turnout, isn't it? I found this popular on a main train. You're not this popular now. <laughs> Your group is in Which one's his missus? Well, that's his fancy piece over there. His wife Vera died a few years back. All right, what would you prefer? Another wife or a fancy piece? It's all right, Owen. I'm not listening. Yeah, I don't know, Chris. Uh, it's not the type of question I concern myself with. Oh, really? I, I, I'm just thinking off now. Norris is cooking and I don't want to make him late. Oh, In that case, I'd stay and have another drink. I think I'd better be making a move as well. Oh, well, can yeah. I just thank you on behalf of Jack? Big Jack, that is. He's, oh. he's had a fantastic afternoon, hasn't he? Yeah. Although I think he'd had his fill and, well, he's, he's not one for good he snuck off for a smoke. <laughs> Thinks he's all daft. <laughs> well, if he has, I suppose he's entitled. Yeah. Suppose he is, yeah, but you know what? You know we've not stung for it. But he's a jolly good fellow. But he's a jolly good fellow. But he's a jolly good fellow. I hope Claire and Ashley sort out their differences. Audrey, I know Deirdre said this more than once, but she really is very sorry about what happened. She did me a favour, Cam. Life is so much simpler on your own. Hey, Dad. Look at us two playing the field, eh? You. I know you're uncouth, uncouth, but honestly. I'm all right. Where's our sofa? Got a couple of ready meals in the freezer. What? Curries? Yeah, sticking with the spirit of the evening. Hey, they should have served us, you know. I'm going to go back there somewhere, I don't complain. You're not going anywhere near it. I had the menu in my hand. I knew what I wanted. You were singing. I was humming. I don't know what's got into you tonight. I'm enjoying myself, I told you. Yeah, well, you've embarrassed yourself, you've embarrassed me, you embarrassed Jack Duckworth on his birthday. Oh, oh go off it, woman. It'll take more than a, a drunkard in a curry house to make Jack Duckworth blood. You actually admire him. Jack? Yeah, he's all right, Jack. Is that what you aspire to be? Oh, be quiet. I want to sleep. So we're putting these curries in or not? You know what I fancy eating? Chris. Oh. Oh, my. I'm tired of you. Well, put your paper down and come with me. It'd be all right if I stopped here. 
Look at the state of that colour. Is it too much effort to go and look in the mirror? Are you waiting for me, my swan dog? Of course I'm waiting for you. There's a bus at 12 minutes past, so come on, shift yourself. Oh, oh give us up a chance. Never mind that. Oh, hold on. I'll fire, I'll fire. Let While it? the music's playing. What are you on about? Come here. When did you go soft? Give you three guesses. Now. Oh, thanks, Rita. All the best. Oh, and Sean, thank Liz again for them drinks. Will do. I'm going to bob back with you, Tyrone. Say bye bye to him. Yeah, of course. If he's there, that is. He couldn't have made it round to flying horse on his own, could he? Yeah, I thought that. I doubt it. He'll be fast asleep in that chair. You wait and see. Bye now. Bye. Cheers. Bye. 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 Another birthday comes, another birthday comes. But didn't you think it was odd, Rita? I mean, a gathering like this just for 74? They're all an achievement, if you ask me. <gasps> right, well, better go and get me, boy. God knows what's happened to Leanne. Back. Pity, Back. I was enjoying myself. Hey, has, uh, has anyone seen the Thomas the Tank Engine? Oh. Shall I resign? Just leave you to it? Tell Peter what? The truth. I lie, my kneecaps. Well, I'll lie then. Say that it wasn't working out, that we were arguing over the colour of the napkins. This place means everything to you. Don't be so romantic, Nick. It's bricks and mortar and bar snacks. Peter and Simon are everything to me. You don't want to leave, do you? No, of course I don't. Then what do you suggest? I suggest you act like a man. Oh, thanks. Oh, come on. We're opening this bar in good faith. We knew what we were getting into. And I still want to make a success of it. But I am not calling off my wedding, Nick. You had your chance. Oh, rub my nose into it, why don't you? Well, I've been around the block since then, and what I've got, it might not be a fairy tale, but it's good. Just good. If there was no such thing as Peter Barlow, then things might be different. But that's all ifs and buts. And I am madly, madly in love with him. Okay. Hey, you're loud and clear. Right. Well, I'll see you in the morning then, Mr. Tilsley. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning, Miss Battersby. <laughs> oh, he's here. Oh, thank goodness for that. Thought you'd wandered off into it tonight. Well, it's a flying arse, any road. Buckies were shut, you see. It's been right off the flying arse, anyway, has been for years. I'll put these cards up here for you, mate. Might have to put some string up like at Christmas. I've never seen so many cards. Tyrone, love. What's the matter? Connie? Connie? Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Tell the phone doctor, uh, phone an ambulance. No, I'll do that. Has, has he gone? Oh, I'm so sorry, Tyrone. <laughs> should, should I put him upstairs? Thanks, but I'm not hungry. Oh, at least try and eat something. You've got to keep your strength up. Sorry if we disturbed you in the night. He was proper fractious. I couldn't settle anyway. 
I dreamed I'd lost my handbag. Oh, it was terrible. Everything I treasured were in the bag. It's too soon, that's what gets me. I mean, we're not finished, me and Jack. We still had loads of stuff to talk about, stuff to do. I know, I love. I promised I'd take him to the last race at season. I always said he were pleased as punch about that. Who's going to take Rita? Cabin Rita? No racy Rita. His new pigeon. I've already got him the tickets and everything. We well, could still go take a mate, eh? Won't be the same without Jack. Nothing's ever going to be the same. I know. Never even got a chance to say goodbye. Useless beggars. But they sent me two jars of the pimiento olives, and I definitely asked for anchovies as well. Give me a ring. Morning, boss. All right, if we. Uh... Of course, yeah. Can I get you a brew? I right, We've been here since Monday, and this is the first time you've gone near the kettle. Are you sure you want us to make a start? You're not going to tell us to do one again, are you? You know how it is. Bit of a bad day. Fair dues. Happens to the best of us. Right, mine's black two sugars, his is white ten sugars. Chuck in a few biscuits and all, and we'll say no more about it. Don't push your luck. Right, I've got the rest of the napkins. What else wants doing? There's a list in the office. Nick. Sorry about last night. It wasn't that bad, was I? Any consolation, I'm totally wrecked. Hangover from hell. It's, um, something's happened. It's Jack. Oh, the baby? Is something... No, 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 no. The baby's fine. It's, um, Jack Duckworth. He, uh, passed away last night. Oh, look at the colour of that. It's like maiden. Behave. There's one tea bag between the four of us. I forgot your build. It's not proper tea unless you can stand your spoon up in it. Are you still on track for finishing today? Yeah, I'll have another couple of hours and I'll be here. Brilliant. Oh, I've got a nip out. Can I settle up now? Ooh. What's this? A couple of VIP tickets for tomorrow night. Ah, cheers, Pat. That's a nice one. Nick, never work. Not now, eh? Moody. Gonna be a laugh a minute for you working with him. I always think Remembrance Day is such a special day. Mm. It's sort of sad, but uplifting at the same time. Yes, that's very true. <laughs> I was going to ask you to buy a, a poppy, but you beat me to it. <laughs> Go on, why don't I treat myself to an upgrade? Oh. Yours are fancier than mine. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> are you having a bit of a senior moment there, Connie? <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> I, I couldn't find the reading glasses last night. All I wanted was a nice sit down with a small sherry and a good book. I had searched high and low. Eventually I found them in the fridge of all places. Well, that's down to Norris, trying to make you believe you're going to do Lally. <laughs> oh dear. What's the matter, love? I'm sorry. Oh, shall I get you a glass of water? I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Oh, well, what's happened? I knew he was ill. But I didn't think he'd be taken so soon. They said that he left peacefully, but that was a comfort. He didn't suffer. Well, it's not Jack, is it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I suppose if you're going to go, that's the way to do it, isn't it? Halfway through your own birthday party, surrounded by your mate. I think he knew because he sort of. Snuck off by himself back home. Is that where it happened? Sat in his favourite chair. You know, thinking back, it was a bit funny with me at the do. Maybe you felt weird or something. No. That's not why. No? No. It's because he knew about us. Are you kidding? He heard you telling me that the baby's yours. <sighs> Thought he'd hate me for what I'd done. But he didn't. It hurt like you wouldn't believe and he still didn't judge me. I didn't deserve his kindness. Please tell me. I didn't say out to anyone. <laughs> Typical. Some things never change, do they? Everything's always about you. Tyrone's over there, he's breaking his heart because the closest thing he's got to a dad has gone forever. He's like a little lad who doesn't know where to put himself. Do you care? Do you, Elle? Of course I do. It's just... Oh, you can relax. Jack kept it to himself because he was a lovely, decent man. 
A man who'd rather die than hurt anyone. Ah, smashing. <laughs> so what are we on then? Late breakfast or early lunch? Well, they call it brunch, don't they? Early lunch, breakfast combo. And eating outside called El Fresco. How sophisticated are we? It's bacon butties in Weatherfield, these. Well, that the name of magic fingers. When I cook, I think happy farts. Makes the food taste better. Gonna nip in and see Liz after you about this. Tell her about these tickets. Your death wish or what? Eh? <laughs> She's done nothing but slag that place off. No, a posh new bar at the end of the street, bad for business. Well, yeah, but she'll want to check out the competition, won't she? See what she's up against. I know I would. No, I'll bet you a tenner she'll take them tickets and shove them where the sun don't shine. <laughs> you won't be able to sit down for a week. There you go. Uh, any use here? Cheers. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we'll call it uh, an early Christmas bonus, shall we? He's a beautiful boy, eh? Who's daddy's best boy? Who's daddy's best boy, eh? You are. Yes, you are. Oh, look. Jack didn't even get to open half his prezzies. I oh, know. Someone got him some electric nose air clippers. He'd laughed his socks <laughs> off at that. I just keep expecting him to walk through that door. Larger than life and twice as ugly as he says. As he used to say. Is it all right? I don't want to impose. No, you're fine. Come in. I hope you don't mind. No worries. Oh, Tyrone, I'm so sorry. You must be knocked for six. I'll put the kettle on there. Am I right in saying you've got some uh, Etlas cakes in this cupboard? Oh, you'll have to check the sell by day. <laughs> they might have gone stale. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Come in. Jack's yeah, got more cards than we have in cabin. He's got a lot of friends around here, has Jack? I know it's hard to believe right now. Honestly, it will get easier, I promise. At least you've got your lovely little son to keep you going. Yeah. Just the postman. Do you take sugar, Rita? No, thanks, love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rita. Oh, lovey. What is it? Oh. Did you ever see a happier man in all your days? Oh, he's bursting with pride, bless him. I'm gonna miss him. I know, love, we all are. But isn't it good to know? He spent his last precious days with his dearest friends. Just imagine, Tyrone, what it meant to him to see you two all happy and settled with your lovely baby. A proper little family. Jack Duckworth died happy. We should take some comfort from that. <laughs> Pickle, I'll be for onions. No, don't worry. I'll get something later. So it's going to be like that, is it? Don't start. I'm busy. You barely said two words to me all day. Well, like I said. Yeah, I know. You're busy. Too busy to even look at me. Oh, this is going to be a total nightmare us working together. We can't even exchange a civil word. You're either ignoring me or we're arguing. It's going to be like flipping faulty towers in here. Oh, come on. We should be happy. A new business opening, exciting times, you know? I know. I know you're right. I'm just trying to find my way through all this mess. Look, I know we're business partners, and that's all we're ever being. You've made that perfectly clear, but I don't trust myself. I've got to touch you or even kiss you because it feels the most natural thing in the world. But I know you're not mine. And I've got no right to. Nick, we've been through all this. Please don't. I know. You're right. I can't let my feelings get in the way of a great business. Babe? Uh, sorry, mate. You must be gutted. Uh, devastated. Totally devastated. And then some. Have a seat. Do you want a cup of tea, love? I think we've drunk enough to sink a battleship today. <laughs> uh, yeah, cheers, love. Uh, two sugars. It's a lovely photo. Yeah. Uh, listen, why don't you come down to the Rovers later and have a few babies on the house? Oh, I don't know. Well, 
Well, you know, just drown your sorrows a bit of the old uh, liquid anaesthetic. <laughs> oh, that's nice, isn't it, Tyrone? After all, that place was Jack's second door. Exactly. Exactly. Just pop in if you fancy it. You're always welcome. Well, we might. Tell the truth. Not sure how long I can sit here just looking at that chair where it happened. <laughs> You know, the weird thing is, I was probably the last person to speak to him. Yeah? Yeah, looks that way. Caught him on his way out the Rovers, shook his hand, you know. What's he say to him? Oh, I don't know. Forget. Just something mundane. All the best. Something like that. He's walking out of there all normal, like he's done a million times before. Billion? Billion times before. Not knowing what fate had in store. Makes you think. Mm. Yeah, hey. Look at this. Jack Duckworth's last betting slip. No. Did a source come in for him? Yeah. Did, as a matter of fact. Look, I own the princely sum of £7.32. Pence. Well, he'll not be pleased. Missing out on a win. Right here, right? I was going to give it to Tyrone. You don't think that'd upset him, do you? Nah. No. Might even put a smile on his face. Trust Jack, eh? <laughs> would, you, uh, would you like to buy a poppy? Oh, you just let me get my purse. Of course, your son's a soldier now, isn't he? Yeah. It's his first day on patrol today, Helmand Province. Like on the news. Oh, so brave. Oh, I'm not, though. My heart's been beating 20 to the dozen every time I think about it. My Gary out there risking life and limb. Okay. You must be very proud. Oh, you don't look so good there, Emily. I think you'd better take a seat. No, I, I shouldn't really. I've, uh, I've, I've set myself a challenge. I can't go home uh, until I've sold every last poppy. Well, you'll be no use to no one if you peg out. A cup of tea and a bun will set you up. I was sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. It's, it's um, a very sad day. Um, I'll be with you in a minute, girls. Hi. Emily, please can I ask you something? Because me and Shana fell out with our pastor. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, well, he's been really horrible to us, saying that our relationship's a sin. Yeah, and that we're being sinful and perverted. Can you believe it? Well, you did read it out, to be fair, from Romans, but still. So we've got nothing to be ashamed of, though, have we? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that it's hurt your feelings like I mean, that. God's made us this way, aren't it? So how can it be wrong? I, I'm sorry, I, I'm... I just can't deal with this right now. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Well, thank you, Betty. Oh, thank you, Dick. Oh, here they are. Oh, I am glad you've come. Yeah. We're all here for you, no loves. You couldn't keep us away. He was a lovely man. Do you know, I've lost count of the times he had us in stitches behind this bar. Here's one, mate. Right. We're so sorry. If there's anything we can do. How you doing, mate? You must be in shock. Yeah, yeah, I think we are a bit. If there's anything we can do, just say. Aye. You need your friends around you at a time like this. Listen, I've been thinking about Jack and everything, and, um, well, I wanted to do something to pay homage to him. All right. So, what did he love in the world more than anything, apart from you, dear? His pigeons. And? Betty? What else? I believe he had a bit of an eye for the ladies when he was younger. Beer. He loved his beer, didn't he? Yeah, of course he did. So, I've been on the phone to the brewery and we're going to have a barrel of beer made of everything. Oh! Oh! He'd be well chuffed at that. It'll be a welling time for the funeral, so... Can raise it up to Ah! You know... To be honest, I'm surprised you've got time to come out. Well, there's still a few bits and bobs to sort out, but it can wait till tomorrow. I need to change the scenery. Yeah, well, fair dues. I suppose you're never going to be away from that place once it's up and running, eh? Peter, do me a favour. Yeah, go on, depends. We come to the opening night. But Lee, have you got a really bad memory, or was it so horrendous last time that you've just blanked it out? Yeah, well, it's all about trust, isn't it? How do you mean, love? Well, I want to prove to you that I trust you. Well, yeah, I know, but... Listen, it's a really important night for me and I just want you there, by my side. My man. I'd do anything for you, you know that, don't you? Anything. 
Well, I hope your good soup's clean. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, so. Name one of his pigeons after you, you know. Well, I've heard everything now. Racy Rita. <laughs> it's a good job he's not here. I give him a clout for his trouble. It's a good job Liz isn't here. She'd have chucked you on your ear. Oh, are you going to turn a blind eye then? Who is it there? Thanks. Three wise monkeys me rolled into one. Seen out, in out, seen out. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Anything to keep the peace. It's like the VIP tickets Nick here gave us. Oh, yeah. What about him? Well, I knew that Liz wouldn't be best pleased seeing me fraternise with the enemy, so I gave him to me right hand man, Chris. Oh, you're all Wait, she was a builder, mate. Should have been a diplomat. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to make a bit of that. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry about Jack, mate. He was a great fella, he really was. I'll tell you something else as well. Me takings are going to take a right hammer in. Yeah. What's this? Jack put a bet on yesterday. His horse came in. Three to one on meet thy maker. Can you believe that? Anyway. All right, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm OK, you know. How are you bearing up, Tyrone? No, I think you're dead brave coming here tonight. If it were me, I'd be tempted to just stop at home and wallow. Well, I wasn't sure, but I'm glad I did now. Good that we come out together as a couple. I'm here to pay my respects to Jack. Come on, Claire, we can't carry on like this. You said we're going to carry on at all? You know, that's what Jack wanted for us. Yeah, I know. I don't want to talk about this right now. We'll proper up with me and you. How did it come to this? Oh, I dealt with the situation very badly. I fear I've upset Sophie terribly. She caught you on the hop, that's all. Now that a few kind words can't put right, the world's moved on. Yet I feel as though I stopped somewhere around 1966. Don't be daft. No, we're a dying breed, Rita. The last of the dinosaurs. Oh, oh you speak for yourself. Oh, oh, you, you've always been much more broad-minded than me. Emily Bishop, are you saying I'm a fool? Oh, dear. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing. Now, you listen to me, lady. You're one of the kindest people I've ever met. And I know for a fact, once you get your head round all this, you'll be able to deal with Sophie and Shell with the utmost wisdom and compassion. What do you think of? Are you, um, you glad you came? Yeah. Babe, you're not still thinking about that thing with Emily, are you? I just thought she'd understand. Yeah, well, why would she? Because she's known me forever and I just, I just thought she cared. Look, she's a different generation, okay? And lesbians probably didn't even exist in her day. All right. I mean that they must have stayed hidden and kept the shameful secrets for themselves. Yeah, well, I'm starting to wish that we would have kept our cop shut. Oh. So, yeah, it was Jack going around leaving gifts for people. So, Jack paid for the church roof to be fixed. He was the mystery benefactor. Yeah, he was. And he was the one that put the theatre tickets from my letterbox. <laughs> and that time I got champagne and flowers from my friend. Yeah, that was him too. Oh. I wish I'd have had the time to say thank you. Hey, bless him. He was a kind old soul when he put his mind to it. Um, I won't be sad. Steve, yeah. can you get us a pickled egg? You've been hiding in there all night. You've hardly said a word to Tyrone. Yeah, it's not that easy, though, is it? I'm sick to death of being a hypocrite, pretending I'm his best mate and all the time. How the hell do you think I feel? I like to think he's... Up there now, sitting next to Vera, in his string vest. <laughs> <laughs> and her in her house coat with the curlers in her hair, eh? <laughs> pair of them bickering like mad. The end of an era, is this? Let's raise our glasses to Jack. Kind neighbour, wonderful friend, and a right Roman to Jack Dooker. Jack Dooker. To Jack Dooker. <laughs> Someone you love. Your head's all over the place. I lied to Jack. I told him that I loved Tyrone because I hated myself and I knew it was what he wanted to hear. You do love him in your own way. Yeah. 
And doesn't that just say it all? Tyrone deserves better. He wants you. He wants the baby. He's happy. But none of it's real. I'm just not sure how much longer I can go on living like this. Well, um, I'm sure that will get around right tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. That was um, Michael from the funeral directors. I've just told him you were at work. What have you told him that for? Well, because I knew you wouldn't want to talk to him. At work? What's he going to think? Doesn't matter what he thinks. You may as well have told him I was in the pub. He's going to want decisions and I don't think you're ready. What decisions? Just... <laughs> all sorts of stuff. You can't even put a notice in the Gazette until you've decided on a time and a date for the service. Wednesday's bowls, Tuesday morning's allotment committee, Tuesday afternoon's dominoes, and they're all going to want to be there. And they all will be there, no matter what it clashes with. But you want to get it right, don't you? Yeah, it's got to be right. So, I think we should just give you a break. We'll tuck these away for now. And we'll tell whoever asked the F word is banned for today. Agreed? Hey, love. What are you still doing here? Oh, I don't have what's up with me today. I can't seem to get motoring. Yeah, well, even Tony McCoy gets jitters before a big race, and they don't come much bigger than tonight. Mm. This is the Grand National. No, it's the Cheltenham Gold Cup. And do you know what, love? I would not miss it for the world. Well, I didn't give you much choice, did I? Well, you're not giving me much choice now. Queen Bee or Queen Mother? Lee, you're not serious about wearing them here. Well, yeah, it's business-like. Yeah, if you're going to open an old people's home, maybe. Hi, cheeky. Wait there. Wear that, flash your engagement ring a lot, and the disappointment will drive them all to drink. Oh, I thought you'd gone for a walk. You know, if Bill Webster popped his clogs today, God forbid, I'd be round at Kev's like a shot. He's not even stepped foot in here. Bill. Kevin. We well, saw him in the Rovers. Yeah along with hundred mates and neighbours. I'm talking about one-on-one -on -one paying your respects in private. He's not even sent me a text, Molly. It's out of order. Are you really upset? You know, Kevin... I thought I did. He's not exactly in touch with his feelings, is he? He'll be embarrassed a bit in case you cry or he does. just thought he was a bigger man, that's all. Well, I'm sorry, love. Me and all. you got two options. Fester, get even more worked up. Or you go around there. What, and make it easy for him? And show him what true class looks like. It's a big night tonight. We'd be dusting off your dinner jacket. Uh, babysitting duty, I'm afraid. You? Me and Eddie down there. It's not our sort of place. Says who? It's a free country, Anna. Just, you know, if you want to go somewhere, you go. Mm, we're not invited. Besides, I like the Rovers. I said as much to Liz this morning. Fur coat and no drawers, she called it. Oh, you change. Oh, look at me, I'm all over the show. Natty little purse. Yeah, loose coins, being in my life. But what she said, and she meant this in a caring way, yeah. it'll be the straw that breaks your Peter's back. I don't think so. Well, you've got to say that publicly. Yeah, because it's true. Yeah. Cheers, Anna. You won't be voting with your feet, though. Besides, who wants to go to a bar where you got to hold your glass down every ten minutes while a tram clatters over your head? I thought my blood pressure might be up, but no, she said it's fine. Heartbeat's normal, the weight's normal. Basically, our octuplets are all doing really well and they're looking forward to getting their own reality TV show. What's the matter with you? Nothing. It's working, isn't it? I'm going to have a word with that Peter Barlow. Peter's great. Lucky to have a job. It's just numbers. Never gonna move a man to tears, spur him on to war, and even make him spit his tea out laughing. Sorry, I'm banging on. They just leave me cold, that's all. Oh, you're like a 99 in summer. With raspberry sauce. <laughs> 16 lines in a sonnet. 14. The A646 to Ebden Bridge. Oh, I love it. <laughs> 122 is driving me mad. Yeah. That's how many days we've got to wait till we get to meet this little fella. <laughs> <laughs> how many more trays, Kieran? Just the one and then we're done. Ah, oh, 
was going to ask where you've been, but you've clearly been poured into that dress. <laughs> Can we make it the new uniform? With my hips, give us a break. Actually, Nick, I've been working. I know you've already got a photographer coming, but I've spoken to the Gazette and they're going to send somebody down to review our opening night. Well, let's pray he's not gay. <laughs> With well, you and Karen behind a bar, let's pray. Yes. Yeah, is the right answer. Do you know what? Uh, good review for the icing on the cake. Nice work. Oh, uh, and um, there's an unexpected guest coming as well. Peter. You're kidding. No, I uh, hadn't realised it, but I want him near me. And he agreed. Well, that's the biggest vote of confidence we get off any critic. OK, guys, uh, five minutes to finish up, and then I'd like a team talk, please. Peter? Oh, sorry, look, I can't stop. I'm late picking Cy up from chess club. Oh, OK, well, what time to go to bed, honey? I just need to pick your brains. I I've got to get him to me dad's, and I've got to get myself back and ready for tonight, so uh, will it keep? Yeah, of course it could. All right, OK. Hey, text me in case I forget, yeah? Mate. They beat me to it, with meaning to come across. Dickinson has delivered those parts you ordered to Webster's garage in Brighton. I've had a Miller on the blow about this flaming people carrier. But you've been on my mind, mate, since... Yeah, well, life gets in the way, eh? Still, if the mountain won't come to Mohammed. How are you bearing up? Dunno. All feels like a dream, if I'm honest. But I can have a look at this people carrier while I'm here. No, yeah. it's supposed to be in the morning. Jack could understand. <laughs> you volunteering for work? He'd be spinning in his bed. Yeah, he would. Except I've not even picked out his coffin yet. I've staked the ranch on this place, so don't forget it. First impressions are vital, so what's the message we're sending out? We're not the Rovers. We're not a backstreet boozer. We're not too cool for school either. We're home from home, but just maybe a bit plusher, a bit friendlier. And a bit sexier than the client's own place. When can I move in? Oh, I'll have to get in the queue. Put it this way. If the joinery were a person, it'd be Leanne Battersby. It's got <laughs> energy and ambition. The franchise will go far, but it will never, ever forget where it came from. So let's raise our glasses to our powerhouse, the woman who always leads from the front, Leanne. Leanne! Leanne. Perfect timing. I, I do think Molly would be in the mood for cooking. Actually, I don't think she did cook, but anyway. No fuss, we said. Keep things normal. Well, it's a bit more normal than a beef stew. We were going to invite you round to us, Tyrion, but just to let you know that we're thinking about you, aren't we? I've told you. Oh, there's enough for ten of us here. Come and share it. No. Come on. No, I've taken up enough of your time this afternoon. You'd be doing us a favour. Give us a lift having people at the house. Look, he's just saying that. No, I mean it. I don't like it when it's too quiet. Gives you too much time to think. Okay, okay, yeah, there's a step. They only go, okay. <laughs> Red carpet treatment for the true star of the night. Is this your idea? You don't mind, do you? I mean, it's not uh, too tacky for what you've got planned. No, 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 for an open night. It's great. I take it Her Majesty wants it back? No, but me uh, mate at the Garuda Bingo all does. <laughs> it's not charity. It's vintage. Pons it up however you like. I mean, it looks like charity. It smells like charity. I've washed it twice in drift. You have to be careful with vintage. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hey. All that. Trust me to go for a Burton from that photographer. You've got me worried now. Can I borrow your perfume? You've got me here, Janice. Oh. Janice Bernadette batters bit. Oh, you could say the girl out of Weatherfield. <laughs> well, I've been to these swanky places before. Prices are astronomical. And it won't be free drinks all night, you know. Oh. I don't think that you're getting a sniff of this, Snitch. <laughs> but it's not like rubbing salt in the so it's not too bad for you. Hey, this is a new beginning for us. Come here, Leanne Batters. No, we didn't! Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no! <laughs> 
I wouldn't dare. Drink? There's just so many choices. A hearse and one car, or a hearse and two cars. Reefs coming out your ears, or family flowers only. Or a charity donation, cancer research, or pigeon protection leave. Oh, uh, we said we weren't going to fret about the funeral today. You know, you're not going to rest till this funeral's over, though. Do you know, it makes me angry. Jack's got a son and a grandson. It should be their responsibility. It's not a responsibility. It's an honour. Do you know, I've known the duckies since they were 18. I've seen Terry flitting and out, girlfriends and grandsons come and go, and they only had one duty to Jack, and that was to make him happy. And the only person who managed that, Tyrone, was you. And everyone knows it. So, ochre, paper coffin, sausage rolls, or volivants, Jack could tell you, just get the list, shut your eyes and stick a pin in it. Cos you've done what counts. You let him die at peace with himself and the world. Am I right, Kevin? Yeah. Jason! <laughs> 74, though. Not a bad age to die, I suppose. Should I say that to a 73 year old? about you? I mean, you never talk about your folks. Is your dad still alive? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. You plant a nuclear bomb under the Tingley estate and that old codger will come crawling out the wreckage, gagging folk will go rough. Warm and fulfilling relationships. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, I know all about them. Did you see that? Now that is a pro. She can break a stride. Yeah, but I wonder what else we've told them apart from me being a raging alcoholic. Don't let him play with matches. Oh. Well, what else is there to tell? I mean, the rest of us are safe, aren't we? Frosty. Ah, good. Don't do it to yourself. I love the way the bubbles dance over the rim, eh? You must be tempted sometimes. Oh, yeah, every day. But I've got something to live for now, don't I? Look, uh, excuse me. My fiance's bored, she needs rescuing. How do you know? Right here, Rick. Oh, sorry, Dropping off. Is John not with you? Oh, he said he was heading home to make a start on tea. Oh. Do you know I only bobbed out for a few bits? Famous last words. Mm. Any news? No. Oh, trading standards tried to cop that fella selling our tweed jackets. What? Are they not the genuine article then? Oh, junk. Junk. Charity junk. Posh envelope, isn't it? Doesn't look like a bill. It'll be a posh bill. Anyhow. The jackets are made of tweed, and it turns out the bloke's name is Mr. Harris. The suits went home empty handed. <laughs> so, Mark's out of ten so far. Uh, eight. A measly eight? I was going to give it eleven. Peter, you cry X Factor. Well, it's an emotional roller coaster. Anyway, what's that got to do with the price of fish? You're not the toughest critic in the world. I'm not the toughest critic in Weatherfield. Hey, I've been thinking. What would Blanche have thought of this then, eh? All gone and, and no now dinner. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Give me six months. You're a bricklayer, Chris. Plus I like a drink. How could I ever forget? No, it's just one old works and what doesn't. Six months from now, Patty McGinley will be serving egg and chips and all these drinkers will be meatheads. Well, I'll pass your comments on to the management. Do. Your boss. He's a very important person. Funny he didn't invite your boyfriend. A, Lloyd's not my boyfriend. And B, he's got a very important job of his own tonight. Looking after your son. Oh! A, hey, oh. Please, the Zalabam. <laughs> You're not going to shut us down again, have you, again? <laughs> I'm having his shirt on it. I'm mine. I do apologise. See you, Ken. Come on. I, uh... I was talking to Anna this afternoon about bars and the rovers and so on. Dad, please. It's Liam's big night, you know. Set me thinking. Is there a fight? Someone from the family should raise a toast. And since Janice looks a little busy, you work hard now. Well done. I hope it comes good for you this time. I really do. Thanks. To the joinery. The joinery. <laughs> Hi, 
Are you looking for someone? Flaming sat now. I've not missed the buffet ever. Nope, chef will keep the tapas coming all night long. Oh, God, I went to body crunch instead of lunch. My belly's doing backflips. Oh, is that champagne? That uh, was an empty stomach. Mm. Players have it with me IBS, but you've got to be social, haven't you? I'm looking for Nikki and Anne. It's Nick and Leanne. And you are? Trish Brooks Benson, a.k.a. Gal About Town. And the Field Gazette. Is that you? Wow, oh, Leanne never misses you, Colin. I tell you what, why don't we settle you where Chef can see it and okay, maybe it's Trish from the Gazette. A.k.a. Gal About Town. Trish, the pleasure is all mine. How are you? So let's break up the party for our reviewers, yeah? Oh, uh, gay or straight? Hungry at first day and need some schmoozy. Um, go on, you go and do your stuff. I'll we'll still be here when you get back. She's got a half break. <laughs> Evening. Hi. Uh, yeah, it turned out well. You never do so to myself. <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, it's bad. Excuse me. I sometimes think they had it better in Jack and Vera's day. What, when women did all the work? <laughs> all the work and all the child we're in. But they've got to make all the decisions and all. What have we got today? The myth of equality. Aye, aye. Endless debate. I want a blue sofa. He wants a brown sofa. And what do we end up with? A green sofa that we both like the least. Her couch is beige. <laughs> so literal, honestly. <sighs> we agree on most things, don't we? Yeah, well, mark my words, you'll end up doing the lion's share of the child we're in. Over my dead body. Ah, but that's where good friends come in. Because four o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the afternoon, makes no odds. You were there for Jack, we'll be there for you. How much have you had to drink? Not enough. Uh, you can talk after the other night. Do you know what? I never got a wink of sleep with his boozy snoring, no matter how many times I elbowed him to turn over. Little Jack snores, you know. Never. Listen, security thing. Can we stop clattering? I'm just trying to help. Take Sally upstairs. You can't hear it on the monitor. Right, I'll get off see how they are. Okay. Hey, it means a lot to me. You give Simon a kiss for me, will you? Oh well. You have a good night. Okay. Not one. I'm on duty. Oh come on! You've earned it. Oh, right, you charm the pants of that reviewer with your modern twist on Times classic. <laughs> in fact, seeing you in action has um, made me a tad jealous. Oh, are you consumed with passion? Rapid with rage. Mm, oh, mildly missed. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> Hiya. Hello? No, sorry, I, I can't hear you. Hang on a minute. Hello? All right, look, just just calm down and, and tell me what happened from the beginning, OK? How do you do it? Week in, week out, if you don't mind me asking, still keep your figure. And not just that, keep the opinions fresh. I mean, let's face it, half the time, you must feel like saying, I feel that it's a dump. <laughs> <laughs> half the time, more like 75%, but not tonight. Oh, she had to say that. <laughs> no, I mean it. I've had a blast and it's only... Why is it? Past eight already. I'm not supposed to have carbs past seven. Is there any more of that black pudding? <laughs> all right, look, all, all right. I'll, I'll be there as quick as I can. Yeah. I'm leaving now, OK? <laughs> Was that Chess? Yeah, he's gone to Katie's. And I'm going up the wall. What? Your husband needs detention. I need justice. I came this morning. Cranks. Detention! They know you were back teaching. No, they know I'm out of prison, that's all. Push on! Look, I've done my time. My conscience is clear. Poison only spreads if you let it. I'll burn that. Someone spent hours making that. People spend hours composing letters to the Daily Mail or building statues of Big Ben out of matches. Forget it, Fizz. I am. Oh, the grill! Okay. You just need to get your act together. I'm doing my best. You well, it's not good enough. Not coming round to pay your respects. It's doing me head in. All this talk about Jack's peaceful death. Yeah. Well, that's our fault. Our burden. 
We can't pass it on to other people. I don't intend to. But you will if you carry on behaving like this, acting all out of character. Folk get suspicious. Please, I'm begging you. Forget about me and the baby. If you've got any love for Tyrone, if you care for him half as much as Jack Duckworth did, you will forget that DNA test. Just forget that you and I ever spent a moment in each other's company. And how do I do that? Be a man. Jack was. He didn't judge us. It hurt, but he took our secrets to the grave. We've got to do the same. No, thank you. Oh, well done, guys. That was excellent. See you later. Bye. Hey. Uh, yeah, I wonder how is this tonight? Like a bit hazard, I guess. I was half thinking about texting her. You know, no hard feelings, can't they? Liz is proud. She'd only think you're being patronising. Well, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think that was our four-star review in the bag. Hey! Brilliant! Yeah, well, well, I will give you five. <gasps> oh, where's Peter? I can't wait to tell him. He was here a while back. I've not seen him for ages. No, I haven't either. You don't think he's feeling abandoned, do you? You're a bit daft. No. No way. I've been watching him like the hawk all night. Nothing but orange juice is passing. Maybe he's chosen to be quick. See? Uh, excuse me, look, I'm uh, looking for a pal of mine. There's been a bit of bother. Bother? That's my little name. I, I can walk. Not in a straight line, maybe. Right, you'll be hearing from us. Let's come on, let's get out of this dump. What, no hug? Don't tell me I'm in the naughty corner with you and all. Drink driving? You were drinking orange juice. What happened? Hook Street. They picked me up on Hook Street. Blasted Hook Street's yard from the flat. How could you? Oh, does it matter? It's been done. I've been done. Whichever way you look at it, it's a total disaster. I don't want your casseroles. I want you to rewrite the past. You and me never happened. Just like that. I'm supposed to forget his mind. Just like that. You don't me just like that. Tommy Cooper had nothing on you. OK, plan B then. We'll come clean. Devastation all around. Tyrone, Sally, Rosie, Sophie. But you'll get to play daddy at the weekends. We'll tell them now if you like. Or we can wait till Jack's six feet under. It's up to you. Yeah. Anything for a quiet life, eh? Didn't realise you hated me so much. It's called self-preservation. Fair enough. But pretending is not mine. Every time I see him, it just churns me up. I've got all this love inside, and I don't know what to do with it. I've got a funeral to organise. A broken-hearted husband. A son that I intend to lie to for the rest of his life. A decade of a big fat lie right ahead of me. Have you any suggestions of where I put that? No. OK. I'll try. I mean it, Kevin. You need to be Oscar winning. No more weirdness, no more moody silences. You treat baby Jack like he is your best mate's son because that's all he ever can be. Hey. Uh all right, little fella. Yeah, we've got a confession to make. I'll walk him up. It didn't seem right, him up there all on his lonesome. No, just a few gentle prods. What are you two <laughs> like? You're gonna have a cuddle, aren't we, champ? Oh, book me in for one of them. <laughs> hey, believe it or not, our Rosie was a dead cuddly baby, wasn't she, Kev? Yeah. Right, it's uh, time we was going. Oh, there's a few more cans in the fridge. Stop for a bit. Yeah, OK. I've uh, never knowingly refused ale. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Oh. You're missing your party. Yeah, well, there'll be others. And you won't be able to drink at any of them. Now, there's a sobering thought. Oh, you're a punning little alky, but I like you. And you sure it was just the three glasses that you had? Yep. Tragically. Oh, if you're going to get done for drink driving, at least go out in style. Three glasses barely touch the sides. Yeah, well, that's just as well. That's just as well because you could have killed somebody. You could have killed a kid. I could have knocked down an old lady. Somebody might have loved her, or used her. I mean, kids, they rule the world. I'm making you one of these poncy Earl Greys. Leanne likes this stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Talk of the devil. 
What happened? You were doing really well. Yeah, well, I might spend the rest of my days totally out of my tree. Did something happen tonight? Yes. Three glasses of Verve Clicquot, officer. What is it? Why am I getting the feeling that you're angry with me? Like I said, you're missing your party. Are you joking? Well, at least he showed me. I mean, nursing and orange juice in the Rovers is one thing, but this sort of place, it screams night out, doesn't it? So he's left you to it? Yeah, looks like. Has Maria gone up? Yeah, baby, since Maria got home, it's woken up in the state. Oh, no, our first night out in ages. Did you uh, walk her to the door? Yeah, <laughs> all 20 yards of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. And was there any uh, tonsil tennis? <laughs> How old are you? I'm sorry, I only take yes or no for an answer. Uh, no. Uh, chased, peck on the cheek between mates. Uh, Nick, you're rubbish. Mystery solved. This is a throwback to that Rosie Webster business. When you kidnapped her. But ring fenced? Yeah, it's gotta be. You don't think they know about Colin Fishwick? No. John Stapp, I am arresting you for giving young people a love of English literature. They would arrest you! And I live with that black cloud every day. I know, I'm sorry, but this is just a, a, a greening nut job who's got a pair of scissors, a pot of glue and too much time on their hands. Do you reckon? Yeah, what, with that reference to detention? Definitely. Yeah, that rosy stuff was a lifetime ago. Exactly. File under N for nutter. Prosecuted. Well, yeah, only if the job's at the age code. <laughs> you can't just randomly ban the over 40s. Leanne, have you heard Rosie's interesting ideas on our door policy? Mm. She's right, though. You're going to have a boozer where you don't bump into your man. Yeah, or your granddad. <laughs> well, when you put it like that. 39's and under. Yeah, anyone over 39 is banned. We can have a doorman shouting into the air now, do one. <laughs> right, so you'd seriously turn away Brad Pitt? Well, you could use my discretion. So a Hollywood A-lister walks through the door, no problem, but your mum, your mum and my mum... Look at the slum it in the Rovers. Well, stay at home and learn about the price of utility bills. Oh, my mum is obsessed with utility bills. Yeah, mine too. Spooky! <laughs> I'm ready to stop me later. I'm surprised I'm just grabbing my little pal. One hand in my Yeah, of course it will. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks. Lisa? No, is it? Where'd he disappear to? Oh, he's uh, meant to be in some bloke with a drink problem. He's with him now. On your big night? Well, he stayed for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's just sort his priorities out. <laughs> come on, come into really? town, you boring workaholic. <laughs> no, no, look, I'm fine. Look, you go, I can manage. Come on, I've got me disco legs. <laughs> I don't pretend he didn't say that. No, do you know what? I just want to go home and have a soak in the bath. Oh, boring. Knackers. <laughs> Group hug. Come on, everybody. Oh. Group hug. <laughs> we are officially brilliant. Ask my friend, Trish Brooks Benson. <laughs> oh, with a Weatherfield Gazette, well done. <laughs> yeah, we're McCarthy Networks. McCarthy Networks. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Hey, Rob, us a glitter ball for the bar. Oh, don't say that to a nutter like him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, we did it. I've never been so glad to see such a mess. Bit overwhelming, though. Do you know what? I'm disappointingly sober. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You've got to think positive. You know, some people actively choose not to drive. <laughs> and do they own a factory or have breakfast meetings all over the north of England? OK. Hayley Cropper could be a designated driver. What? Oh, look, stop trying to fix everything. And you sit in the back, you plough through all your paperwork, which actually, pound for pound, is a much better use of your time, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Also, I reckon you'd suit that whole Lady Penelope thing. Look, shouldn't you be getting back to the bar? I am fine. I'm really not going to go in search of the nearest bottle of Thunderbird. You're far from fine, Carla. 
tell me what happened. Please. <sighs> when I saw you at tea time, I was trying to send out a May Day. Right. And I fobbed you off. No, you were busy with your own life. You are entitled. No, I should have tuned into you. I'm really sorry. Oh, look, I don't want you to be sorry. I don't want to be something on your conscience. Hey, you're not. You're a valued mate to me. <laughs> oh, kill me now. Oh. Look, tonight I was trying to dry my sorrows. Well, just one big sorrow, actually. But it's a biggie. Try me. Oh. It's you, you big pillock. And don't, please don't tell me this is a schoolgirl crush because you're, you're right under my skin. And I'm guessing by the look on your mush, you didn't have the slightest inkling to you've got. I need a drink. Right about the finish. Works much better than the black. If we started talking about all the things I'm right about, we'd be here all night. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> So, you prop Peter up, Peter props up some stranger, who props you up? I could ask you the same question. Oh, he's got his serious face on. <laughs> the thought of seeing you every day helps me get up in the morning. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I thought you wanted the truthful answer. I do. And I don't. <laughs> You're magnificent. Stop it. I can't. You know, I'd never throw you away again. I'd like to take that stupid kid I was when I was 19. I'd slap him round his stupid oh. room. <laughs> Still here, I was hoping you'd liked it. Look, Carla, I'm unbelievably flattered. I, I know, and you've got Leanne. And her lip is all lovely and tickly pink, and she don't drink and drive and throw herself at unavailable men, does she? I'm in love with Leanne. And I, hey, I don't mean that to sound small. Oh, it, it doesn't. Otherwise, I bit your arm off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enough said. Very smooth toned arm. I have got eyes, you know. <laughs> you're beyond gorgeous, you're off the scale. Oh, hey ho. At least that's the nicest rejection I've ever had. Hey. It's the only rejection you've ever had. I'm sorry, that was my fault, right? That was completely my fault. Go home, Peter. No, I was giving you mixed signals, OK? And what kind of selfish scumbag does that to his mate? Please, just... You're forgiven, just go. No, I've let you down twice today. Carla, look at me. <clears throat> we can get past this. I know we can. <laughs> 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 You said you want to rise in? Yes, not with a bag of greasy chips in your hand. You want to loosen up, you? I like still in the bar. Yeah, well, if they're not found it now, the cleaners will find it first thing in the morning, won't they? Yes, I'm calling around Paul under my tarry. Rosie, you said to surprise you. Yes, not come me in salt and vinegar. I don't believe this. Come on, let's go back to mine. <laughs> <laughs> you mum, you mean, at last? Oh. I left my mobile disaster mode. Hey, I couldn't get a quick slash, could I? Yeah. Sorry about that. I had the hoover on. I've gone a bit OCD with the flooring. It cost an arm and a leg. Nick, have you seen a mobile phone anywhere? Uh, no. Uh, I'll have a look if you like. It's dead bling. It's got two charms in it. Both of miniature handbags, sterling silver. It's in a mock croc, hot pink Vera tan case. <laughs> I see. 
Do you know what? I think somebody should invent a silent vacuum cleaner, go on Dragon's Den, do something useful for once. Yeah, they clean up. Ba-boom. My whole life is in that phone. It's like losing a limb or something. <gasps> Panic over. Nice one. OK, thanks, everybody. Um, cheers, etc. Bye! Yeah, see you. Come night Want chip? No, I don't want to chip. Do you want a chip? No, I don't. Cheers, etc. What is that girl on? Yeah. What have we done? Oh, you always end up doing jobs when you come <laughs> round. Hey, that's what aunties are for. Tie spark out on the bed. You both look shattered. Kevin didn't look too clever either. Are you and him? Uh... Dead and buried. I hope they're into boat. Auntie Pam, it's such a mess. Kevin's Jack's father. Oh, now, you don't know that, Molly. Why talk to yourself? He, um... He went and did a DNA test. I didn't know anything about it until afterwards. He um, took a dummy from the christening and paid for a test. No. Oh. Kevin is 100% definitely my baby's dad. Oh, good Lord. Sneaking off with a dummy. He's so grubby, so self-serving. He said he just had to know. He was driving him mad. Wells knows. <laughs> Poor old Jack. <laughs> Sorry. He overheard us talking about the results. <laughs> like he didn't have enough to worry about with the cancer. Oh. Hey. Hey, 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 come, come on, come on. This isn't embarrassing, is it? You know, friendship is underrated. Oh, please, I have trotted out that I don't want to lose your friendship so many times. But I don't. I really don't want to lose yours. Oh, I can see what's in it for you. Quick ego boost from an old soak. Ah, uh, no, former soak. And home to Leanne for the real thing. Hey, I'll be the foreplay without the touching. Oh, come on. Don't say that. Oh, look. Jean is out the bottle, Peter. Every time I look at you, we're both gonna know I fancy you. This is one very doomed friendship. No, look. Hey. We've both got demons. We can... we can help each other. Okay? And your feelings for me, they'll fade. Especially when you get to know me properly. You better watch yourself. So no mixed signals. No awkwardness. Just good. Honest support, OK? What do you say? To the crumbs off the table. <laughs> You're a twisted beggar, you. What if you suspect something? What, those two? Crikey. I mean, I've got a lot of time for Jason, but he puts the G in Gormless and Rosie Webster doesn't even know we exist. It could have been Peter at the door. Yeah, but he wasn't. I'm engaged! I know! What was I thinking? All that champagne on an empty stomach was just asking for trouble. Oh, thanks. Bonking a colleague on a barroom couch. Oh, hold on. Ex-husband, we didn't bonk, we made love. Oh, please. You look completely horrified. I can't believe I've cheated on Peter. Yeah, but doesn't that tell you something? Yeah, it does. Not to drink on an empty stomach, not to confuse love with lust. Yeah, but the two are mutually exclusive. I need to get home. Oh, 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 not like this, you don't. No, no, no. But you had all this planned, didn't you, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me bang to rights. Arrange for Peter to be indisposed and forcibly poured champagne down your neck. You couldn't wait to get that bottle open no, quick enough! I'm not playing this game! All that flannel toasting me! No. It was all just foreplay! That's completely untrue. This isn't real. This is all just that. Oh, yeah, yeah, because Peter gives good real, doesn't he? That time he burnt his flat down now, that was pretty real. Peter hasn't had a drink since the 12th of February! Yeah, but there's always tomorrow and the next day. I've got a great life with Peter and Simon. I know it might seem boring to Oh, no, alcoholic arsonists aren't boring at all. Do you know what? I like ironing Simon's shirts on a Sunday night. 
I like seeing his five little shirts hanging in his wardrobe on the hangers. Saturday morning swimming. Saturday afternoon pictures. He still jumps in our bed to wake us up. Yeah, well, you're not marrying Simon. <laughs> you're marrying his charity case, Dad. This is me resigning. No, this is you running away. You wanted tonight as much as I did. I more dignity when I judge by the hour. Lick, just leave me alone. I've always loved you. Man and boy, we can have the most wonderful life together. No, I am marrying the charity case. And if tonight's taught me anything, it's how much it means to me. It's worth ten of you. Half an hour ago, you were screaming in ecstasy. <laughs> Thank you for the biggest week of color. Glad you came. <laughs> Don't say I'm. Don't be daft. And that Jack Duckworth, he's been round the block more times than you've had a chippy tea. He was brilliant. He could have made me feel like dirt, but he was dead straight. He just said that if Tyrone wasn't the one, then I should tell him and let him find someone else. What did you say? Ty's the one. I know that I don't deserve him, but I do love him. I know that. And Tyrone knows that. And Jack knew that, God rest his gentle soul. Molly, love, you made a mistake. God knows you're paying high price for it. Oh. Everything I say just feels like a lie. When we're in bed, and, you know, and afterwards when he's holding me, I just get this terrible urge to tell him. I want to tell him. And then he can hate me as much as I hate myself. Come here, love. Come on. It's all right. Oh, God. Oh, I feel so self-pity and I feel so selfish. Jack's lying cold in the chapel arrest and I'm here crying for myself. I bet you hid them weapons of mass destruction and all. <laughs> Everything that comes out my mouth feels like a lie. Look, you love your husband and you love your baby. True or false? True. Right. And you and the husband that you love and regret cheating on are going to lavish that baby with all the love in the world. True or false? True. Right. So whenever you get the urge to come clean, you pick up that phone, day or night, and I'll talk you out of it in two seconds flat. Nobody turned up. Yeah, it went really well. Couldn't have gone better. Well, sorry I wasn't with you, but with David worrying about his tests, you know. Has he got the results yet? No. It's the waiting that's getting to him. Can't be easy for him. So if it went well, why the face? One bottle of champagne too many? <laughs> Probably. Seemed like a good idea at the time, eh? Bet Leanne feels the same. Boiled eggs are horrid. How can you say that? Boiled eggs are the best. They're baby chickens. Are they egg? They're only baby chickens if there's a daddy hen. You can't have daddy hens. It's like saying daddy cows or daddy mummy. You can't have a daddy mummy. <laughs> no. Well, what did you say it for then? You're just being silly, that. I don't know. 
Daddy Mummy, you'll be saying Daddy Hens next. I bet it was Rosie herself. Hey? Who sent that letter? I thought we were forgetting about the letter. Unless it was Sally. No, whoever it is, don't let them get to you. Well, they've won. Not if I go and face them with it. Name and shame. You can't do that. Why not? What? Well, what if you're wrong? You just start the whole thing off again. Jen, I'm not wrong. No, please, don't. We're settled here now. People have accepted us. Well, obviously somebody hasn't. The last thing I want to do is to open up old wounds. I don't think I could cope with that again. We've got no right, though. Whoever's doing it will get bored after a while. Please, just try and forget about it. Yeah. I suppose they wouldn't admit it anyway. Exactly. You're amazing. Eh? The way you rise above it all. My hero. Right, I'm off. Oh, by the way, someone posted that through the letterbox last night. I'll get it. Is it another? No. No, it's a, a sympathy card. Must be meant for the docks. Oh, right. I'll drop it into them later. Oh. Hang on a second. Yeah. Happy birthday, Granddad. Mmm. <laughs> no, John. Oh. Uh, hang on a second. Somebody else wants to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Granddad. <laughs> No, it's Max. It's um, Amy's cousin on Becky's side. Yeah, we're just um, we're just looking after him for a bit. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Okay, yeah. See you later. All oh, right, bye. Right, coming over later. Mm, great, Liz will be pleased. You're not coming to see her, is he? Anyway, give him an opportunity to meet Max. Class age cherries. It will be a travesty without them. <laughs> A man after my own heart. And, of course, the requisite glass of brandy. Oh, I always use sherry. No, no, it, it has to be brandy. It can be whatever you want. He put Uzo in his once. Not very much. Yes, well, I'm sorry, but that is not Christmas cake, it, in my opinion. It is Christmas cake. It's Christmas cake with a kick. Hey, have you heard these two going on about Christmas cake? And it's in November. You're talking like it's early. It has to have time for the brandy to soak in. Or the sherry. Hey, we heard from our Gary this morning. Actually got a letter from him. Really? I didn't know he could even write. <laughs> oh, boom. He's at Camp Bastion now. That's in the Helman province. She says it like she knows where it is. How's it doing? Brilliant. Yeah, listen. It's really warm and dead dusty here, but it's not too bad because the wagon's got air con. The grub's okay and we can play footy and stuff. There's a telly, and last night they even put on a show. We'll have to go there for our rolls. All the lads are a laugh. Quinny, you remember Quinny, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quinny says, ask my dad to make some of his butterfly cakes when we're back on leave. He keeps having dreams about them. Oh. Can I uh, get a coffee and a Danish to take away, please? <laughs> we must be dead proud of him. Oh, we are. Hello, Carla. All right. No, that's fine. I can open up. What time will you be in? No, that's not a problem. Right, okay, see you whenever. Bye. Hey, love. Morning. I've made you some tea, yeah? Oh, Hey, listen, I'm really sorry about last no, night. No, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. It was the most important night of your life and I wasn't there for you. Yeah, well, it wasn't brilliant timing. I didn't want to leave. So why did you then? Well, you know why, because Carl needed me. I needed you. You should have stayed. Why? Everything went all right, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was a big success. I guess I just needed somebody to celebrate with. I'm sorry. Will you stop saying you're sorry? Who's taking it to school? Daddy can. I'm not feeling very well, sorry. Oh, love, you never said. It's probably just a bug. I just need to sleep it off, that's all. Do you want me to phone for a doctor? No, no, I'll be fine. Well, I'll pop in at dinner time. No, honestly, it's fine. I just need to sleep, that's all. Here, he'll make you feel better. 
Thanks. All right, well, if you need anything, just ring me, okay? Yeah, you better go. It'll be late. All right, okay. Mm. Bye. See you. Come on, bye. Oh, hi, Connie. Do you want a brew? It's yeah. fine, I'll do it. He's got some lovely cards. Yeah, I know. Can't believe how many people he knew. <laughs> well, when you reach our age, they mount up. Well, them that haven't gone before, that is. So, uh, anything I can do to help you? The vicar wants to know what hymns we want. What, what do you think, Mal? Uh, I don't know. The trouble is, he never really liked hymns. He always said that he was dead dreary. Well, perhaps we should keep them down to a minimum. You reckon? Yeah. Where's Jack's funeral, not Vickers? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the important thing is to do things the way that he wanted, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to go and check on Jack. Come on. I'm fine. She's took it hard, hasn't she? Yeah. Do you think I should go? No, give her a bit of space. Some folks caught by keeping busy. Now, uh, all this talk we've had about the funeral, uh, there's one thing you've never mentioned. What? Terry. Yeah, I know. Well, have you been in touch with him yet? No. It's only two days. But it's hard enough telling him that his dad's died, but to tell him that he didn't want him at the funeral it just seems a bit harsh. What? Do you want me to do it? No, it's all right. Listen, if you feel it's the wrong decision, I'm sure Jack would have respect your judgment. So you just do what you think is right. Yeah, it was like she couldn't even look at us. I swear. It's like we had some kind of disease. Like she couldn't get out there quick enough. Oh, are you still going on about that? It's Emily Bishop. Who cares what she thinks? Yeah, but it's not just Emily Bishop, is it? It's the pastor and all, and now I can't even go to church. Yeah, because you think we'll probably corrupt the rest of him. It's not fair, I like going quiet and all. Me too. Uh, Dad, how much butter have you actually put on that? Oh, sorry. Oh, so you listen to her? I do not but listen to everyone. My opinions count for now. Do you actually know, though, how many calories is in a teaspoon of butter? Well, don't eat it with a teaspoon, then! Come on, Chad. So where's our power house, then? You what? Leanne, the woman that likes to lead from the front. I didn't realise my speech was that memorable. Well, it's obviously Anne has forgotten it. Yeah, she ran herself racket trying to get this place open. She wants to come in a bit later, she's entitled. So she is coming in then? Of course, I told you. Only the lunchtime rush is down soon. Yeah, if you don't get back in the kitchen, they'll have nothing to eat either. Leanne, I know you're there. But you can take things out on me, but not on the business. If you're not here by this afternoon, I'm coming round. Have you done anything special this week, Sal? No, not really. Just catching up on jobs. What, like paperwork? <laughs> no. Mainly trying to clear a track through the girls' bedroom so I could get the Hoover through. Yeah, don't worry, the order will be on time. That's right, 300 with trim and three without. All without? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, okay then. Thanks a lot. Bye. Oh. Right, uh, listen up. Who's doing the McNeese order? Um, I'm doing the McCankles. <laughs> Janice, enough with the wisecracks. Oh, getting flustered, are we? Janice, just let us speak. Thank you. Right, uh, how many of you are uh, putting trim on? Right, well, you have to take it off again. Oh. Why? Well, you told us to put it on. She got it wrong, didn't she? Well, never mind that. Just do it. We can't just take it off. She's right. It'll leave all the needle holes, won't it? You're going to have to spell it out for her. It's like giving a punter a glass with lipstick on. There might not be a gob round it, but you know it's been there. I'm talking of gobs. Why don't you stitch yours up? <laughs> right, well, you'll have to start over again, won't you? 
It's not the end of the world. There'll be plenty more orders for ones we trim. Exactly. There you go. That's what we need. See, positivity. No, what we need is somebody who knows what they're doing. Worst caller anywhere. Here. So get your head down and get cracking, please. Is everything all right? Yeah, fine, yeah. Oh, good. Thank you, bye. Yeah. Have you had anything else? Shouldn't you be at school? I've been signed off with stress. How can I deal with 30 headbangers when all this is going on? So have you? Yes, there was a letter. It was addressed to Fizz this time. And what did it say? Oh, don't worry. It was cryptic enough for her to not realise. Honestly, think up an explanation. And then last night, this came. You are in my thoughts. Pass this one off as the neighbours. They just had a bereavement, thank God. Well, you know what I mean. I had one as well. Exactly the same. Really? I'm going out of my head. If it isn't Chesney, who is it? Who's doing this? I don't know. I can't take much more. Can you come round tonight? I don't think that's a very good idea. Is this because of that stupid pass I made? No. It just... I think it's better if we keep a distance for a while. People will start to notice. My boss already thinks you've got a gambling addiction. I don't think I can cope without seeing you. You're the only one I can talk to. Look, they can't have that much on us or they'd have gone to the police. They're bound to give up soon. We have to just try and get on with our lives. What life? Mine's in tatters. Yeah, well, mine isn't that great either. But I've got other people to consider. If it's in the baby, you have to come first. Sorry. So, what do you think then? Isn't it fantastic? Really chic. Look at the size of them portions. One for the sparrow. It's all not good. It's a rip off. Look at them prices. Sorry, ladies, we're fully booked. She's the manager's mum. Stepmum, and we're still fully booked. Oh, don't worry. We're not proud. We'll eat at bar. Oh, you know, you shouldn't have. Oh, uh, no. Uh, Joe. These... Oh, right. Sorry. No, I'm the one that should be saying sorry. The last thing you needed was some drunk in our town coming on to you. Well, yeah, drunken maybe, but the rest, no. Definitely. So, uh, are you looking forward to becoming green, then? Me? Mm-hmm. Hardly. Can you see me on a bus? I can't stand to talk to people first thing in the morning anyway, let alone being squashed up next to them now. Taxes are going to cost me an arm and a leg, though. And, uh, how'd you get on last night, you know, after I left? You know, maybe you're right, maybe I should... Hire Haley, or train her up as a personal chauffeur or something. She'll look great in uniform, won't she? Carla. Carla. Did you hit the bottle? Oh, I'd already hit on you, hadn't I? I'd been turned down. The bottle wants a fussy. Oh, come on, Peter. What's one bottle after the day I'd had? Oh, there's always an excuse. I could give you hundreds of excuses. You're right. As usual. You see, this is why I need you. You need to go to meetings. I have loads of meetings as it is. What I prefer is a bit of straight talk from a mate. Yeah, I understand, but... You know, if, if it's me, that's the cause of your problems, <laughs> then. <laughs> Go and fly yourself. Not just a lost talk. <laughs> we are still mates, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Of course we are. <sighs> so I can keep checking in with you? Oh, you better. Otherwise, I'm going to come looking for you, OK? And, uh, Carla, dry night tonight, OK? Yes, boss. It's really warm and dead dusty here, but it's not too bad. The wagon's got air con. The grub's OK, and we can play footy and stuff. There's a telly and... Last la night, they even put on a show. I wish you wouldn't do that! You've read it out that many times, I know it off by heart. Oh. Dead nice for him to send a letter, though. No. no. I'm not, mind you, I'm not fucking modern technology. Because I love it when he sends his DVDs and I can actually see his little face. Oh. And how's the adoption thingy going? Oh, you're really good, thanks. Yeah, we're just waiting to see if they've got a little kitty for us now. Brilliant. You totally deserve it. Oh, thanks. 
Right, come on you, shopping won't do by itself. Mm. Here you. Hi. Oh, hiya. You feeling better now? Yeah, yeah. She was really upset this morning over Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack, you know, not the baby. Yeah, yeah, but I'm fine now. So, have you rung Terry yet? No. Ty, you can't keep putting it off. I know. What's this? Oh, well, um, Jack didn't want Terry to be at his funeral, so he's scared of phoning him. Oh, no, I'm not scared. It's hard, that's all. Yeah, and just get it over with, eh? Yeah, you're right, I'll do it now. Ah, I suppose there's lots of soap. Yeah. Always is with funerals. Yep. <laughs> Hello, is that Terry? Yeah, it's Tyrone Dobbs, Jack's lodger. I've got some bad news, I'm afraid. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to it, I'll get back. Sorry? No, I don't know if there's a will. He's not even been buried yet. No, don't worry, we'll sort all that. Won't want to put you out. Well, it's Thursday, but the thing is... All right, I see. Yeah, yeah, it is a long way. No, you're right. It's not like you'll know you weren't there. All right, bye. All right, mate. Did you tell him you don't come? Didn't need to. Wasn't going to come anyway. Just came out with a load of pathetic excuses. But you know what it boils down to? That he didn't give a jot. His own father, Jack, deserved better than that. And he had better in you. Yeah, but I wasn't his flesh and blood. Doesn't matter, Ty. He was a good son to him. Like you're going to be a, a smashing dad to young Jack. Still no sign, then. Seven pounds thirty, please. At this rate, he's going to miss the evening rush as well. How long is this meeting anyway? What's it to you? In case you have forgotten, I gave up a perfectly good job for this. And on our very first day, we have a no-show, and we've got the boss running around doing waiter and barman. If this ship is sinking, I'd like a little bit of warning. It's not. I'll be back in a bit. Well, I... I... And then there were two. Love, busy day. Yes, love. I've decided we are going to choir practice tonight. Oh, do you think that's wise? Well, why shouldn't we? You're right, actually. He's the one at fault, not us. Exactly, and we've got nothing to be ashamed of. Why don't you just knock it on the head? What? Religion. Don't be so stupid, Rosie. You can't just wake up one morning and stop believing. Well, if you had any sense, you would. It's all a load of rubbish. Rosie! How would you know? You have never read a Bible in your entire life. Well, you can't have read it very carefully because you'd know what it say. That was St. Paul, not Jesus. We won't just shut up! Kevin! I'd like a bit of peace in my own house. Is that too much to ask? No, I'm staying here till you let me in. Yeah, well, you'll have a long wait then, won't you? Shut Show up, because we're having this conversation with you, like it or not. Do you think we might get them little lads? I don't know. Doesn't matter what we get, really, does it? Anyway, it'd be nice to have a little girl. One of each, then. Yeah. Did you get the brandy? I did. Hey, Dr. Old Roy. Uh, no. Oh, God, no. Uh, yeah, right. I've got the cool. Oh, right. An army officer's just called at Windass's. Oh, are you kidding? No, it didn't look good. Oh, flaming hell. I know. Yeah, it's all right, Paul. Right. Honestly, when my dad was in the army, we used to dread the thought of that uniform turning up on the doorstep. Well, no, that's very touching, so it is, but... Well, here I am, still fit and raring to go. Hey, can we hear you? <laughs> hey, <babe. laughs> hey, I get a hug off that gorgeous wife of yours. Come here, you. You try and stop me, man. Are you all right? Oh, oh maybe not as fit as I thought I was. I've already told you I resign. You can't. You need to work a month's notice. You'd actually hold me to that? Yeah, I'll hold you to anything that meant you couldn't stop seeing me. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me fall for you? You already have. 
You were always full of yourself. If not for me, then for the business. We've worked hard for this. You've worked hard for this. Too hard just to walk away. You know what I'm walking away from. Don't worry, your son's alive. But he's been injured. Well, he can't have... I only got a letter from him this morning. He was fine. That must have been posted some time ago. Of course. So how bad is it? You're totally overreacting. No, I'm not. I've just seen sense, that's all. I should have seen this coming a long time ago. I should never have got involved with you. Just stuff the bad. Just hire somebody else. And how are you going to explain this away to Peter? Explain what to me? What's going on? Well, don't both speak at once. Explain what to me. Leanne's threatening to quit. Since when? Since he started chucking his weight around, playing the big I am. I thought he was sick, he'd get over it. You're having a pop at her because she had a day off. We've only just opened. Yeah, and who was that down to? Leanne. Peter, just leave. Listen, me. I want to tell you something. You need her more than she needs you, OK? There's no argument there. So, apologise. I'm sorry, Leanne. I was out of order. Just forget it. Just move on, shall we? I'll see myself out. That bloke. He's unbelievable. Peter, he shouldn't have interfered. I was just looking out for Yeah, him. I know, and I appreciate it, but... I can fight my own battles. What am I supposed to do? Just stand back and let him take advantage? It won't happen again. No. I'll tell you what, it better not. You've got my word. Thank you. You were saying, Captain? Your son is being treated at Camp Bastion. According to medical reports, he suffered shrapnel wounds to his back and legs, as well as fracturing his left arm and two ribs. Oh, oh my God. Uh, however, I know this is probably the last thing you want to hear, but according to the reported size of the blast, I have to stress that Gary's injuries are relatively minor. Will they make a full recovery? Well, it's early days as yet, but in my experience, and barring any complications, I can't see why not. Was anyone, uh... If you're asking if there were any fatalities, yes. Losses were sustained. How many? Three. Three? Mm. Well, uh, is Quinny OK? Uh, Luke Quinn, he rides in the wagon with Gary. He's dead, isn't he? You're both going to the funeral, and that's that. Oh, but please, Mum, we'll just be so depressing. Oh, sorry, love. I'll see if I can line up a couple of uh, clowns, shall I? I might even do my best impression. That'll be a laugh, won't it? No, Dad, I didn't mean it like that. I love you to bits, but I just... I just don't think it's right to remember someone like that in a sad way. Well, I'm sure it'll be a celebration of his life. That's what Jack would have wanted. Well, I'm just glad it's at a crematorium. Oh, then why is that? Kevin? Well, we've heard from the drama queen. Let the lady of the broken record have her say. Come on, cat got your tongue. I'm not speaking to you when you're like that. Well, we're just a bit sensitive about religious surroundings. Sensitive? A man's dead. Tyrone's lost the only father he's ever known. And you're worried about yourselves. This might come as a shock to you, but the world doesn't revolve around you, Sharon. Dad! Um. I, sh I should go and get ready. The stew was lovely, thank you, Sally. Why? Are you so hurtful? Oh, my God. I know you're in a mood, but there's no need to take it out on her. Well, the girl needs a wake-up call. If she doesn't like it, she knows what she can do. I've got the rovers. And what about your tea? I'll have it later. Oh. Jason, Yuri's been arrested. He's only trying to mess with another fair maiden. There's so much for sitting round as a family. Look, if she goes... I got No one is going anywhere. Your dad's just upset because of Jack. No matter what happens, we're behind you and Sean 100%. Yeah, right. Ooh, and uh, this one's from me. Uh-huh. Now, it's a hand-me-down, but I thought yours could do with an upgrade. <laughs> it's got a camera and everything. Well, what's wrong with me? What do you want? Well, apart from the fact it never works and looks like it's been eaten by a dog, nothing. <laughs> Oh, and uh, this one does text message and it's not Morse code. Oi, behave yourself. And by the way, where is your mother? She's at a brewery function. Oh, a brewery? F 
Well, that's nice, isn't it? I can't visit and she goes away in a brewery. Dad, Dad, trust me, I think it's best for both of you. Ah, <sighs> oh, this wee man must be Maxie. Yeah, he can be a little bit shy, isn't he? Oh. We're uh, looking after Max while Becky's sister's away. Oh, is that right? I never knew you had a nephew. <laughs> no, I did wait until a few months back. But yeah, I love. Come on, shake a leg. He's off to his first ever sleepover. Is he now? Yeah. So you're going to say goodbye to your granddad, Jim, then? <laughs> Cheerio yeah. now. Oh. What belong, love? Well, no, he's a bonny wee lad, so he is. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Pour you a drink. Where are the passports? Sorry? They're not in the dressing table drawer. Why do you need the passport? Why do you blaming thing? We're going to Afghanistan. Oh, I don't know where they are. Anna. Now, I need you to get on that computer and buy some tickets. Anna. I don't care how much they cost you. You steal the plastic. Anna, stop it. <laughs> Gary's coming home. Do you hear me? <laughs> Our boy's coming home. I'm gonna miss this car. Oh well, you never know, you might keep your license yet, eh? And pigs might fly. No, I am just gonna have to satisfy my craving for excitement and danger some other way. Well, I uh, normally find one of Def Kebabs does that for me. You inviting me to dinner? Cause Carl's game if you are. Uh, I'd love to, but I'm just on my way to my own meeting, so... So skip it. <laughs> you know I can't do that. Anyway, how can I help Carl if I can't help myself? Oh, boring. I don't know, you won't take my calls. Oh, you back then? Yes, yeah, sorry. The meeting overran a bit, you know. I mean, you could have phoned. I was getting worried. I'm a big girl, Michelle. Look, uh, I'll leave you to it. Okay. So, is there any chance of a catch up? Only we didn't really get an opportunity earlier, and today's been insane. Yeah, look, not now. I've got some paperwork to finish up on, but, um,. First thing tomorrow, maybe. All right? I'll see you. Yeah, see you. Being the best man is an art form. I mean, the trick is to be both angel and devil. And a bloke like Peter, a little devil goes a long way. Are you listening to this? Try not to. Well, let me tell you right now. If any joker asks me to come out of retirement, they're going to be sorely disappointed. And when I say so, I mean so. You have me worried. We will be the model of taste and decor. Mm. Well, I'll settle for semi-conscious. I didn't expect you in. Well, after the scene you made earlier, you didn't have much choice, did I? Maybe uh, overreacted. What you did is almost ruin everything. You know, these books are already in a mess. We've only been open five minutes. Office, now. Mm, well, I think we all know where's the trousers in that relationship. Do you have to speak to me like that in front of the oh, staff? Oh, give it a rest, Nick. I said I'm sorry. That was for Peter's benefit, not mine. I meant it. <laughs> Whatever. How was he after I left? Well, aside from thinking I'm a mug, he didn't suspect anything, if that's what you're getting at. What'd you tell him? The same thing I'm telling you. It won't happen again. See, there you go. Making all the decisions. Nick, this isn't funny. I need you to see sense. The joinery has a future. We don't. I love my business. But I love you more. <sighs> if you can't handle that, that's your problem. Toward her. Bad day. This is my cat handle. Can I get you anything, Leanne? Yeah, I'll have a bottle of Shiraz. Two glasses. Need a drink. I'm gonna call it a night if that's all right by you, Nick. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna like this play. Don't worry, boss. I still love you. Hello again. Oh, hi. I thought you had some paperwork to finish. Listen, Leanne's having a crisis, isn't she? What can I do? I'll make it up to you. Oh, whatever. There's no doubt about it, son. You pull a fair pint in here, so you do. Hey, listen. What's the crack with your mother? She got a fella on the gore, what? Beat around the bush, why don't we? Subtle as a sledgehammer. I'm curious as all, aren't you? You know what I mean? I mean, can a man take an interest in his loved ones? 
The last time you took an interest, you ended up knocking Vernon out. Ah, oh, sure, your man had it coming to him, so he didn't. Oh, look, I'm on your side. Oh, well, you could have fooled me. Look, all I'm saying is my mum's business is her business. That's it, end of story. Well, so much for the bond between the father and the son. I mean, I bet your girls share everything with you, eh? Oh, yes. Big on sharing. Can't get enough of it. Uh-huh. Giving you some grief, are they? No more than normal. Are you sure? You're looking a bit down, so you are. No, I'm just a bit cut up over Jack, that's all. I was one in a million jackals. A man of rare wit and wisdom. And an old-fashioned chancer to be. Is he proud to hear you say that? Well, not as proud as I am to have known him. So when does he get home? In a few days, they reckon. They're taking him to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. Also, not too far, then. Oh, knowing you, uh, I won't be surprised if you're on a plane to Afghanistan now. <laughs> well, the thought did cross my mind. You would, of course, need to obtain a visa before entering the country. Well, so I believe. I knew that. I, I, I wonder, and it, it may be impossible to answer, but... How do you see the next few months unfolding? I don't know, really. Play it by ear. I, I only ask because I, I want to assure you, Anna, that any time off you require, but all absences will be treated on a strictly full-pay basis. Well, I don't be daft. You're not made of money. I insist. Considering the magnitude of Gary's sacrifice, it, it's the least we can do. Thanks, mate. That, that means a lot. Oh, we're so proud of him, you know, the way that he's turned his life around and that. If anything had happened to him, I'd oh. None of that. You're meant to be comforting me, remember? Sorry, it's just you see all these images on telly and that. I promise you this. Don't you ever say that. You care. That means everything to us. I just hope all the other families have got friends like you. Gary wasn't the only one injured. No. Three killed. Oh, no. Including his best mate, Quinny. We've not long got off the phone to his mum. It is at times such as this I profoundly wish that I had a belief in the power of prayer. <laughs> Me too. Only I don't reckon God's listening in Afghanistan. Not to the likes of us, anyhow. So, how are the wedding plans? Don't even go there. Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Suit yourself, more for me. I'll take it your father's not pulling his weight, then. <sighs> Let's just say I'm not exactly his number one priority right now. But if my name were Carl... Huh? Mystery man. I'm not with you. Oh, they met at a support group a couple of months back. Peter's become like his personal life coach or something. Oh. That sounds positive. <laughs> or not. Oh, I don't know. It just feels like Carl's the only one he has any time for at the moment. He only has to pick up the phone and Peter's out the door. For anybody else, I'd be waiting for the fishing trip. <laughs> You do realise you're sounding jealous. Yeah, well, maybe I am. <sighs> do you know, right now, I'm not going to surprise me about myself. Can we get out of here? Can we go back to the flat? It's doing me head in. OK, well, I'll pay for the wet. Oh, yes. Yeah. And that's some perks, then. Everyone. Sophie, Shan, this is a surprise. Why? It's Monday night practice, where else would we be? We are still part of the choir. Unless you know something we don't. Um, why don't we take this into the study room? Whatever you've got to say, you can say it here, because we've got nothing to hide. Clearly. I've got a feeling we're freaking him out. Please, I'm not seeking a confrontation here. No, but you'd rather but we weren't lesbians, Sean. right? Whatever you think you are. Come again? Whatever we think we are? But I didn't mean that. Well, I'll tell you something we ain't, OK? We're not an abomination. We're not some narrow-minded, homophobic bigot. That's enough. This is a church, not some soapbox for your politically correct shout-outs. What happened to everyone having their voice? Our voices are given to us so that we may worship God, not ourselves. But oh, please, you must understand. 
Our belief and faith is built upon a foundation of shared values. Without unity of purpose, without harmony, we're lost. So in other words, you want us to all be the same. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't live by your rule. And you know what? You know what's sad about all this? You talk about God speaking to you. You only hear what you want to hear. You're the loser in all this, not us. She can make time for Leanne, can't she? But when it comes to me, it's like I'm invisible or something. Maybe it's just Carol's style of management. Throwing you in the deep end. You know, sink or swim. Yeah, well, that's fine, but some training floats would be nice. What? Sorry, I'm just picturing you in a bikini. Oh, Kieran, it's not funny. Janice is trying to push me around. So push her back. You're a very smart and beautiful girl. There's nothing you can't achieve if you put your mind to it. That's very sweet. It's the truth. I wouldn't be so crazy about you if it wasn't. How is it that you always know the right things to say? Hey, that's my job. <laughs> um, <clears throat> are you still picturing me in that bikini? Might be. Hmm, hold that thought then. Women like us are designed to be on our own. It's not in our makeup. Actually, I am quite enjoying being single. Oh, come off it. I am. Right, so you're telling me that there's not even anyone on the horizon. I knew it. Who is he? No one you know. Hmm. Any money on it, he's married. No. Spoken for them. Well, I'm not getting into this with you. You see, that's another thing about us. We can never do it easy, can we? Always has to be flipping tightrope every time. As for the good guys, we'll forget them. Uh, Trevor was a good guy. Yeah, and you binned him. No pun intended. Nah. We like it messy. Messy, messy, messy. Uh, I hate to interrupt you when you're on a roll, love, but I can't help noticing you keep saying the word we. That's something happened with Peter. No. Oh, I've just had one too many of these. Just ignore me. We're fine. Everything's fine. Then why don't I believe you? It's not Peter. Then what's going on? Hey, look, whatever it is you can tell me, it's for a problem at work. OK, now we're getting somewhere. I should never have took the job on. I'm sorry, Della, I don't understand. I thought you were loving it there. I am. Well, I was. Listen to me, you can't let Nick dictate to you. No, Nick has been fine, he's been brilliant. He's been too brilliant. <sighs> OK, now you completely lost me. Oh, Leanne, you've not slept with him. <laughs> oh, you idiot. <laughs> No joke, we must have been in Devon St. Eaters, what, five minutes? And Max looks up at me and says, is this my new home? How are in bits, Steve? Honestly, I'm going to burst into tears. I'm sorry, babe. That little lad has been so messed up by my sister. And you know what, if I was certain before, then I'm twice as certain now that this is where he belongs. Well, then this is where he's going to stay. Hey. Hey, have you seen him? Yeah, um, <clears throat> perhaps I should say a few words. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Folks, I, I think Roy's got an announcement to make. Uh, th thank you. Uh, I, I shall keep this brief. Uh, Gary Windass has been injured in Afghanistan. Oh. Anna and Eddie have been assured that the injuries are not life-threatening and he will be returned to the UK within the next 48 hours. Thank God. Unfortunately, they, they, they also learnt that three members of his unit were killed in action. Oh, so, uh, in the light of this, perhaps I might ask you to join me in a few moments' silence. If I'm honest, it's been brewing for weeks. I just thought I could control it. Sounds familiar. I knew how Nick was feeling. 
What the hell was I thinking? Well, you got off on the danger, didn't you? No. No, it was more than that. It's like I was testing myself for something. Was I worthy of Peter's love? And of course, the best way to do that is to get your ex to fall in love with... Did Nick say that to you? Oh, yeah. Numero uno, that's me, you know. And what's the state of play now? I told him it was a one-off. How did you take it? Oh, he didn't. May as well have been speaking in Russian for all the impression it made. Well, OK, that makes things a bit tricky. Just a touch. Are you going to quit? No. No, I'm not. I mean, why should I? I killed myself to make that bar happen. <laughs> Listen, you, you're preaching to the choir here, but come on. I saw the tension between you two. Something's got to give. Well, no. We're just going to have to get through it, are we? I mean, I know it's going to be difficult, but... No, I can't run away, Cal. I'm not this time. I always run away. No. Do you understand? Like you said, women like us don't do easy. Bottom line, I'm here for you. Whatever. Hi. Hi, yeah. Hi. Leanne's leading me astray. <laughs> Just letting off a bit of steam. Oh, uh, have you been telling you about the grief Nick's been giving her? Oh, Peter, I've sorted it. Just leave it, yeah. Oh, sorry. So, had a good night then, have we? Yeah. Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered, in fact, wasn't it? But all good things must come to an end, so... Are you, uh, all right for driving home? Yeah, of course. I've had one drink all night. Ask the Anne if you don't believe me. Yeah, why do you think I'm in this state? Mm. We should do this more often, you know. Yeah, definitely. I can't find my black tie. Have you had a proper look in that drawer? No, I thought I'd come down here first and start shouting the odds. Sorry. Oh, and we're all feeling a bit that way this morning, love. Well, have you got another tie? I've got one, but it's not right for a funeral. Well, not everyone wears black nowadays, love. I mean, some folk reckon their funeral should be more of a celebration. Yeah, I know, but this is a Homer Simpson tie. He's eating a radioactive donut. I'll have a proper look for it in a sec. Just... I'll get that. Ta, I think you're right. Today should be a celebration. That's what Jack would have wanted. Just don't know if I'm going to be able to... Hey! We got through Vera's funeral, we can get through this. Oh, Tyrone, love. I thought these tissues might be handy in your pocket in case, you know, you get a bit careless at the buffet later. Cheers, Rita. Is there anything we can do to help? No, I think we're all right. Right, sit down, ladies. I'll get you a brew. Thanks, love. Can you hold your nose? Yeah. Okay, I think. Today of all days, you must be thinking about what Jack said. No. I'm thinking about Tyrone. He needs me. That's all that matters. Hey, you careful with that polish. I wouldn't want a mouthful of cherry blossom in my next damn butty. You all right, Cam? Yeah, yeah. Just. Just thinking of Ty. It's not going to be easy for him today, is it? No. But at least he's got his family to focus on. The future. I'll pull him through. It did me. Grandad, Grandad, I'm going to be Daddy's best man. Wow, that's wonderful. Uh, what's happened to Kieran? He's Kieran's assistant. Mm. I'm going to do everything he is. Uh, stag night apart. <laughs> uh, are you going to Jack's? Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Least I can do. He kept me shop going single handedly. I'm just going to get his wreath. Right, well, I'll see you later then. All right. Bye. See you Bye. later. So. How are you feeling today, love? Yeah, a lot better now I've got a bit of fresh air. <laughs> Bet you're glad you're done with mornings after, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, you, school. Come on, this way. Right, see you later. See you. Bye bye, mister. Work hard. Yeah. What are you doing here? We need to talk. What, what are you doing? You can't just barge in here. There's lots of things I shouldn't have done, but thanks to you. This has only nipped out for some black ties. What do you want? To be able to sleep at night. To stop looking over my shoulder. To have the peace of mind that you seem to have. Peace of mind? That's the last thing I've got right now. Look, I told you not to come here. Well, where else can I go? Who else can I talk to? We've got to talk about these letters. I'm going out of my mind. Oh, 
Fit, go on. Coast clear. Hello? I thought you were at Jack's funeral. Obviously. It's not for another hour. You won't tell my dad, will you? Please. Oh, don't worry. I was young once, even if it was on a technicality. Go on, I pretend I haven't seen you. Cheers. Fizz will be back any second. Quickly! We can't ignore what's happening, Jan. It's not going away. No, but you are. Morning. Well, I say morning, only just. Mm, nice big lollipop. No, it's uh, it's supposed to be a winning post, you know, for Jack's funeral. Oh. oh. So, did you have a few drinks when you got home last night, then? Hmm? No. No. Been to see my solicitor, if you must know. Right. So, what's happening with the drink driving thing, then? Well, it's not great. She reckons I'll want a taxi home from the hearing. Right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, I'm feeling a bit wobbly as it happens. You're the only one I can talk to. Well, well I can't stop, look, because I'm, I'm one of the coffin bearers, you know, at, at Jack's funeral. Oh. Well, listen, I'm not working this afternoon. I'll be at home. OK, I'll, uh, I'll pop around later. Thank you. Listen, I've been thinking about that support group and all, you know. I might come with you next time, if that's still OK. Are you serious? Never more. You know, it's one hell of a wake up call losing your license, isn't it? Good. Right then, I'll, uh, I'll see you this afternoon. Okay. So, what do you fancy, eh? I'm going on a cake run. Oh, no, I'm fine, Ta. I was wondering where you'd got to. More paperwork, was it? Well, it was actually. Listen, I'm sorry about last night. I got waylaid with Leanne. She needed to talk, so... No, no, I understand. Leanne wanted a chat. Peter just now. I mean, I'm only the employee. I can wait. We've got all morning to talk. Oh, I'll be knocking off early, by the way. Hi, love. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Listen, I got a bit carried away last night. All that was saying about me and Nick, it, it was just rubbish. It was just the drink talking, so just forget it, yeah? Of course I won't tell anyone. Listen, I'm your best friend. If you can't trust me, who can you... All right. All right. Just stop worrying. It's a bit chilly to be standing around here, love. Yeah, I know, but it's where I always imagine him. When I first came here, we'd sit out here for hours and he'd be fussing around his pigeons, telling us his stories. <laughs> this was his place. It was our place. And it always will be. Will it? Ooh. Just talking about him since he... I've thought of loads of stuff that I've forgotten. I just want to write it all down before it goes, but writing's not my thing. No. But you'll always have your memories. Oh, the details may grow sketchy, but never the meaning and never your feelings. They're written down in indelible ink, in here and in there. But not here, though, Rita. This, this is a list. This is not how I feel. Rip it up, then. Well, I've got to have something to say. You have. I've told you. It's all written down where it matters. Um, the cars are here. I could have sworn I put them down there. Stop worrying, you've got your back door key now. Come on, I'm starving. He's not in there. He's with Vera. Yeah. There's something I want to ask you. 
What? Are you ready, love? It's all right. Now's not the time. Resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. We have come here today to remember before God our brother Jack, to give thanks for his life, to commend him to God, our merciful Redeemer and Judge, to commit his body to be cremated, and to comfort one in our grief. Just doing the rotors. Very impressive. Well, it's hardly rocket science, is it? No, no, I think it's quite ingenious the way you've ensured that we never work alone together. Have I? No, you have. Is this how it's going to be? Come on, Nick, it's for the best. How can that possibly be true? You don't even trust yourself enough to work alone with me. It's there in black and white, and you still want to marry Peter? Yes, I do. Well, for you. If you can schedule our feelings out of existence, you'll be sadly disappointed. Please be seated. Thank you for coming. Jack was born in 1936 and he married his wife, Vera, in 1957. They stayed together for 50 years celebrating their... celebrating their... Uh... Look, you all knew Jack. He loved a pint. He loved a bet. He loved his pigeons. But most of all, he loved Vera. Not that he'd ever admit it. They met at a fair and he used to say, if he'd have knocked over one more coconut, he'd have come home with a goldfish instead. <laughs> but when he knew he was dying, the one thing he clung to was the thought that they'd be together again. And they are, I know it. I told my baby last night, he's the luckiest kid alive to have guardian angels like them. He's got friends in high places, all right. There's not a lot I can say about Jack that most of you don't already know, so I'll tell you what Jack was to me. I picked that song you heard coming in, Father and Son, and you might think that's weird because you won't find his name on my birth certificate or, or his blood in my veins. That's why I've not got his good looks. <laughs> but none of that makes a dad. I reckon it's someone who'll make you feel loved share your happiness, feel your blows, take them for you if they can. Someone you can turn to when there's nowhere else left to go, no matter how big a boss, how big a mess you've made of things. And they might not tell you what you want to wear, but they tell you what you need to. 
because they'll always, always want what's best for you. Even more than you want it yourself. Even if you don't know it at the time. <laughs> they'll make you laugh. <laughs> really, laugh. Cry maybe if you've let them down. But so long as they live, there'll always be a place that you can call home. Even though I was 16 when we met, Jack came to me and all that to me. And that's why I'm proud to call him a father. And that's why I'm going to miss him so much. Thank you, Tyrone. We have entrusted our brother Jack to God's Bye, Jack. mercy. And we now commit his body to be cremated. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, <laughs> dust right. to dust. Go on. In Let sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. I can't believe we let this happen. Got a new zone mind. Same as these boys. Yeah, well, that's exactly what they are, boys. It's not right. It's just there at the end. Hey, Mum. Don't worry, Betty, your knight in shining Armani is here. Oh, was it a nice service? Oh. Do you know what? They did Jack proud. Oh, how oh, lovely. Is this all right for you, my lord? Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you, Betty. And we wanted to do right by him, you know. Yeah, well, he worked here long enough. <laughs> When you say worked, he spent hours, you know, hiding down in the cellar. There's Mole spent less time underground than Jack, you know. <laughs> uh, Buffy's open, everyone, so uh, fill your boots. Jack would be cursing if there was anything left over. Oh, I shouldn't worry about that. In half hour, all that'll be left of this lot is cocktail sticks and indigestion. <laughs> Go on, Betty, you take the weight off. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I just love like, you know, what you said today. Oh, cheers. Made a bit of a prat on myself, though. That's what funerals are for, isn't it? What's done is done. Can't keep beating yourself up over your mistakes. Hey, if I did that, I'd be black and blue, wouldn't I? Love? <laughs> I would love you. Mm -hmm. Now listen, Dad, she's right, you know, you've got to look forward. Mm -hmm. Look forward to what? I mean, if I could turn the clock back and Then you start... win the lottery every week, but that ain't gonna happen. Well, that's the point, isn't it? I mean, I won the lottery. Hmm? Tonight I met Elizabeth this Muller. And what did I do then? I blew it. And as a matter of fact, where is she now? I'll tell you what, son, she's avoiding me, so she is. No. Oh, no. that's silly, that. No, I think she, she, she's had this time looked off for ages. Ah, well, whatever you say, son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you. What for? Supporting Tyrone. It was a mate. Yeah, I know, but it just um, reminded me of the man that I used to know. Molly. It's okay. Just, it reminded me how hard it's been for you as well. You and Ty being so close and all. Yeah, well, it's all in the past. Yeah. Oh, sit the kettle up. What are you doing here? We're just talking. Oh, you talked to buttons into undoing themselves, did you? Hey, I have tried to be reasonable, but this, it's taking advantage. John didn't have a problem with it. Hey? What? I never said that. You let us go upstairs this morning. What? Oh, I'll leave you to it. No, don't go. How can you undermine me like this? But they're only going up to his room. Oh, what do you think they were going to do, John? Play marbles? Thanks very much for showing me up. Well, you've let me down, Chaz. You know, maybe Owen's right. It's best if you two don't see each other. You can't tell me what to do. Hey, so long as you're under my roof. That's easy solved. I'm 16. I don't need you. I earn my own money. I don't need this house. I'm moving out. So does this mean that we... It means we're... I sat in that chapel today thinking about Jack. And I felt ashamed. 
He was desperate for us to patch things up and I threw his goodwill back in his face. You weren't to know what was going to happen. But you shouldn't have had to die to make me realise what I've got. Nothing is more important to me than you. Us. Certainly not some French pipe dream. It's not a pipe dream. It doesn't matter anymore. It does. I was put on this earth to make you happy. If that means moving to France, then you know what? Bring it on. Really? Absolutely. Let's do it. It's a short life. Sorry, I just get out of the shower. Did you really? Oh, well, I say just. I mean, about an hour ago. What kept you? I might have got hypothermia. Yeah, well, uh, I'd get dressed then if I were you, eh? You think? Yeah. I could just turn up the heat instead. Carla, this can't happen. And even if I wanted it to, it's not healthy two people in a support group to get involved. Oh, I won't join. Leanne's your best mate. Friendships come and go. I know you want me, Peter. I want Leanne more. That's why I'm marrying her. Is it? Yeah. Well, she doesn't deserve you. She's been through thick and thin with me. <laughs> and I love her. <laughs> And I'm not going to let her down. I'm sorry. Peter. <laughs> yeah. You best get back to her then, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not a speech maker, and I certainly couldn't top Ty's words. Look, we're all going to miss Jack. Not just his his friendship and his filthy jokes. We're gonna miss his wisdom. There's a lot of us here benefited from that. We're still benefiting now. Yeah, you ducked and you dived, but you always knew what was right and what was wrong. I wish I could sit that quick sometimes. Look, you uh, may tired on the man he is today, the sort of bloke I trust with my life. And that's why I'm just sorry. I'm sorry you have to go. To Jack. To Jack. To Jack. To Jack. To Jack. No one has said I needed to talk to you. Um, yeah. I can't wait any longer. You've been brilliant today. I'd have never got through this without you. Don't be daft. No, I'm serious. I know we've had our ups and downs. But we've come out stronger. I love you so much more, you and the baby. I know I'm being greedy, but nothing would make me happier than for us to have another kid. Well, you know what we talked about yesterday? We talked about a lot of things yesterday, but um, it was a lovely service, wasn't it? Yeah, I know, yeah, but listen, I've I been I loved thinking... everything about it. The church, the flowers, the eulogy. I even thought that coffin was beautiful. Yeah, yeah but what I we went to my about... auntie's funeral a few years back. She got cremated in a wicker coffin. I mean, it was lovely, but you wouldn't. About having another baby? It was um, my auntie Helen. Do you remember my auntie Helen? Joan's sister. Look, please, can we just... What? What I said yesterday. What did you say? About trying for another baby. I don't know that I'm ready, OK? I just think a little brother or sister for our Jack of our own nuclear family. I don't know. I'm knackered with the one I've got. Yeah, but if we're going to have two, we may as well get them out of the way. Oh, you said Romance was dead. Give him here, he needs a feed. Come on. Come on. Um, we'll be going checking out a new church today, aren't Oh? We? Why? Yeah, at lunchtime. This one's a bit more broad-minded than the last one. How do you mean? Why, all of a sudden, are you so interested? Not usually bothered when we talk about church and that. Well, I must have got out of bed the right side today. Well, if you must know, we're going to find a church that will accept us for who we are. Two very nice, well brought up young women. <laughs> no, Mum. A couple. Well, I hope it goes okay, because I mean, you know. What? Why 
don't matter what church you go to, does it? It's still the same religion, isn't it? No, because all churches are different, Mum. They all interpret the Bible in different ways. Yeah, and some of them have caught on to the modern world. Right, well, I hope it goes OK. Thank See you later. You. See you later. Have a good day. day. Bye, Mum. <laughs> Bye. Ooh. What are you? Ooh, we let. I don't know. Just woken up in a, in a really good mood. Which is wrong, because when you've been to a funeral, you should feel all depressed, shouldn't you? Well, you've had a tough year. I know, I'm going to Jack's send off yesterday. It really made me think. About what? Well, last Christmas, I don't think I was going to be stood here today. Well, you are. I don't know, I just feel dead lucky. No, I'm the lucky one finding <laughs> you snaring you. Oh, what, am I in your trap? Mm -hmm. Oh, big time. Well, then might we be released so we could go up for something to eat tonight, just you and me? Where? Don't know, I'll have a think and I'll text you. Oh, well, have a happy ending. A very happy ending. Well, it'll count me in. <laughs> You're joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Oh, did you think that with me, Dad? <laughs> so go on, you said you were moving out. I ain't living with his and John. I just need my own space. God, I wish you didn't have to live with my dad, the caveman. Sounds like the title of a movie, that. <laughs> my dad, the caveman. Will Ferrell would be in it. I want to see it. Be full of misery. I've seen misery. Do you know if I've got a part-time job? I could move in with you. You're joking. I don't like I'm joking. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Life's too short for dithering chairs, and if it's the only way we get to spend time together, do you know what I mean? God, I'm not really... So, do you fancy it, or what? Well, I fancy you. So, what do you think? I think i better tell my dad. Cook breakfast? It's only bacon and eggs, aren't it? Yeah, it's not Sunday. We usually only have hot brekkies on a Sunday. You know that. That's the law. Well, I thought I'd mix things up a bit. Yeah, well, I'm not complaining. Though my arteries might be. Well, I just don't want to be predictable and boring, that's all. And you thought you'd convey that through the medium of breakfast, love, did you? Yeah, I did. Well, thank you. Can we talk about the wedding? Yeah, of course we can. You know, normal people would have had this sorted months ago. Look mm. at this. Mm -hmm. I have got a little wedding book. Mm. Are you not having a sign? Hello. I'm going to be wearing a wedding dress in a month's time. Well, so what are you going to do? Start every day ramming your fingers down your throat? No, I'm going to start every day with gerbil food, a.k.a. muesli. Mm. Now, you've got your best men sorted. Hmm. Um, yeah, Kieran and our side. Right, so that just leaves me and my bridesmaids, and our toy can't come, she's backpacking. So, I was thinking, what about Carla? Hmm. Is that such a good idea? Well, why not? She's been a good friend to me in the past. No, no, it's ultimately up to you, but I don't really know her that brilliantly, do I? I know she comes across as a hard-faced bitch, but she's a bit softy deep down, you know. Well, ask her. She might not want to. No, I'm just saying that, you know, not everybody's as excited about this as me and you. And also, she wouldn't be a bridesmaid, she'd be a matron of honour, wouldn't she? Now, food. Ooh. Bacon and egg sarnies all round. Mmm, mm mmm. If we do want another one, I just think it's best we get it out of the way rather than waiting. If? Well, don't you? The more you pressurise me, the less likely I am to be up for it. So that it's not something you want? Well, right now what I want is to go back to bed and sleep for a million years, but it's not possible, is it? I'll just make sure the house is tidy until Jack wakes up for his next feed. Will you go to work? I'll see you later. I suppose. I've suddenly got all nervous. Look, should we leave it? If we leave it, we'll never do it. Come on. What are you playing at? I thought all you banned you from seeing each other. You can come and see my dad if I want, can't I? Not on him, you can't. What's going on? Why arrive mob banded? Can we go somewhere and sit down? If you operate. Don't be daft. What do you say me for? I've seen them documentaries. Underage and having sex. I'm not wet behind the ears, you know, so what is it? We're moving in together. No, I don't think so. Tough, we are. Tough, you're not. I will take care of her if that's what you're worried about. Listen, mate, you might have just left school, but you still look like you should be in short trousers. Yeah, well, you're behaving like you should be in nappies. You can't treat us like kids. We're grown-ups now. In between us, that's what you are. You're just jealous. Of what? The fact that I can keep a relationship, whereas you can't. Don't chairs well out of here. Right. Go look at some places to rent, eh? 
just going through the hours. I mean, shut your face. I don't want to know about hours. I don't want to know about anything. Sorry. Please. Now. Someone's been in our house. Seventy, eighty. I'm just doing my wages, all right. Whatever. This is all in the wrong order. But it's in date order. I don't want it in date order, you sir. I want an invoice order, Eileen. How many times? Right then. Have a little bonus, Eileen, for all your gruelling overtime. Don't mind if I do. Thought you did a wicked job yesterday, mate. Everything about it was. I don't know. Right? Oh, cheers, yeah. Did my best. Oh, it was good, mate. So? I just wish I was as successful with Molly. In what way? <sighs> We've always talked about having a big family, right? But every time I mention trying for another baby, she's just like... Well, women. A little different breed. It's in the DNA to keep changing the mind. Well, tell me about it. Listen, mate. She'll be all babied out in a minute. She won't know whether she's up or down. The thought of going through it all again. Must be a bit scared. You sound just like her. Hey, mate. All right, mate. How's it going? Oh, not so bad. Impending wedding, you know what women are like. Fortunately, I do all too well. I noticed that Liz's ex didn't hang around long after Jack's funeral yesterday. My hey, Jim. You kick him into touch, did you? Well, I, I can't be forceful when I want to be. Well, what did you do? Threaten to stick him in that concrete, <laughs> mate? Something like that. Man. All right, anyway, let you crack yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, take care. That's our couch. I'm not blind. Don't shout at me! It wasn't you, was it? This isn't some kind of stupid joke. Don't be daft. Why would I do that? Well, why would anybody do that but they have? The ginnel. Switch it off. No, I want you to see what happens. It's somebody trying to mess with our heads. Yeah, and it's working. So switch it off. Why do you want to freak yourself out? Because it might be some sort of joke and I'm missing something. I don't know. Oh, it's too weird. And that's it. Hi, love. Hey, Mum, babe. How's work? Uh, same old, same old. Oh, I wish I did an interesting job where each day was different from the day before, but... Oh, Mum. It's a shame it's too old for promotion work. It's so cool and stuff. Do you want to sit down? No, I'm going to go and jump in the bath. Well, I'll be sure to put some water in it first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on a romantic trust tonight. Mum? With your dad. Oh, right. Okay. I'm putting the romance back in our marriage. Aw, oh, that's lush, Mum. Where are you going? The joinery. Nick and Leanne's new place. Mum, like, isn't that a bit too young for you? I tell you what, babe. Why don't I give you a makeover? You don't look that bad, do I? Long term relationships do not work unless you're in the changes. Who told you that? Baby Spice this morning. She's amazing. Well, you could do my makeup. That'd be nice. Mum, serious, you are going to look amazing. <laughs> oh, um, Sophie, Sean, I, I'm glad I've seen you. All right. I appreciate, I, I might have seemed rather short with you the other day. I don't feel wonderful about dismissing you like that. I'm used to it. Went to see a new church today. 
Yeah. One that wants us, even if we might be different. Well, I've always had a, a rather literal view of the scriptures, I'm afraid. Look, Emily, I'm a good person, OK? I try to be a good person. I, I, I know, I know that. I didn't make me gay. God made me gay. Yeah, and if God made us gay, then why should we be punished for that? But the Bible says... Don't that... eat shellfish. Have you ever ate prawns? Exactly, so don't try and tell me how to live my life. I'm not. I would never do that. I, I just struggle. I'm being honest. I, I do love you, Sophie, and I'll try my best to be here for you. Thank you. Come on, Shaq. Planning your wedding? <laughs> I'm sure you know what you're doing. I do. I really do. Well, then, to denial. <laughs> Got love and money pulling your leg. All right. Hey. Come on, Leanne. Back to it. Wedding, wedding. All right. Yeah, never better. What is wrong with you, Kai? You've been in a weird mood all day. Hi, darling. Hey, sexy. You're on one tonight. Why do you always fall for the wrong guys, Michelle? You fell for someone. Well, who is it? Is it someone I know? Oh, you're a dark horse, aren't you? Yeah. How are you, buddy? Yeah, I'm great, thanks, pal. Just came to see my girl. Oh, my Carla. Hi. How is she? All right. Yeah. You're not going to start talking weddings, are you? It's all she's done all day. I even have the date etched in my brain. <laughs> December 11th. <Ooh. laughs> Kieran, can I have another bottle of this, please? Michelle, would you like to come and sit over here with me? Hmm? If she can bear to be that far away from me. Oh, I'll try. In fact, Kieran, can you bring the bottle over when you're ready, please? Look, I've been looking at string quartets. So come on then. What? Who is he? Oh. This fella you fell for. No, I haven't. I was just, you know, looking back and thinking. <laughs> Seems to think the wrong ones there. Don't! <laughs> no, no, no. Molly! Come over here! Okay. Come out here, mate, back us up. I'm just trying to get him off to sleep. What is it? What do you want? All right, Mo. All right. Okay. don't you think it'd be a good idea if we had another baby? <laughs> hey, don't drag me into all this. Oh, no, come on, you've got to. I mean, why can't we have two? Tyrone, that's so immature. No, what I'm saying no, is... No, you're it? not saying anything. You sound like a four-year-old. And stop banging on like I'm some sort of harridan who's put my foot down and said no. Is he saying yeah? I don't know. Now doesn't feel like the right time, OK? But I'm not ruling it out. Just... Nice one. I ain't just think of all the fun we're going to have trying. <laughs> yeah, aren't I the lucky one? Well, there's no need to be like that. Yeah, well, snap! You've talked about nothing else. Pardon me for trying to plan the future. You just want more sex. Why? Look, can we talk about this later? No. Come on, you've dragged me over here. You've got Kevin involved. I'm out of here before I say something I regret. Come on. He's talked about now else. He's obsessed. I know. I knew probably had babies up to it. Handsome. Hey! Oh, where are you, Becky? Now the Nazar Gary, have you seen him? Yeah. Yeah. He's in a big hospital in Birmingham and he's all right then, is he? Sorry. Oh, Anna. It says he's all right. Being dead brave. I don't know where he gets it from. I couldn't do what he's done. I couldn't be that strong. He should be home in a couple of weeks. I just... Well, I'm just relieved he's back over here and his injuries aren't any worse. Oh, yeah, of course. Love. And now you're coming to the Yeah, I need a drink. Mm. Oh, no, I don't know First if I can... rounds on me. No, 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 I don't know if I can bear people being nice No, you ain't got a say in the matter. Hey, come on. You know it's going to be all right. Is it? You know it is. Look, you should only do 
what you want to do. Hiya. <laughs> All right, Nick. <laughs> hey, where's Pot on your new business, my dear? I don't suppose we can trouble you for another bottle of that, can we? Shell's got a right there, so. <laughs> oh, fuck help that, Carla. I'm sure I can sort you out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Cheeky. Evening. Nick. Another bottle of red wine for the two lushes in the corner when we've got time for you. Do you know, that'll be a third. Yeah, well, uh, think of the bank balance. Can't borrow your fiancé for two minutes, can I? Sure, mate. Be my guest. What is it? Just some forms to sign. Oh, right. Where did I put them? Which forms are they? Oh, just something from Company's House. Company's House? Yeah, just to need your signature. But we set up the company ages ago. There are no farms, are they? Nick, why have you brought me in here? I'm jealous when you're with me. Ah, oh, so you invent pretend farms to fill in. Nick, please don't do this to me. I can't cope with it. No, don't. I'm going back out there. She said, I love you, boy, I love you so. She said, I love you, baby, oh, oh, oh. I hope you're doing oh, a good job, Rosie. Oh, oh totes. I don't want to look like Jordan. And then look in the mirror. Hey, babe. Hi. Hi. How amazing does Mum look? Oh, I do look amazing. Thanks, Rosie. Hey, how was the church, girls? Yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, they were dead nice. Mm, did they get the whole lesbian vibe? Rosie. Well, they referred to Sophie as my partner, so... Mm. But they were dead nice. They was a lot older, though. You know, like, 40-odd or something. Yeah, well, this decrepit old 40-something is off out painting the town red tonight. You're not over the hill, you know, just because you're a child of the 60s. Oh, you're full of free love, Mum, and Jostics. Ah, oh, you know, I love Jostics, but free love might be worth a go. <laughs> you all right, so? Yeah. I've just seen Emily. Hmm. What did she say? Oh, she loves us. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? Well, I say we ring the police. Why? Someone's been in our house, John. Someone's been in our house and filmed it. Filmed in here, through the kitchen, into the yard, up the ginnel. I know. And over to the factory. What's all that about? I have no idea. Why would they film where I live and where I work? It might not be about you. <sighs> Someone's trying to scare me. Well, guess what? They've succeeded. I feel violated. We will. We'll ring the police. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Who are they for? Elizabeth McDonald. Go away. She's my girlfriend. Yeah, allow me. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 I'll send them in for her. Right, thanks. I right, see you. See Sorry about earlier. You know, I like. Do you mind if I join you? Oh, got to go in a bit. Going out with Sally. Okay. So, uh, what are you going to do? About Tyrone. Um, well, on one level, it'd solve a lot of problems. But at the end of the day, I could have a football team with Tyrone. But Jack will always be yours. Oh, well, a new handbag. It is. Mm. Pricey. Very. So what do you do then? Rubber bank? <laughs> no, my <me> boss. <laughs> eh? But he's so vile to me, I deserve a little bonus now and again. Really? It's the least I deserve. Do you want a drink? Well, a bottle of Cristal then, please. Before Jack died, he told me not to string Tyrone along. Not if I didn't love him. It's not right. And what is right? There's that many wrongs here. I'm losing track of what's right. This feels right. What? Us. Me and you. What's right is that Jack's real parents are together bringing him up. I love Sally. I'm just being honest with you, Kevin. I'm sick of all these lies. I've been fighting it for too long, but it's true. Don't. You were so nice to me today. We're mates. 
I'm not over you. Please. All these feelings, they're still there. Molly. I'm still in love with you. Mummy, you're just saying it. I think it looks fabulous. <laughs> Made a rod for your own back, though, because I'm going to be asking you again. Well, I might start charging then. I mean, now he's my husband. Where on earth has he got to? I thought I didn't care, I've just been kidding myself. When I think about what we've been through, what we've got, what we could have, the truth is, I can't get you out of my head. Say something. There's nothing to say. You were in love with me once. Not anymore. Feelings like that don't just go away. It's Ali. You only went back with her because she was ill. She doesn't need you anymore. I fell back in love with you. You're just saying that because you feel guilty. It's the truth. We've got a child. He needs his parents. You said all along you were sticking with Tyrone. I've told you. I've changed my mind. Yeah, well, change it back. I can't live with these lies. Once he said he wanted another child, it's not his child I want. Oh, I can't handle any more of this. Because you know I'm right. Where's the blinking phone book? I've got a good mind to dial 999. I'm not sure if this is the best way to sort this Someone out. has been in our house. Yeah, I know. And what are they going to do next time, eh? More than home movies, you can be sure of that. Oh, I'm going to ring direct inquiries. Look, the last thing I want is the police delving into my private life. Yeah, well, we've got our baby to think about now. Oh, hello? Yeah, can you give me the number for Weatherfield Police Station, please? Thanks. Look, think about this, Fizz. If my double life comes out, I could end up back in prison. And if we don't tell them, one of us could end up dead. It's just somebody trying to scare yeah, us. Yeah, well, they're making a damn good job of it. Oh, hello? Yeah, um, hang on, let me get a pen. Oh, yes, yes, that would be great if you could connect me. What are you doing? All right, you win. I'll go down to the police station myself and report. What's wrong with the phone? Well, it could take forever. They'll have to send someone round. It'll take two or three days. Yeah, that's true. Right, if I take everything with me now... Good idea. Hey, no, um, why don't you stay here? You must be joking. What, are you too upset to be dealing with this? What if they come back while you're out? All right, um, uh, well, 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 ring Hayley, get her to come and sit with you. We could be hanging around for hours. You get yourself into even more of a state. No, you don't want to harm the baby. Yeah, maybe you're right. So I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm looking for Kevin. All right, I've uh, I've not seen him since I left the garage. <sighs> We're supposed to be going out for dinner tonight. Oh, I've just finished changing Jack. Oh, he looks very happy with that. Well, he wasn't ten minutes ago. Believe me, he was screaming the house down. <laughs> No problem with the lungs at that age, up there. Oh. oh. Hi, Sal. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm just about to steal your husband off you. I'm joking, you dope. You haven't seen Kevin, have you? No. I can't think where he's got to. Uh, have you tried the garage? Yeah, I went there first. Anyway, never mind, Kevin. Where have you been? To the chemist. Look, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Have you tried the pub? Yeah, I was going to go there next. All right. Bye, Sal. See ya. Bye. Right, come on, I'll take him. No, he's OK. He's... I'll take him. Hiya. Well, it must be awful knowing that someone's been in your house like that. The police will sort it out, I'm sure. Don't worry. I'm not going to pounce on you. I just need some fresh air. Um, are you still OK to...? Come to court with me on Monday. After what happened the other day, no thanks. I'm. Well, I know. I'm so sorry about that. I, but I just want some moral support. Moral? You? I wouldn't ask if I wasn't terrified. Bold about some things, but not about others. Okay, fine. I'll go on my own. You're giving the vault somewhere in there, weren't you? Yeah, well, what do you expect the state I'm in? That's not gonna help. Like you care. All right, yeah, yeah. I'll go with you. Peter, you'll be doing me a right favour. It's just this once, okay? And don't tell Leanne. The result, the 
Yeah. Hey, I've been looking for you all over. Why? What's up? We're going out for dinner in case you've forgotten. God, it was a good job I booked a table, honestly. I'm sorry, love. It's just been one of them days. Yeah, well, get your skates on, cos we've got a table booked in half an hour. Where have you been, anyway? The pub. No, you weren't. Not when I went in. Oh, we must have just missed each other. What? You look amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, thanks to my handiwork. Yeah, Rosie did it. Yeah, she always looks beautiful on a normal day to me. Yeah. She does. Come on, hurry up and go and get changed. Look, I'm sorry I went on at you in front of Kev. No, it's OK. No, I was out of order. I said it's OK. You don't sound OK. You've been weird ever since you got back. Look, you'd say if there was something wrong, wouldn't you? The thing is tight. <laughs> Oh, pal! Oh, so Daisy, we've been sick. Oh, Never mind. It's just a bit of practice in it, eh? For in 18 years' time when you're out on the last. <laughs> yeah. Look, you're having back our rinse out. There we go. Come on, come on. What was you going to say? Because if it's about having another baby, right? Ty, can we not talk about that? Fine. Right, love, I'm going to shoot off. I'm going to pick Si up from this party. Oh, hey, you know he's singing in the school concert next week. Oh. Well, death by laser beam for anybody who misses it. I'll be there. Hey. It's not going too badly, is it, your little venture? Early days could be worse. How things your end? Oh, they took it over, thanks. Good. It must be weird working alongside your ex, is it? That was ten years ago. Hey, they say. First love never dies. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Still you around for a long time ago, wasn't it? Just hope Peter deserves it. How do you mean? Well, is it the right one? Why'd you say that? You're always worried, don't you? Worry? Yeah, if it'll work or not. Mind you, I don't know what goes on in that head of hers, what she really feels. You think she's not sure? I do know she's loving working here with you. I know that. And the rest? She said something. No, I think definitely not. Marrying Peter? Actually, you know, I'm probably wrong because I know me, I'm so. Nick, don't say anything to me. <laughs> sure. Where does it go now? Down the ginnel. Oh my god. You get it? They don't go to the factory. I'll give you three guesses. Somebody must have seen us. There can't be any doubt now. But who? You tell me. I need a drink. Me too. What did Fizz make of it? She thinks it's all about her. Why else would it go to the factory? She must be going frantic. I had to stop her calling the police. I told her I'd report it myself. That's where she thinks I am. It's out of control now. Who could it be? If we knew that... Somebody who knows we got rid of the body. Someone who knows who he was. That I was borrowing his identity. When you think of it like that, there's only two people it can be. Me or you. And I know it wasn't me. Not that again. It's the first thing you asked. Well, I'm asking you again. Is it you? Who wants to know? I recognize you from the photographs. Photographs? The ones in Liz's bedroom. Huh? 
<laughs> oh. Yours to think. Uh, and exactly who are you, a fella? Oh, fella? <laughs> well, there's only one fella in Elizabeth's life. And it's certainly not you, so it's not. Well, you broke up ten years ago, so it's certainly not you. How long have you been around? Five minutes? That's not where I stand. So, did she tell you to bring these back, did she? Did you say to let you know the score? <laughs> Thought not. You aren't wanted. Well, if you don't mind, I'd rather hear that from the organ grinder, not the monkey. Well, that's the problem, Jim. Don't you Jim me? You've heard it from her a million times and still not got the message. I'll tell you what, son. Why don't you go outside and play and let the grown-ups sort this out? You're on another planet, mate. Ah, oh, indeed I am. Same planet as Elizabeth. That's why you and uh, the other three-minute wonders will never understand. Just stay away from her, OK? Are you still here? I know it sounds mad, but nobody else fits the bill. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. I've been getting letters too, remember? Could be sending them to yourself. What? Why would I? And how did I get into your house to make that DVD? I don't know. Well, I couldn't have. This is ridiculous. Hello? Who is this? Hello? 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 Just get out of my life, will you? And you think it's me? Mixed Lancashire tapas, please. Good choice. Mm. I'll have the same, please, and a bottle of 21. Not a problem. <laughs> Why would it be a problem? What? Well, you're coming here wanting to spend money, and they say it's not a problem, like sometimes it is. Sure, Kevin, we've not been out for a meal for ages, and we're here to celebrate yeah. life. Not a problem. <laughs> Two more mixed tapas. People can't get enough. Well, whoever came up with that must have been a cumry James. Get back in that kitchen and stop crowing, you. Oh, uh, table seven, thanks. It's busy tonight. Yeah, so we like it. What? Nothing. I'm sorry. I have stood by you through this. I've lied for you. Yeah, I know. I helped you get rid of the body. I went to his lodgings and helped you burn his belongings. I was wrong. I have heart failure every time that phone rings or the letterbox goes. And you have the nerve to accuse me. Because yeah, I'm at my wit's end. All I do is think about who we can be over and over. It's warping my brain. I thought we were friends. We are. I don't know how we get through this without you. Oh, you have a funny way of showing it. If he got into your house, then he could get into mine. No, I'm, I'm sure he won't. Oh, why not? We don't know the first thing about this madman. Every day there's a fresh surprise. We have to face this together. We will. Friends? Friends. Never start a taxi firm. Why, what's that? Oh, it's quiet as a grave for hours on end, huh? And the entire population of Manchester decided what a cab ought to take. Especially when it rains, eh? Yeah. No, no matter business, we almost lose. Uh, it's the same in the building game, mate. Eh? I have to take on more than I can handle and just juggle it around. Folks don't like it, but it's feast or famine as well. Uh, you've been working tonight, then? Mm. No, I've just been around, you know, doing a few estimates. It's been a nightmare writing it all down. Yeah. What's your hit rate? One job in ten. A charge? Yeah, then you would get nothing. <laughs> what about your son? You been? Your mother about? Uh, she's at Deirdre's. Oh, well, well, we meet again. Eh? See ya. Uh, you been telling you about the flowers? I was. Mm. I bought your mother some flowers. Your man here intercepted them. He just brought them back to me at the flying horse, so he has. I, uh, I think it's called Mark and McCard, you know what I mean? So, uh... You better just make it a swift one for me, and then I'll get out your hair. Oh, I wish you'd do this more often. 
Ah, oh, there's a breakdown call to bring us back to Earth. Is it? Yeah, let's keep going, whistle. Oh, you enjoyed it. Well, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a makeover more often. There's nothing to do with a makeover. Because I love you. I love you. Yeah. You're being very romantic. Yeah, you complaining? Well, couples don't normally fall in love again until after the children have gone and get their lives back. Yeah, we'll be gone soon. Maybe we should start planning for it. How do you mean? Well, I'll go and live abroad like Ashley and Claire. <laughs> What, in France? Oh, Spain, you know, where it's cheap and warm and we can eat out on the terrace every night. This is half a bottle of wine and a brandy speaking. Don't tell me it doesn't grab you. Oh, not again. Oh, I'm going to have to go. I thought you said you were going to ignore it. I know, but worse soon gets around if you're unreliable. What? How long are you going to be? Well, it's only a punch around the corner. I'll walk it. Half an hour, maybe. Well, don't be longer. Unfinished business tonight. Oh, what did they say? Um, well, they wanted that letter for a start. I felt right, Charlie, when I realised I'd forgotten it. At the risk of stating the obvious, I wonder if detention might refer to Rosie Webster. Yeah, could do. Yes. So someone might still hold a grudge. You can't believe it's the Websters, not after all this time. No, well, perhaps not. Well, especially after Sally's cancer skirt. And after that money John gave Rosie. I would advise changing your locks. Yeah, good thinking. Oh, yeah. boy, I don't know what good that's going to do. They got in once, they'll get in again. But you're bound to be safe, Riffis. And are they going to investigate this or what, John? Because you've still not said. Oh, yeah. Yes. Do they have any theories? Not yet, no. Um, but they've got that DVD now. And if I give them this letter, they get to the bottom of it. I told them I've got a headache. You've got five minutes. You were always this keen to get rid of me. When we're used to meeting here. You just say what you got to. All right. We were going to run away together once. So? So, we could do it again. What? That way you'd be a proper father to our son. You must be joking. I nearly told Tyrone tonight, but I bottled it. What about us? You might not love me now, but that would come in time. That's not going to happen. Look at me. Look at me. I want to be with you. It can work. Look, I'm not leaving, Sally. We're closer now than we've been in years. <sighs> you leave Tyrone, you'll be on your own. I just want what's best for our family, which is what we are now, whether you like it or not. I'll tell you one last time. I love Sally. I feel nothing for you, never will. So forget it. Not doing rest of it, Sam, will you? Come on. Come on, what? Well, I was hardly going to tell you the truth, was I? Evidently. Well, what would you done in my shoes? You're going out with someone and their ex turns up, sending her flowers, asking to meet her. Well, I wouldn't have gone round there looking for trouble. We just had a conversation. Hmm. Look, is there something I'm missing here? Is she madly in love with him and no one's telling me? No. She wouldn't care if she never sees him again, yet every few years he comes back wanting to make a go of it. Throws wobblers if he doesn't get his own way. Frightens us sometimes, or am I getting this wrong? He's had his moments. What am I supposed to do? Let him walk all over me or stick up for myself, because that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I know. And I really like your mother, Steve. I want to make it work, but it, <laughs> it won't happen if he's in the frame. I, I, I mean, I know he's your dad, and I don't want to do him down. No, it can be tricky, I grant you. And your mother wants this, too. I know didn't do a bad thing. Well, let's just forget about it, shall we? Yeah, and there's, uh, there's no need to tell her that about it, is there? No. All right. Oh, are you okay? How are you feeling? Yeah, fine. You was gone a long time, we're starting to worry. Oh, I just... Walked round the block a few times. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine now. Well, it's past 11. Best get to bed, eh? His master's voice will be waking us up in six hours. Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just tired, that's all. Well, don't be too long. I've tidied up down here, so there's not to do. All right, I'll be up in a sec. Flaming 
Nora, you've earned more than me tonight. Hey, 10% of all tips goes to the chef on a Friday night. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> it's a very old tradition, and if you break it, it will bring bad luck. Uh, bad luck to you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Thanks, Karen. Hi, on, I'm coming. See ya. See you. Bye. Bye. Nacho. Bye. How many times we've got to put this to bed? I know. Then why have you been staring at me all night? <laughs> because I can't help it. Nick, this isn't fair. Why? Because you want to do the same? Because you're worried we're giving? I think you should go home. Is that a yes? Look, we've been through this over and over. We, we can't let it happen. Look me in the eye. And say you don't want it. And I'll leave you alone forever. We shouldn't even be talking about this. Say it. It's not that I don't want it. It's... So you do. I just think we should put it all behind us. I can't. I've tried. Oh, she only broke the trial trying. Are you inferring that I wear too much makeup? No, not inferring, implying. Check your dictionary, sister. Do you know, I never understood the difference. Oh, yeah, because it's got to be said. The day I take her and beauty advice from a lesbian. It's like flammable and inflammable. <laughs> is the day you what? Is the day that I uh, start looking like a normal human being. No, it's the day that I die. Oh, Ooh, meet Mary Porter. Oh, we're not worthy enough. <laughs> Dad's come round to Mary, haven't we, alone? <laughs> what? You know, with the bob and the knuckle duster rings. Oh, ignoring him, still stewing over Friday night. Why? What happened Friday night? Oh, he only jibbed his date with Mum so we can go on a breakdown. Oh, well, we had that coffee. Dad, there is more important things in life than money. Name one. Sept. By the time we got there, the cheeky pigs had driven off. <laughs> you can't trust anybody these days. <laughs> Earth to Mummy. Hey. Come in, Mummy. What? Huh? I was rubbing that same spot for five minutes then. His poor little bum's gonna be red raw. Isn't it? Not nose, eh? Be like one of them monkeys from Nosley Safari Park. Not your problem, Ty. I'm just saying, you know, if he gets windy and you need a break, you know where I am. You're saying I can't cope? No. But a little baby is a lot of work. But you want another one all the same. OK, OK. Truce. Listen, we're having the afternoon off, I've decided. Oh, is that the Royal We? Team Dobbs on a mission. Where are we going, Nosey Safari Park? Because... I was going to say, are you busy at dinner time? I am now, yeah. What, scattering the ashes? Today? It's got to be done sometime. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? As long as I've got you two with me. Open them. I'm eating my toast. You can have money in. Or socks. No, I don't feel like socks. Shall I open them then? Just put them down, Chaz. Oh, all right. Keep your hair on. Oh. Co-op bank, happy birthday, valued customer. Julie. Do you know, anyone's saying a damn deliver, but she's a stickler. Whatever. I hope it's worth the wait. She, she didn't mean to snap. Happy birthday. Don't look at me like that. I'm not. So I'm not a natural born liar. Shoot me. Please. Where are CIDA? Where are the scene of crime officers? Our home's been invaded and they can't even get off the backside. I'll chase them up again. Did you show them that detention letter like you promised? John, this is important. Someone's got in. Say that again. Is that upstairs? You've got to come. I can't. The poker's gone. John! Wait outside. I'm ringing 999. No, don't do that. I'll, I'll be right round. Uh, emergency at work. There's an emergency here. Yeah, sorry, it's a burst pipe. If it gets into the electrics. I'm a plumber! No, Jason's due any minute with the locks. You are not leaving me on my own. No, uh, give him a bell, G him up a bit. I'll be as quick as I can, I promise. What about your presses? Hi, Peter. This is your friendly neighbourhood stalker here. I'm just reminding you that today is cart day. The boomtown rats were right about Mondays, weren't they? Morning. Hi. Sorry, was that private? 
Oh, there's not much private around these parts, is there, right? As soon as you're here, you might as well make yourself useful. Don't you always? I need some rolls dragging in from the back of the stock room and it gets a bit dusty in there, so... Yeah. Yeah, why don't you crawl in and you can pass them back to me one by one. Okay. Life in the fast lane. Oh, it is good to be back. Yes, sirree. Cast off. Crocs on. Clean at the ready. Just want to have you back, mate. Hey. One thing you can say about this job, Mrs. P, it's certainly not awful. Oh. Awful? Hey, the name is Proctor and I'm here all week. Mm. Oh, all loved up, are we? It won't last. It's really string me up again by morning. Mm. Josh has come to buy tea. Said saucy son. Never mind, boys. Daddy's obviously not ready for us yet. No, no, no. Wait. It's, it's coming back to me. Dan's la première table, le grand. Home. No, 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 we'll come back some other time when Daddy's more prepared. Alright. See you, lads. Good work there, Josh. Yeah, ta -da. Wow. That mama sets the bar real high. Don't you just? All that preparation. Just for a fortnight in the Dordogne. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you look hot, Mr. Tilson. Yeah, you have this effect on me, Miss Buttersby. I can't think why. Maybe I should remind you. Caught you, hiya. Can I have an hour off this dinner? He's got a dentist appointment, I completely forgot. I won't make a habit of taking time off. I know, it's fine by me, if that's OK with you, Nick. Sure, yeah. If the dentist says you need a filling, bite him. Can I? Look what you've started now. Come on, you, we're going to be late. See you, See you later. There you go again, getting people into trouble. Yeah, and it comes naturally. I think you'd better go. Before I get you into trouble too. Oh, I should be so lucky. No, there's nothing doing in here either. Are you sure it wasn't a cat? I haven't got a cat. What? Noisy neighbours? I know what I heard, John. But you're right. Whoever it was has gone. Without a trace. You've time for a cuppa, though, haven't you? Year seven are tearing up Fleetwood and I'm kicking my heels. Half a cup. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Careful. Frown on your birthday, frown all year round. Right, there you go, three keys. A bit stiff for a week or so, but after that, should be all right. Cheers, Jake. You're a lifesaver. Well, I'd have worked with Chaz. They do if you've got a fork out for new locks every time he loses his keys. Yeah, <laughs> it's just an accident. He won't do it again. It's all right. No complaints from the boss. All the nations, welcome to the Armstrong Retirement Foundation. Hey, boss? Yeah, whatever. You know, people used to tell me that your kid had his head screwed up. Yes. He He's on planet La La. As if he could support my daughter selling knock-off collars on the market. They're not knock-off. <laughs> As if I'd even let him try. Oh, do one, Owen. I mean it. I'm not in the mood. Just fling it up. Listen, you. All I want is the best for my daughter. All you want is the last word. Honestly, if she moved in with Prince William, you'd be moaning about the in-laws. That poor girl, she can't breathe. Out of order. Why is she so desperate to get away from you, then? The same reason Chesney's desperate to get away from you. Chesney's not my son. Oi, Fizz. Tell his lordship, his shift starts at ten, not twenty past. Say that again, slowly. He's late. So, um, have you not been fixing the leak? You not got any problems with your electrics? No, no, of course not. That'd be far too straightforward. What? Right, I'll tell him myself. He's not here, Peter. Well, there's somewhere that I need to be. When's he back? Your guess is as good as mine! I suppose you think I cooked all this up as well. Once I've finished sending loony letters and filming scary DVDs. I've apologised for that. You must admit it's a bit convenient you get broken into on the very day you bake me a birthday cake. This is patisserie, Michelle. Well, buy me a birthday cake then. I only have to look into the window and I put on half a stone. Worth it, though. Oh. <laughs> Do you not get it? I need to go. Back to Fizz. Back to work. Peter's great, but he's not a mug. Fine, go. Go. 
Look, I, I've checked your doors and your window locks. You're gonna be all right. Something for your break. Raymond Carver. Sonny, how did you... Your memory... Like an elephant. <laughs> yeah. First winner of the day gets a slice. It's bad for me. Lots of things are bad for me. Cake I can do something about. What, is she part-time here now or what? Oh, are you all right? Please don't be nice to me, Ailey. Don't think I could take it. You're all right, Fizz. You look a bit peaky. <sighs> Just didn't sleep so well. Oh, aye, right. guilty conscience. We've all been there. <sighs> well, he's not sleeping either. This business of yours is really getting to him. <sighs> Try living it. He's got a theory. Maybe you should tell the police. It's more than they've got. The flowers. All the time I thought they were being left for Carla. Oh, he thinks they were for me. <laughs> Fantastic. This day just gets better. <laughs> There's only one possibility, but he did think we ought to chuck it into the ring. You oh, know what? Michelle's shooting daggers in there. We should probably leave this till break. Yeah, yeah, sure, but that, that's a meat of it anyway. Fizz, you've not seen Carla on your travels, have you? No. Why? Oh, it's just James Radcliffe's in the diary for 12. He's a light stickler. I was trying to trip me up. I thought she might have been back by now, that's all. Another cunning plan foiled. I don't know, even when I withheld my number, you still scream the calls. Well, then, um, hope everything's all right at your end, and I'll see you later. I thought you'd never go. It's lost my order. Oh, Lauren. <laughs> Doesn't he realise we've got more pressing engagements? Someone's coming. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> For a truly catering boss, dress yourself before you dress the salad. Yeah, I'll try to remember that one. Damn bottle exploded on me and the desk. <laughs> and the computer. Oh, whoa, 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 don't go in there. I had to mop up. After ring the veg man, he's kicking off, reckons he hasn't been paid. No, no, rubbish. Look at oh, do it. Um, give me a hand with the chairs and wait behind schedule. Well, lucky for you, I can multitask. Veg man and chairs. Yeah, uh, we were so right to hire you. <laughs> Will you cover yourself up, man? I don't know where to be looking. What, if that had happened in the middle of service, eh? From now on, keep a spare shirt in there like everybody else. Don't get caught out like that again. Driving to your own court appearance? It's not the brightest idea you've ever had. It's the jalopy for you, mate, or Shanks' pony. Up to you. I thought you'd blow me out. So anyway, I promised him. Well, he promised her and then I promised him. Look, well, spit it out, Zai. I just want a couple of hours off so I can scatter Jack and Vera's ashes in Blackpool. Oh, take the rest of the day off, mate. Are you sure? Because I said I'd pick up Connie as well if this time. You go and pick Connie up. I'll phone Molly. Let her know you're on your way. <sighs> Cheers, mate. I'll make up the time. Well, I've had a couple of texts off Gary. Well, that's something. How does he sound? Can you tell from a text? He just sounds like Gary. Uh, he won't be the same, though, will he? Not after seeing what he's seen. That's what worries me. Mm. Oh, but after <laughs> Taking a well earned breather. <laughs> what kill for a pint? But I'd best make it an orange juice. Hey, that fizz tape's got a gob on her, hasn't she? Fizz, she's a sweetie. Yeah, when it suits her. This business with our Katie get in the flat. With Jesney. Exactly. I mean, what same person thinks that that's a good idea, eh? That be no one then? Yeah, but did Fizz back me to GL? You know, I think that she wants her Chesney off her hands. 
Probably some benefit scam. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. And did you go in like this by any chance? All raging bull? Well, uh, just talking straight, you mean? Is it a crime to care all of a sudden? Well, you see, in my experience... Yeah, what's that? Well, sometimes banning something just makes it more alluring. I look at prohibition. Oh, you want me to appease with you, eh? My 16-year-old no-all daughter. Anybody else, Fizz? Hilly youth? Taliban? Dad! That's a bit over the top. Over the top and round the flaming bend. You're losing it. You ought to have stayed in bed this morning. Hey, you know what? Maybe I should have done. I haven't sold him. That's obvious. Not today. It's Jack and Vera's day. I'm not going to spoil that. What, tomorrow? I'll choose my moment. And destroy his life. Let's not do this again. Hi! I thought you rang because you had something to say. Oh, where is he? Let me see. Oh, please, can I pick him up? He's just got him asleep, shush. Well, he's going to take him for a walk, just round the back. Um, yeah. Aye, right, thank you. My dad'll make you a cup of coffee if you're lucky. <laughs> I hate when those Irish eyes aren't smiling. <laughs> when are you going to get it through your thick skull, McCarthy? These eyes were born in Burnage. Thanks for the chocolate. Excuse me? After you? No, after you. I take it this is Carla. What's she done now? Well, it's not so much what she's done as what she hasn't done. She's booked this client in today. He's a right creep. Touchy feely creep. No, he's a snob and an head worker. I mispronounced this word. Haley said it's French or something. Anyway, he snorts, and suddenly I feel like I'm back in Sister Dorothy's class with my nose against the board. Nice guy. Yeah. Hope he comes in for a drink. Did it on purpose as well, in front of everybody. I could hear some of the girls sniggering behind me back. And Carla just left them. Oh, Carla was nowhere to be seen. She could be Christmas shopping or dead in a ditch somewhere for all I know. I'm supposed to be a right-hand woman. Being thrown in the deep end is one thing. Being left to drown. You're an asset to that company, but you need proper training. And Carla needs reminding. Yeah, but by who, though? Is that one New Zealand? Oh, sure, that. Ah, oh, this recipe calls for New Zealand. Oh, go on, live a little. Another winning combination, Claire and Ashley, roast lamb and mint sauce. Herbie lamb cobbler, actually. An old classic with a contemporary twist. A bit like yourself, Sal, eh? Are you sure he's good for business? Yeah, I tell you. I'd have no business only for this, lad. Put me back on straight and he has. Oh, Julie darker days. How are you and Claire? I'm picking up. Give him my regards. He, uh, he thinks he's been a bit of a bore lately. Well, don't all rust in iron it. Well, pain can do that to a person. I'll have a pound of Welsh, then. Hey, people don't mind a sad bore. Make some count the blessings. There's no bore like a smug bore. I've got a fit wife and a million dollar turnover type of thing. Senzel's reaching for the bread knife. Yeah, well, I think I'm safe on that score. Unless you want to swap the chump for some fella. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's still got his mojo, bro. <laughs> I'm not asking you to choose one child over the other two. That's what it sounded like. In fact, it sounded more of a threat than an ask. Blended families, the world is full of them. Yeah, it's painful when any marriage splits up, but time is a great healer. I love your girls. You can't love my girls. Like them, then. Enjoy their company. Nothing would make me happier than to have them in our lives, in Jack's life especially. Yeah, and you think they'd ever forgive me? You'd be amazed what people come to terms with. You told me to get rid of our baby before he was born, remember? Yeah, you'd still set me back. We could make it work. But only if you wanted. But then I've said all this. <laughs> and I've said it's never going to happen. So why did you ring? Because Ty don't want to ask me. Because if you want to change your mind, and I believe deep down you do, you best do it quick. I won't wait around uh, forever. Don't tell me you've left the baby on the bus. <laughs> so, um, Sophie's taking him for a walk. We'll catch her on Tile Street. Nice to see you, Connor. Don't be a stranger. What, with these two around? Won't be allowed, love. <laughs> I mean it. Time's one thing you haven't got. Follow that pram. <laughs> Oh, at last it's quiet. We haven't been all day, have we? Then I time to turn round. You've not told him. Ashley. 
처음 해봐 Ashley doesn't like change, Graham He does But there's going to be some big changes around here The France thing He's back on You know You said I know I'm sorry mate, I was just waiting for the right moment You're breaking up the double act For the sake of this double act I'm sorry, mate. Who is it? Hello? Anybody in? Hello? Hello? Oh, have I got the right number? Um. Why? What number are you looking for? Number five, Coronation Street. That's us, all right. Can I help you? Another day, another disaster. Could have been worse. Oh! 12 month ban, six point salmon license, and a fine. I get less for GBH, which I'll be committing next time I see that snivelling excuse for a solicitor. No, no, look, they had you banged to rights. That's the way it is. Oh, there's none so sanctimonious as a dry drunk. Look, um. Put these two on speed dial, you're gonna need them here. Street cars, sweet. And? The support group. Losers and losers. Is this you washing your hands of me? No, never. But I'm not gonna stand here and take any bashing, so. I'll see you later. Right. Oh, John! Thanks for answering your phone, at last. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's been one of them days. Yeah, it certainly has. This lady's come specially to see you. She thinks you might be able to help her. Oh, well, let's hope so. What's the problem? This is Joy. Joy Fishwick. Colin's mum. Oh, yeah? Colin, from Weatherfield High. How is the handsome devil? Well, that's just it. I don't know. I haven't heard from Colin in months. Me neither. And I can't understand it. Of course, when I finally tracked down one of his school pals, they said he'd been teaching in Rochdale and living in this house. Colin Fishwick living in this house? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm afraid you got that wrong. I've not even seen him, not for ages. And you've not heard from him at all? Not a sausage. He's a right one, aren't Colin? A teacher and he can't be bothered to put pen to paper. Oh, I take it you've tried phoning? Nothing. Completely dead. You haven't any more of these bourbons, have you? I have to watch my blood sugar like a hawk. Oh, yeah. I'll go. He always calls me on my birthday, come hell or high water. Not this year, though. That's why I'm so worried. Hmm. You've honestly no idea where he is? Only, I really, really need to see him. Watch it. Not sitting in A&E for five hours waiting for you to get your fingers sewn back on. Ah, <laughs> you're a red dab under the needle and cut and you could just do it. <laughs> Good <laughs> Rose, you should have even done a tap. Uh, hello, Nails. Uh, hi, love. Hey, we're doing the Herbie Lamb Cobbler for tea. Hey. Gonna give Dee a run for a money, aren't we, girls? Yeah. Hey, Chase. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. Rosie, tell them what we're having for tea. Bet his mother doesn't do anything more complicated than opening a tin of beans. Mum, like he's bust. Anyway, we're off no, out. No, 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 okay, no, I'll stick no. mine in the oven. I'll have it later. No, 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 no. Hold no, no, on a minute, no, Kev. No, no. Why don't you eat with the rest of us? Just back off and leave me be. What's the matter? Nothing! Kevin, if something's bugging you, you'll feel much better if you talk about it. Why do we have to analyse everything to death? Just give me some peace! Hey, where did you get to this morning? Work. Oh, so our computer turned up here, asking where you were. Bit of a mix-up, that's all. Oh. Look, sorry if I'm distracted. It's just... Poor old Mrs Fishwick. She looks like she's in a right state. I know. I suppose we should tell her. There's nothing to tell. Yeah, about the last time we saw Colin. She's getting proper upset. No, we don't want to go dredging all that up. Yeah, do you want me yes, to open Yes, go on, it? then. She's already gone through old package. It's a minesweeper. We just can't take the risk. Stick them on the... Plates. 
What if he tells her about me stealing his identity? She might go to the authorities. Right. Oh, someone's popular. <laughs> 21 today. <Yeah>. Again. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think I've got all the time in the world and then suddenly, bang, it's all over. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Last time I saw Colin, he was in fine fettle. Oh, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about me. My heart's on its last legs. Surely not. You look so well. You've got such a good appetite. The truth is, I might only have a matter of months. I'd hate to go without seeing him again. So many things left unsaid. I'm sure it won't come to that. Me and Colin have had our ups and downs, but when push comes to shove, he is my son. Do you know, you've got me thinking. That last time we saw Colin, I'm sure he told us he was working in a bookshop in town. Really? I don't suppose you remember which one. It was one of the big ones. I know that much. There's only a couple, isn't there? Oh, thank you so much. You've given me hope. Oh. <laughs> Got loads of ideas, you know. Have you? Yeah, like we could paint the bedroom completely black. Oh, that'd be a bit depressing. Well, no, because what you do is you stick a lot of stars on it, like silver and gold and stuff. That is brilliant. I know. Oh, oh. Hang on a minute. Jason! You got a minute, man? Talk to us. You know your flat? Yeah. Well, I was just wondering how much rent you'd be asking. Who wants to know? I do. Well, me and Kate. OMG, I have really heard it all now. Do you want to play Wendy House, do you? I'm earning now, so I can afford my own place. Which is more than you can afford, so shut it. You cheeky little mare. Don't know, mate, 3 50 something like that. Yes, and it doesn't mean £3.50 if that's what you're thinking. I'm not thick. Yeah, well, you are if you think you can afford a flat. Right, OK, there's rent, there's uh, council tax, bills. It costs a bomb. And how would you know? You still live at home, your mum and dad. At your age. Shame. All right, guys. You'll have to be quick. I've got a couple of students interested. You know, why don't you speak to the Dobbs? Yeah, maybe you can rent them outside Bog. That's more in your league. Shut it, Bapped. Right, lady, you are begging for a slap. Whatever. Don't you dare! What? I'm gonna miss you, man. Yeah, me too. Mm, the same old day about you. You've been like a father to me. Hey, come on, let's get stuck in. Can you some welly? Yep, you're right. There's a lot to be said for cleaning. Makes me go a bit zen. Right. You sort of become at one with the cloth and the water and the surface you're cleaning and your mind is so... You should have been a poet. I've got the soul of a poet. I've also got a very nice notebook with the word poetry on the front. But... Never written a word. I wonder if you'll give it a coat of paint. Freshen it up a bit. I take it this is to make it more appealing for the buyers. That's the plan. It's one of the estate agents, but nothing yet. It's a terrible time to be selling. Well, it might look. But I'll probably have to let it go for a lot less than what it's worth. Go in the back now. Peter, hi. Hi, love. Hey, Nick. Yeah, hi. Yeah. I don't get that kind of reception when I walk in the rofers. Yeah, well, Steve's not exactly your type, is he? Orange juice? Yeah, go on, make it a double. Oh, hey, Carla. Large glass of red? Um, yeah, lovely. I'll get it. So, is Si still with your dad and Davy, then? Uh, no, I've uh, stuck him in a cupboard with a bag of crisps and a bottle of pop. <laughs> Should we uh, sit down? It's not like it's yeah. busy, is it? So, the lights were still on in Underworld? Yeah, Michelle's pulling the late one. What's it to you, anyway? Bet you're loving having a new gopher to boss around. Actually, I think she's going to be quite an asset, unlike you. Well, don't work her into an early grave, will you? <laughs> I don't want to pick a fight. I know it's your birthday, but I need to know what happened this morning. It was something and nothing. You race out the door at half eight saying there's a leak at work, big emergency, then Peter turns up after ten saying you've not showed up. I leg it down there. Leanne's in the right state. 
tells me there's water pouring out of this pipe in the flat. The flat? Well, where was Peter? Why didn't he deal with it? He was um, taking sign into the dentist or something. He didn't even know I was there. He phones me, where the hell are you, and I go upstairs doing your flipping DIY. Well, it's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Leanne expecting you to sort it. Yeah, I know. The right pain. But what can I do? She's my boss. Hmm. Yeah, right. I wonder how Mrs. Fishwick's getting on. Yeah. So sad, a pining for a son like that. I hope she finds him. It's a bit weird, though, isn't it, him not getting in touch? He's probably got a damn good reason. What, his own mum, though? I've got one word to say to you. Silla. Oh, don't remind me. All sorts of things go on in families. We don't know one half of the story. Mm. Sad, though. It's like this one in here. We already love him or her, and we've not even met him, Stroker, yet. It's just nature, isn't it? <laughs> Poor old Graham. Gonna be out of a job. Necessity is the mother of invention, Ashley. Come again. You've always said he's not really cut out to be a butcher. He muddles along, all right? Exactly. Muddles along. Once you set him free, he'll be able to follow his bliss. His dreams, do whatever he likes. He likes butchering. It's ruined your birthday, hasn't it? Colin's mum showing up like that. I thought we'd moved on. I just want to forget the old fish with debacle. Right. Yeah, let's get a takeaway, go home and watch DVD. Okay. Try and relax, John. I bet we never clap eyes on Joy Fishwick again. <laughs> Same again. Yeah, go on then. Oh, and while you're there, will you order me a croque monsieur? Do you want to have any truck for following in this place, Claire? They'll know what a croque monsieur is. It's a French classic. It's a ham and cheese toasty. Yes, but it'll taste so much better if you order it in French. Oh, Chinese or Indian? Mm. Oh, no. Flaming hell, now what? Oh. Bad news, I'm afraid. Why, what's happened? Apparently, a man turned up at the bookshop and beat my Colin up. No! They said he was in a terrible state, all bruised and battered. Oh, oh, but he recovered, didn't he? He got over it. No. No one's seen him since. Well, maybe he went back to Canada. Oh! Oh! Let's get you inside. Call an ambulance, quick. <gasps> All right, it's okay. I'll, I'll be fine in a minute. I just... just need my puffer. Your puffer? My spray. Pegging it in our living room. What is wrong with you? Oh, oh. sorry. Oh, don't be daft. It's my little miracle work at this. Oh, you look better already. <laughs> Only trouble is it makes your mouth awful dry. Stick the kettle on, John. Oh, lovely. Mm. Is the is this a sofa bed? No, definitely not. Try and relax. Take all the time you need. Oh, yes. Oh. No. My, my heart's not racing, but everything's going round and round in my head. Oh, yeah, you've had a nasty shock. Yeah. Somebody, somewhere must know what's happened to my Colin. It's funny to think that's all there is in the end. Living, breathing human beings just turn to dust. I know. That's what'll happen to us, all that dust. Stop being so morbid, eh? No, I'm just saying. You know, it's so important to really live your life. Every precious minute of it. Yeah. Today made me realise how lucky I am. I've got everything I want. You, the baby. As far as I'm concerned, my life's perfect. Mom, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay, I'm fine. I just, um, it's been a bit of a day, that's all. Hey, how was Blackpool? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Where did you scatter the ashes? Off the end of the North Pier. Yeah, we took the tram as far as we could up and then, as we was about to do it, the sun came out. Oh, 
That's Jack and Vera resting in peace in their favourite part of the world, eh? <laughs> Peaceful, them two. They can bicker for England. Oh, I couldn't have a word. Yeah, go for it. I've got any idea what's up with Kevin up here. Well, it seems fine to me. Why'd you ask? Oh, I don't know. He just seems a bit tetchy you now. Like he's distracted or something. Well, he's not set out. I'm sure I'll drag it out of him in the end. I always do. Told you, don't like him. Yes, well, the olives, you're not supposed to like them. Well, why bother them? Because, like, sophisticated and stuff. I just want to order some proper food. Oh, I don't know why you just didn't score yourself a big greasy kebab. <sighs> so, what's new? Nothing. I meant... Yeah, I know what you meant. Well, it's hotter than hell between you two. Never had a rematch. You have. Oh, yeah. You can't find fate. Some things are just meant to. Right, that's enough. Mm. Oh, yeah, so four o'clock. What are you two guessing about then? Eh? Wouldn't you like to know? Please don't start. Sally said you were stressed. Is it any wonder? I've been keeping this to myself for months, and I am telling you, it's killing me. Oh, keep your voice down. All this pretending, that is the cruelest thing. Pretending to Tyrone that we've got any sort of future together. Keep calm. Hey, I'm parched. What's taking so long? Uh, the bitch is gone. Liz is going to change the barrel. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing. I'm, um, I'm fine. It's just, um, scattering the ashes, like you say. It makes you think. Have you got any cabs free? Now, if you can. Brilliant. Thanks. Lovely house in Chorlton, you know. Had a little conservatory at the back. Yeah, we went there for a party once. So how come he ended up in a grotty B&B? &B? Who told you that? Well, the man in the bookshop gave me his address. <laughs> Did a moonlight flit, if you please. I had to settle the bill. No, with all that's gone on, I have no choice. I'll have to go to the police. No. You know what he's like. He's no stranger to a bit of ducking and diving. Oh, you've got a point there. He has been known to get himself into some right old hard you do's. <laughs> oh, I hope he's not on the wacky backy again. Turns him into a complete madman. True. Or it could be a woman. Who's to say he hasn't taken up with some married floozy again? No. I suppose I'd better let sleeping dogs lie. Oh, your cab's here. Oh. Oh. You're right. Thank you. All right. You've been very kind. Don't forget your bag. Oh. <laughs> Me and Colin have lost touch before, you know. Yeah. I bet he phones you tomorrow. Yeah. But I've never come up against anything like this before. A complete dead end. Yeah. Be dead weird, Ashley moving on. You'd be out of a job. When he told me that he was selling out, as he was talking, I had this funny feeling deep inside. Indigestion. Ambition. <laughs> no, well, why shouldn't I buy the butchers? <laughs> With what? Chocolate buttons? A bank loan. From a bank. I can wear a suit and tie and everything. I can be very convincing when I want to be. My bottom was the talk of the young offenders. Midsummer Night Dream, obviously. I could see myself as a master butcher. Me cleaver in my hand, you could be my glamorous assistant. Knee deep in blood and guts, no time. Come on. I can't stand that Rosie Webster. The way she walks on, sticking her boobs out. You think she's the only girl with a had a pair? She's a total cow. I'm telling you something, she had a point. How do you mean? About us not being able to afford a flat. We've got to find somewhere, Chez. I can't stand being around my dad for another minute. No, I mean, we should probably be looking at bed sits and that. Just something smaller. Oh, mate. What are you? What are you doing standing around in here? Get back to that flat and do your homework now. Dad, I'm not a kid. I'm 16. I don't care, you've still got homework. 
For your information, I've already done it. For your information, I'll check your bag. Unbelievable, Dad, you can't go rummaging through my private I'm not stuff. standing here arguing the toss with you. Now get back to that flat now. Why is everything my fault? Get back. Why should I? Because, young lady, if you don't walk out of here right now, I will drag you out. Your choice. You see what I've got to put up with? The sooner we find a flat, the better. You know, we were just saying, you could make this place even better. And how do we do that? Cage fighters strung up over the bar. <laughs> You're joking, right? What, can you not see it? What, a bit of muscle men in shorts? Punching each other and getting all sweaty. I'll bear that in mind. Jace would do it, wouldn't you, Peach? Would they? Right, I'm going to get Si to bed, otherwise he's going to be all crabby tomorrow. Give him a big kiss from me. Well, I'll tell you what, you give me the kiss and I'll pass it off. <laughs> all right, love you and leave you. See ya. Good night, Nick. Be getting off and all then. I'll make sure Michelle's got a nose to the grindstone. Funny. Mm -hmm. See you later, Jay. Peter! Peter! Listen, I'm sorry, all right? You can be a right stroppy mare sometimes, do you know that? Oh, excuse me, you're not exactly sweetness and light yourself sometimes. Some apology, that is. Okay, let me just say thanks instead for coming with me today. I really did appreciate it. Yeah, of course you did. Banned for drink driving this morning, back in the bar by tea time with a large glass of red wine in your hand. At least I'm not driving. That's not the point. It's about time you got off anyway. There's a bus in five minutes. I do not do buses. I might get myself a chauffeur, though. Really? Market Lady Penelope. Oh, yeah, someone young and sexy with buns of steel and a nice peaked cap. <coughs> Gotta hand it to you, though. Don't stay down for long, do you? Me? Hm. I've had more comebacks than Tom Jones. Go on, what do we have to do? I feel stupid. You'll certainly feel stupid when you're in Labu laundry and you can't even ask for an apple turnover. I've never asked for an apple turnover. You want to when you're all on set. Come on. Bonjour. Mm. Have a feel. La chasseur. Du Perfect. You just asked for an apple shoe. Mm. Boss. Boss wifey. OK for time. Ah, oh, all short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right back at you. How's it going? I've set up a CD player next to the bed. Great. Gonna play French while we sleep. Apparently, it all goes into the subconscious, and then, well, um, Bob's Votre Uncle. <laughs> and Fanny's Votre Ton. Oh, listen to that! <laughs> Graham knows more than you. Hey, uh, Ash. Guess what? I've had a brainwave. And where does that worry me? It's about the shop. Go on. Well, you might be looking at the new proprietor. Are you sure? I mean, you said yourself you had the soul of a poet. It's a big responsibility running a shop. He's still got loads to learn. You know what he's like once he gets an idea in his head. That was murder. My nerves are shot. Yeah, tell me about it. I feel terrible. Poor Colin's mother all upset like that, and I'm the one to blame. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm the one who told that man where Colin worked. It's my fault he got beaten. You can't blame yourself. What if he was hurt really badly? She said he's never been seen again. You don't think that man could have, you know, done him in? Fizz, Colin turned up at the B&B, remember? Of course, yeah. Look, let's just forget about it. We watched that DVD, yeah? But nevertheless, Colin must have known we're the ones who sent that man round. You know what that means, don't you? All this weird stuff that's been happening must be Colin. I don't think so. Yeah? Makes a lot of sense. You stole his identity. Borrowed. I was sort of responsible for him getting a beating. Bet he's going to blackmail us or something. I'm pretty sure he isn't. He's been terrorising us, John, messing with our heads. Because he wants revenge. Oh, that's not his style. He's not that devious. How do you know? Do any of us really ever know anyone? We can't bring a baby into this terrible mess, John. We just can't. We have to sort this out. Are we going to do well, that? Well, we'll have to track him down and make him stop. Hi. Hi. You've been up long? 
long enough for this to go cold. Do you want another? You know the daftest thing? All this hassle, all this stress, just so you could spend a few weeks teaching. A few weeks. It's supposed to be for the next 30 years. Security for us, for our family. Yeah, we're really secure, aren't we? Colin Fishwick's stalking us. Not just you, but me and all. You brought that mad mare Charlotte into our lives. You pulled poor Brian from school into this ridiculous charade. And Chess, even Julie, the list goes on. I know, and if I could turn back the clock... And now there's poor Colin's mother. I thought she was going to drop dead on that floor last night. Well, she's an old lady. she got heart problems. Which we're making worse by the minute. And where have you ended up? Working in the bookies at the end of the street. I'll look for Colin. If I can get him on side again. John, the police are looking for our stalker. If they find Colin, he's going to tell them what you did and you'll go to prison. He won't come to You them. can't know that! Hi. Any news on Gary? Oh, well, he's back today. He loves his chocolate biscuits. I can't wait to get him back home. Yeah, I bet. Give him my best. Oh, ta. Morning. Hi. Tina not want you talking to me? It's a grey area. How's David? Well, he's got an appointment with his neurologist today, so he should get a proper diagnosis. Yeah? What time's his appointment? One o'clock. I'll let you know how he gets on. Appreciate it, Mrs P. Mrs Mack. Well, I wouldn't be ringing you if I didn't need to. I wasn't going to see you. OK, I've got to go. Morning. Morning. Mum in call centres. Broadband at home's playing up again. I'll try again later. Right. You know, by the way, Michelle, it's just occurred to me that I've never said what happens in the office stays in the office. Yeah? Of course. Only I need to know that I can rely on you. Well, why shouldn't you? Right, well, in that case, Cathy Walsh at Gomez is waiting on some samples. Why don't you take them over to her and introduce yourself? <laughs> in your car? Have you drive to her boss? No, no, the car's fine. <laughs> Good. OK, I've got to go and check the cerise. I think we're low. We need it for the Jennings order. Stop ringing me like this, OK? Is that your phone keeps going? Yeah, somebody asking for Shaz. Didn't believe me the first time, then they rang back and asked if I'd nicked Shaz's phone. <laughs> well, if they ring again, ask them if they want to leave a message for Shaz. That'll confuse them. Yes, love, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Said everything I wanted to say to you. Fat lot of good it's done me. Look, do you think I want to be stood here talking to you either? Well, I presume you're not wanting to invite me to Christmas dinner. Molly wants us to get back together. And before you ask, that's the last thing I want. Oh, well, we'd best do something about it then, if it's not what you want. I'm asking for your help, not for my sake. You know, you really are the most selfish man I have ever met. You didn't give a toss about your wife and family when you took advantage of a vulnerable, silly girl. Led her on, promised to the earth, and dropped her like a flipping stone. My wife got cancer. And as for the baby, no one knows how much I want that to be. Tyrone's, for everybody's sake. Baby Jack is Tyrone's. You just look at that birth certificate. But you couldn't leave it alone, could you? You're going to talk to her or not? Of course I am. If only to tell her to stop wasting her time on a disgusting, selfish waste of skin like you. Just, just leave it that. Hey, Gary, love. Oh, welcome home. Ma. Hey, mate. It's good to see you. All right. How are you? So sorry about Quinny. Yeah, he was a good bloke. The best. <sighs> Let's get you inside. 
Kettle's just boiled. First pint's on me. I don't think I'll be going near any pub. Not until he's better. Get a ringer. You're a hero, bud. You're right there, lad. Tired. Long journey. What's up? I've just been talking to the police. Hey, what for? I wanted to withdraw our statement. You know about the stalking? So they didn't find Colin Fishwick. Oh. They didn't know what I was talking about. But I didn't report it. What? But the stalker, it, it's like you said yourself. If they find Colin and he blabs, then I'm done. I couldn't face that fist. No, John, neither could I. That's why I was trying to stop them looking. Small eyes, though, isn't it, eh? Never stop. No, but it will. I mean, it, it has. I promise. Oh, where have I heard that before? I've had a tip. Delivery guy from Dunstan's reckons it's a dead cert. Is that the bloke who gave you those tips last week? That's the boy. They were dead certs and all. One came last, the other came second last. Right, see you later. I'm, I'm going to be late. Um, I'm going to go and look for that friend. Right. That's amazing. This tip. Long lost pal. Over and all what? Want to be a right heartbreaker, this one. Yeah. Just like his mother. Is that supposed to be funny? Well, there's not funny in any of this. Oh, you want to try being in my shoes? Yeah, and I wish you could be in mine. So you could stand back and look at everything. You'd soon be saying, what's she doing? A beautiful baby. Husband who adores her. Lots of women had killed for that. Not as a social call, then. Kevin's just stopped me in the street. Asked me to get you to back off. And since when have you done what he says? Since he's finally said something sensible. Molly, look, I don't know what's going on in that head of yours. What's going on in my head is knowing that I want to be with Kevin and our baby. And I also know that no matter what he says, it's what he wants to. So if you can't get your head around that, then do not bother wasting your breath. Are you all right, love? Well, I don't know. I don't actually know what I wanted to say. We'll soon find out, won't we? Afternoon. <sighs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. So, David, how have you been? Well, I'm not any more, you know, blackouts. Good. I've got the results here. Anything that you don't understand, please just ask. The MRI and the EEG scans seem pretty clear. So, taken in tandem with the recent incident of seizures, it seems likely you have what we term idiopathic epilepsy. Idiopathic? It means that we can't pinpoint a specific cause. It's possibly genetic. Um, it's not a brain tumour, though, or anything like that. No, no, anything of that order would have shown up on the scan. But that is what caused the accident. Well, it is consistent with the diagnosis. The seizure could have been triggered by a variety of things. Stress, tiredness, too much alcohol. I was stressed. Well stressed. I mean, you can help, though. The success rate in avoiding seizures altogether are quite high in cases like David's. But you can't cure me. Well, if you're asking, can we operate or prescribe a magic pill that will somehow guarantee you'll never have another seizure? No, we can't. I'm sorry. So that's it, then. I'm officially epileptic. Brilliant. Well, what are you doing here? Well, your mum promised to let me know the results, but I wasn't doing out. So? Well, I'm officially epileptic. Yeah? Fantastic, brother. Oh, cheers. Well, it is the answer to our problem. You can't be an attempted butcher-butcherer. Because you will. Yeah, well, the court's still got to be convinced. Yeah, well, what jury in the land is going to convict my buddy here when the doc says that he's prone to blackouts at the most inconvenient of times? Like, when a car's headed my direction. Yeah, it's hardly win-win, though, is it? I mean, ten years in jail or a life sentence as an epileptic. David, you do have epilepsy, but the consultant said there's every chance they can control the problem if they get the medication right. Now, well, there's a result. Pie? Yeah, go on then. David, the consultant's just said you've got to cut down on drinking. Yes, and she also said I have to rely on friends and family for support. So I'm going to rely on Graham here to support me if I fall over drunk. You're breaching your bail conditions. Not like anybody's going to care. Don't wait up. 
Colin's mother? I thought she was dead. She nearly was. It was like an action replay, Colin. I nearly had a heart attack myself. But what if she finds things out? Like what? There's nothing to find. There's a trail. There's always a trail. Something we've missed. Look, compared to this flaming stalker, Joy Fishwick is not a problem. Do you think she could be the stalker? She's a sick old lady. Well, she might be pretending. No, it's a coincidence. There's no way. Well, even if she only wants to find her son, that makes her dangerous. Well, we both know that's not going to happen. If you're right about how ill she is, someone bursting a paper bag behind her could be enough. You're not serious. The woman has a weak heart. No one would question it if she just dropped dead. That's a bit sick, Charlotte. Well, have you any better ideas? Hiya. Hiya. Um, just a tonic water, please. Ice and slice. Not drinking? Oh, no. I better not. Carla's letting me use the car. Fran and Joy, she must be mellowing in her old age. <laughs> she reckons I'm ready for more responsibility. <laughs> Kieran, have you got a minute? Yeah, sure. Thank you. What's up? Right. You remember I told you I thought Carla was up to something? Have you? Well, I caught her on the phone this morning and she lied about who she was talking to. How do you know? Because when she went out, I pressed redial and got Peter Barlow's mobile. OK. Kieran, Carla and Peter. No. Don't buy it for a sec. When he answered the phone, it was all like, I told you not to ring me a summit. Not, oh, hi, Carla, this is a surprise. I'll say it again. Not Peter. Oh, you mean the bigamist? The man who likes living on the edge and you can't tell me she's not sexy? So you're saying she's only giving you the car to keep you sweet? Hi, love. Hi, Nick. Hey, yeah. We were just talking motors. Yeah, nose to the grindstone. Uh, no slack. Well, if you keep your mind off the wedding, that suits me fine. Otherwise, it's all questions about volivons and, and do I really trust Kieran with the best man speech? Hi. I am in the room, you know. Since I was in the car, I couldn't get a word out of him. Well, try again. I don't know what to say. Well, I don't know. Let me stop you. <sighs> Can I get you something to eat, love? Mum, you've done that but fast food damage since I got home. Well, you need to keep your strength up. I'm fine. <sighs> well, it must have been really terrible for you. What happened? Yeah. Talking about it might help, you know. Better than bottling it up. Daft Kirk was right, man. You're the hero. You know, if I hadn't been for Quinny, I wouldn't be here now. He's the hero. And that's exactly what I'll tell his mum and dad tomorrow. Hey? We, um... promised each other if out... we'd go to each other's parents and tell them what really happened. Never mind the official version. So you can talk to them, but not to us? It's different. You sure you're up to going? What, so, so you make out I'm a hero, then wonder if I can face Quinny's fox? Well, you know he didn't mean it like that, but it will be difficult for them. No matter how much of a hero Quinny was, he was still their son, and he's never coming home. Yeah, well, just be grateful that it's me going there and not him coming here. Because if he'd had my luck... That's exactly what will be happening. So, how's the speech coming on? Very good, yeah. Managing to keep it clean? Well, as long as we stay clear of submarines and periscopes, we'll be fine. Yeah, having size so backup speech ready suddenly seems like a great <laughs> idea now. Yeah, it'd be better spelled and all, actually, judging from the notes I've seen. Have you gone through my notes? She'll be going through my mobile phone next, me texts. Oh, I've already done that. You haven't? Huh? It's what women do, Karen, didn't you know? Have you gone through Peter's? Oh, not for a long time. If I can't trust him now. Speaking of trust, what do you reckon on Carla handing her car keys over to Michelle here? <laughs> really? Mm, yeah, came right out of the blue, that one. Can't imagine what's behind it. Well, I suppose she's been through a lot, you know. I mean, that sort of stuff changes folk, doesn't it? Mm. 
You know, it'd be a shame if you didn't get to hear Kieran's speech after you've helped him censor it. You are coming to the wedding, aren't you? Oh, of course I am, yeah. Need someone to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not feeling much love here. <laughs> uh, Kieran, I've got a couple of food orders. Want me to wait? It's all right, I've got to go anyway. I was working late and I said I'd pick her up. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Yeah. You don't mind if uh, Leanne stays until closing, do you? Not up to me. Yeah, I forgot we've uh, changed the rotors. Don't wait up, hey? No, no, you know me. In bed by half ten. Rock and roll. Got your drink in. Thank you. Didn't think we were still talking. Is that what you want? Of course it isn't. That's what's going to happen, love. Falling out. And not just with me. Everybody. Your dad, your friends. Not with you. Anyone who don't buy into this fantasy of yours. And you're gonna run off with Kevin. You haven't seen the way he looks at Jack. The way he looks at me. No. Or I've seen the way he looks at Sally. Hey, you know me and your grand never talked. Oh, we fell out over a bloke. She tried to warn me off him. Well, I wouldn't listen. Of course, I knew better. Even years after, we're still both too stubborn to give in. And it was too late. OK. Even if Kevin is as bad as you think, it doesn't make any difference to the way I feel about Tyrone. Exactly, love. You went back to Tyrone because you loved him. For only a short time ago, you were the happiest bride in Manchester. Happiest couple before Kevin turned your head. Oh, yeah. Not the first woman to have an affair. Plenty do just what you've done. And then they come to the senses. But Jack, oh, do you really think that little baby could wish for a better father than Tyrone? Things are hard for you right now. But you'll give it a go with Ty. And six months down the line, you'll be so glad you did. What about his idea for another baby? If he hadn't have suggested it, I would have. A proper family. Something I'd have given my eye teeth for. Look, you fell in love with Tyrone once. And I bet when you start trying for that baby, it'll happen all over again. You must hate me. Of course I don't. You ought to. What I've done to your life with my selfishness. So many people's lives fizz reeled off the list this morning. Now, baby. If I end up in prison, you should walk away from this now. Pretend it never happened. And what about the stalker, John? You might let me walk away, but they won't. We need each other. It's the only way. The only way we can get through this is together. Sean and John against the world. Yeah, here we go, sir. Hiya. Paul, I'll go for me and uh Oh, uh, same please. Bye. How come you had to come in here anyway? Because it's a great place to be. Or because my dad won't ruin his chances with a certain pub landlady by drinking in here. Thank you. Ta. Here's to Gary, eh? Think to himself, did he? If you've been through what he has. At least we don't have to go to Walton Bassett to welcome him home. So you don't mind working late then? Actually, I've forgotten how to close up. Maybe you could uh, stay behind and help me. Be arranged. Any second thoughts then? Nah, of course not. One last fling before you settle down that crossed your mind? Nah. Why would it? I'm your mate, man. We go back a long way. Just thought I'd ask. Short answer, no. Why? Michelle heard Carla talking to you on the phone today. Whispering. So you two think that me and Carla... I said there'd be an innocent explanation. Are you looking at eating your Christmas dinner through a straw? I'm just saying how it looks. Of course I'm not having an affair with Carla. Or anybody else. 
He's not clear. What's wrong with Peter? Oh, he's late picking up Simon from his dad's. He said to say goodnight, uh, you're busy. What are you doing? Nothing, no. So, um, are you going to carry on looking for Colin today, or is that it? You've given up? No, I'm going to carry on, because I am. You off then? Yeah. So I'll see you... Well, I don't know. When will I see you? Um, it'll be tonight. I'm in the bookies all day. Mm, try and enjoy it. Mm, I will. Hey, this business with Colin Fishwick, him sending his stuff, I will sort it. Be nice if somebody did. Don't worry. Twenty p change. Thanks, Rita. No, thank you, love. I was going to ring you. So, talk to me. Save yourself some money. What's happened with our Katie? Ah, well, <clears throat> she's agreed that I'm right and she's wrong, and she's thinking of joining a nunnery. Very funny, Dad. Yeah. So, what has happened? Well, you know your sister. She thinks she knows better than anybody. Gets that from you, doesn't she? Ah, well, you see, you're being the funny one now. Uh, just the paper, please, love. Forty-five pence, please. There you go. Thank you. I just think she's capable of anything. You want to be careful. I want to be careful. I brought her up and provided for her, and I want to be careful. <laughs> Else she'll walk out and you won't get her back. Well, thanks for the advice, love. Oh, no need to thank me, cos I know you won't take it. Uh, four fifty-five change. Thank you. Is it China where young people treat their elders with respect and uh, uh, do as they're told? Supposed to be. Hard to imagine. Yeah, well, it's definitely not here. <laughs> See you, love. <laughs> ta -da. Oh, so, how... I just wish Graham would accept. Somebody deliberately knocks you over in a car. That person is evil and wants locking up. What he's not is poorly and needing doctors and nurses fussing over him. Right. I know Peter is no saint. Yeah, and neither's Carla, so that's two no saints together then. What I was going to say is he's no fool either. He's planning on marrying Liam, and he has the little fella to worry about. Yeah, I know that, but why is Carla ringing him then? I don't know, and neither do you. Now, give me a kiss. And go in there and be nice well, to everybody. One of them's here at least. Have mercy, give us shelter. My fingers are frozen. I won't be able to use the machine. If it were one of us that were late, we'd have our wages docked. So are you gonna open this door now or what? Is Carla not here then? Well, it don't look like it. Nobody's here! Hey, and we're having a brew and all before we start. And a chance to get warm. And a massage with hot oil. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought Carla was opening up. So have you um no, I'm not even gonna say out. OK. Have a good day, then. Uh, have you thought any more about what we said? What we said? Well, what I said. Oh, just forget it. You mean about us having another baby? You don't have to answer. I'm going to work. Wait. I have thought about it, actually. And what? You still think no? No. I think... maybe you might be right. What, that we should? Well, like you say, we'd be a proper little family then, wouldn't we? Oh, babe, that is just fantastic. <laughs> well, it might take a while, hi, though. It's only me. Don't go broadcasting no, it. I won't, I won't. Hiya. Hey, hi, Sal. Hiya, Sal. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to get to work, but... Oh, I'll get Jack, eh? <laughs> she goes. Well, it wasn't for most of the night. It's not his fault, though, is it? <laughs> anyway, I was just going to say, I've got today off. I was going to ask if you fancy coming shopping. Oh, yeah, that'll do you good. Do you mind? I can lead my own life, thank you. Uh, you was the one complaining about being stuck in the house by yourself all day. 
If you're going to go to work, will you go? <laughs> Make her go with you. Oh, I don't want to force her. Right, I'll say bye to Jack. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't mean setting off right now. I thought we could go later on this morning. Right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Can't get rid of him sometimes. <laughs> hey, and Rosie said she'll come as well, so I thought we could have a look around the shops and then we could go for lunch somewhere. Of course, I always knew something had happened. We never really meant to drive into Graham. And you knew more than most of us. And I'm delighted they're dropping the case. Of course you are. And then you think of why they're dropping the case. Because? He has epilepsy and he lost control of the car. And then you think about what that means for the rest of his life. It's too soon to say. Poor lad. Still, at least it means he can come home. And they have all sorts of drugs these days, don't they? Right. See you then. Bye. Well, anyway, at least you've had a good night's sleep. Not really. Oh, dear, have you not? I've been awake since four. Well, you can just have today as a complete rest day. Just take it easy. I told you I'm going to see Quinn's mum and dad. <sighs> yeah, but it doesn't have to be today, does it? Why not? Well, because I imagine it's not going to be the easiest thing to do, so why not wait till you've got your strength back? Mum, I'm going today, so just leave it. Can I get you anything else? Some toast? No! Just... Just leave me alone, will you? Oh, well, I'm very sorry. I'll make us a part of tea, but don't worry. You don't have to have any if you don't want any. John? Oh, um, I'll have... Let me see. Custard slice? You always do. Well, you're saying I'm predictable. I always say that as well. <laughs> Anything from Roy's? Ooh. Chocolate muffin, Ta. You're welcome. Jan, you still on your diet? Yeah. Well, get me a custard slice and I'll eat half. Well, I'll set the alarm. I reckon I must have slipped right through it. What you need's a fella. What for? Kick you out of bed? Unless you've already got a fella and you're just not telling. I can live without fellas, thank you. No, a new alarm clock's all I need. You'd be going to the same place. Coming in first. Why? Because there's nobody else in. That's not a reason. It's a great reason. It's the best reason there is. Hello. Morning. Morning. Look at this. Just come. I took it off the postman. Right. Look on the back. What's that supposed to mean? Because I'll tell you what I think it means. It means he's going to kill me. Down. While he kills me? Nobody is going to kill you. You said you were going to see to this. I am. Yeah, but yeah. when? Later today, as soon as I can. Do you mind if I keep this? Why? What are you going to do with it? Well, first, I'm going to find Colin. I don't care what I have to do, but I'm going to find him. And then, I'm going to give him one last chance. Either all this stops, or I'm going to go to the police. And never mind what that means for me. Yeah, well, it's got to stop. Because that really upset me when I saw it. Yeah, yeah which I can understand. You're right now, though. Yeah, I suppose. Just let me know what happens. Yeah, of course I will. Is uh, everything all right, John? Yeah. Just hormones, you know. Slightest thing, she's in a state. All oh, right, yeah. Look, um, I, I know I was late on Monday. Oh no, you do. Forget but, it. Um, I, I was wondering if I uh, if I could take another liberty, get away for an hour or two late this afternoon. I like your style. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Yeah. Go on, then. Oh, cheers. Don't worry, I will not be asking again. Well, ah, I'll leave you pleasure, I see. What, oh, school not opening today? I've got the morning off, which I know you're not going to believe, so go on, shout at me. I should do more than shout at you. Though, as it happened, so I didn't want to have a little shout with you, so we might as well do it now. Well, I've got school. Where are you went in such a rush a minute ago, where are you? Where are you when I get myself a coffee? Hey, I said, wait here. Come on, sit down. Talk to me about what? I want to know are you really as grown up as you seem to think you are. I can't believe I just did that. It wasn't that bad, was it? I mean, in your mother's house again. It's my house as well. Well, even so, what if she'd come in and fa- 
Welcome home. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Mum. David, back with us then? Yeah, sorry. No reason why I shouldn't be, now that drop the case. Don't worry, I'm not going to start fitting in front of you. You don't say that. That's what people will think. No, they're not. David's got epilepsy. Oh, no. Well, it's nothing me and the NHS can't handle. Yeah, anyway, we'd better get back to the bar. Been working from home, it's uh, warmer than over there. <laughs> you mean you've been lazing about? Are you going to go and unpack? Yeah. Oh, I think I've left my bag upstairs when I went to the loo. I'll get it. Uh, excuse me. Careful and delicate me. Must be strange being back with me. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that, should I? Uh, working with him, I mean. <laughs> well, a little bit, maybe. Easier <laughs> than being married to him. Yeah. <laughs> so, let me tell me about you and this lad. What lad? Do you know what lad? Well, I see you say his name, I don't. Chesney. Tell you what. Well, are you and him? Is it like serious? Yeah. See, when I was your age, <clears throat> if you went out of the lass, you didn't go and sleep at the house. Are you listening to me? Yes. I mean, I just don't see why it all has to be so rushed. It's not rushed. You and him doing what folk used to do only after they got married. Wait, what century are we talking about here? Well, anyway, they waited until they were older. So is this when everyone lived in mud huts and thought the earth was flat and if they weren't careful they'd fall off the edge? Yeah, funny. Well, come on. All right, listen. Are you taking precautions? Dad! What sort of answer is that? I asked you a question. Of course we are! And that's the truth. Because if you're not, you risk gambling the rest of your life. You are risking pregnancy and diseases. I said yes! Oh, good. So is that it? Can I go? No, I, I want to. Uh, I want to see both of you. The two of you together. Why? Well, you'll find out then, won't you? And go easy on that credit card, you. Yeah, well, we're only going to be looking. Yeah, well, unless we see something we like. Uh, you haven't seen Rosie, have you? She's on Mather and Jason for some money, because I won't give her any. Well, I've got plenty for both of us. Come on, let's go and find her and get going. See you later. See you. Yeah. Am I driving? You certainly are. Oh, hang on a minute. Peter! I've not told anyone about the conviction. Quite frankly, I don't see why I should. So why does Michelle think that she's having to drive you around, then? Part of the job? You're not going to say anything, are you? Oh, come on. If you don't know me well enough by now... No, I know. I know you're not sorry. How's the drinking? Back under control, which is where it's staying. So I ask a bank for money, and they say, well, what security have you got? And you say, well, no, that's why I'm here. And they say, oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Hey, you're not supposed to be coming in here near us. Yeah, which I'm not doing. And anyway, that doesn't apply anymore. Uh, yeah, well, it still applies as far as I'm concerned. Graham, David, what do you want, pine? Right. Finish your drink. You're not stopping in the pub that serves psychos. Um, that is a little bit harsh, but all the same, yes, we shall go. I'm not arguing with you. Come on. Look, I'm glad they dropped the case. Of course, out. But epilepsy. Mm, I know, a bit of a surprise to me. <laughs> Must have been. It's like finding out I'm not really who I thought I was. I mean, two weeks ago, she's pulling pints in here, and now she's loading it over us. What does she know about that job? Nothing. Still. Wouldn't you rather have somebody you can get on with? Oh, I would. I'm not so sure I do get on with her. Because you don't want to. Well, all right, and I'll tell you why I don't. She's just... Please, can I, uh, can I just have a quick worry for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Take your lawyer with you. She won't need a lawyer. Well, how do you know who told you? I can't remember. But I don't know if it's true. Reed, have you heard this? David Platt has now decided he has epilepsy, and that's why he nearly killed Graham. He hasn't just decided. Well, it's first time I've heard of it. And now you won't tell me you told him? Because I can't remember. Anyway, I'd better get back to work. Uh, and I'll be an act. How come I'm the only one that sees David Platt for what he is? Why do you all let him fool you? Bye. <sighs> well, don't you think it's all an act? I don't know what to think, but I think I've been on my feet long enough, so I'm going to leave you to it. All right. Yeah, sure. Oh, come on, I'll be sacking us. Oh, I'd like to see him try. Once more into the breach. In particular, I'd like to see her try. Oh, all right, we're not going on about eight to Michelle again, are we? Yeah, come on, it's getting boring. Hiya. Now then, do you uh, fancy a drink? Oh, I, I can't right now. I've got to go back to work. Are you coming, Isabel? In a minute. Uh, anyone asked, tell me chairs, playing up. 
Eee, that's a good one. Mm. Your chair's playing up. So, what are you up to? Um, my friend Quinny that got killed. Yeah. I'm going to see his parents and tell them what happened. So, yeah, we uh, promised each other. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. Well, look, if you want a drink tonight to help you get over it. I might do, yeah. I might need more than one. I'll do. All right. Yeah. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to say it. Oh, yeah. And you're probably gonna say it's none of my business, but I'm a friend of Leon's, so... Well, that makes two of us, then. I can't help it. I keep seeing you having cosy little chats with Carla. What's going on? You mean talking to your boyfriend, then? Kieran? Yeah, because you see, we've already had all this. No, this is me. This is what I've seen with my own eyes, which is you and her looking like you're sharing secrets. And so, on the basis of that... Well, I hope I'm wrong. You are. You're completely and utterly wrong, yeah. So what's all the whispering about, then? Ah, no. You've just asked me, is there anything going on? I've told you there isn't. That's it. It's not just Leanne, you know. It's Simon Hey, or... hey, you've had your answer. Let's just leave it, all right? Oh, and if I hear that you've been telling any of these daft ideas to anybody else, I'm not going to be very happy. Well, I won't be. Good. Thanks for this, Peter. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back as quick as I can. Yeah, of course you will. But why does he want to see us? I don't know. He said he wanted a word and would I bring you. So we can have another go at me? It didn't sound like it, but all right, I'll tell him he said no. No, they don't think I'm scared of him. Well, aren't you? No. All right, I'll come. But I want some crisps first. You've timed that well. I've only just got back myself. Look at this. Now read what it says on the back. Except, well, you don't need to, do you? Because you wrote it. Oh, we're not going through all that again. I've had this kind of thing sent to me before. You know I have. No, I know what you told me. Which was the truth. No, it wasn't. I found these in your desk. Chesney's keys. And do you know what else I found? All these little bits of magazines left from when you put those nasty little letters together. Yeah? You gonna admit it? Though, you know what? Doesn't matter whether you admit it or not, because now I know. So say what you like, it's not gonna make any difference. Okay. It was you. Well, I think you knew that all along, didn't you? Yes, you did. Because you're a game player like I am, and all this was part of the game. No. You knew and you did nothing about it. And now you've decided that you've had enough and it's time we moved on. Well, yeah. I think you're right. Everything gets boring after a while. Sit down. I'll get something to drink. What do you fancy? Red or white? You're mad. You know that. I'm only mad when I want to be. Sit down. You want to be treated like adults. Not much chance of that, is there? Well, there might be. Are you going to listen to me? Only you might find being adults is harder than you think. It's about keeping your promises. Thinking about other people. Not expecting everything to be handed to you on a plate. And being able to choose who you want to be with. To a point. You mean we still have to do what you say? Well, you don't know what that is, you. <laughs> for crying out loud. Right, listen. You two have been looking for the place of your own. Yeah. And what you found is it's an expensive world out there and you can't afford one. Well, maybe just... So, what I'm saying is, OK, you can go and stay at his place. But in return, I expect a bit of respect and good manners and a smile on your face instead of looking like you've just bitten into a lemon. Yeah? Well, yeah, I suppose, but do you mean it? Well, I wouldn't say it if I didn't. Well, thanks. That's great. But you have to deliver your side of the bargain, all right? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Dad. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. thank you, Mr Armstrong. Yeah. Have a drink. I haven't poisoned it. Do you realise what you've done? Do you realise the state my wife's in because of you? Well, some games can go a bit too far. What's that a game? To... Anyway, not like you mean. So, I'm sorry. Is that what I'm supposed to say? I don't care what you say. 
What I'm saying is, it has to stop all of it now. I don't want to see you again. I don't want to hear from you. It's all over. Because wifey doesn't like it. Don't you talk about Fizz like that. Well, why don't you just leave her? Well, you can't be happy with her. She's as thick as a plank. John, you deserve someone better. <laughs> like you, you mean? Yes. Look, you're here now. Why don't you stay? You don't have to go back. Ring her. Tell her it's over. I'm telling you it's over. I'm telling you all communication has to stop. If there's one more letter, photo, anything, then... Well, they, they, they just better not be. Or what? Never mind what. Now, come on, John. What were you going to say? You were going to say, or oh, I'll go to the police, weren't you? Yeah? Only then you realised, can't do, can I? So what are you going to do? Well, I'll certainly tell Fizz everything. Everything? Including what happened to Colin? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, no. And sit down. You look ridiculous standing there like that. See, what we need is a solution that will suit both of us. Or else whichever one of us isn't happy can walk straight out of here and land the other one right in it. Comprende? I just want an end to all this. Well, maybe that's what I want, too. So let's think how we're going to manage that. Oh, that's nice. Well... Have you decided what you're going to say to them? What, you expect me to tell you? No, of course I don't. I'm going to tell them... the only thing that I can, tell them what happened. Yeah, of course. Right, so I don't know what time I'll get back. OK, son. Hey. And I am proud of you, you know that. Yeah, well, don't be. Because I'm just lucky. That's all I am. Lucky. See, you go home and you've got somebody. I come back here and what have I got? Nobody. I don't see I can do much about that. John. But I'm not leaving my wife. I love her. She's having my child. So you're loyal, I know that. If you want somebody to share your life with, find somebody else. You know... I think that's the answer. Well, yeah, I think it is. No, not me finding somebody else. Sharing. Sharing? Me and Fizz sharing you. Oh, no. Yes, and don't say you can't because you're the expert. You can be John when you're with her and Colin when you're with me. Half the time with her, half the time with me. That's it. That's the answer. So, you can see me during school holidays and some weekdays when I'm not teaching because I'm good for nothing then. Oh, and I play badminton on Tuesdays. And you can see Fizz the rest of the time. You really are bonkers. That kind of talk isn't going to help. And how do you think I'd explain something like that to Fizz? No, don't bother answering because I'm not even going to try. I love her. She's my wife and I don't want you. And OK, if you're going to go to the police, then go. But I'll tell you something, I've been in prison. I've done it once and I can do it again. Do you think you can? I'm going now. And I don't want to see you, I don't want to hear from you, not ever, OK? You're breaking my heart, you know that. What heart? You haven't got one. Right from the beginning, you've been leading me on. Oh, no. Letting me think that there's something between us. I've done no such thing. And that you'd, sooner or later you'd leave that woman. Never! And if you thought that, then, well, I'm sorry, but I never even dreamt of it. So we understand each other at last, do we? I'm leaving this house and I do not want you in my life anymore. I don't want you calling me. I don't want anything to do with you. That's it! Hiya, yeah, I've um, just booked a taxi from you. The name's Windass. You were picking me up from the Rover's Return Coronation Street. Yeah, I um, I won't need that anymore, so just, just cancel it. OK, thanks. Bye-bye. Can you get through? Oh, of course you can. Right, well, sit yourself down. Oh, you're already sat down. So... When's your Gary getting back from seeing his mate's mum and dad? Oh, he won't be back for ages. So, was there... was there anything else you wanted to ask me? What about? <laughs> about our Gary. Cos I think you care about him, don't you? Oh, no, no. You're not going to worm stuff out of me? No. Get me to tell you things you can't get him to tell you himself? Is it? 
Isabel. Well, see, I don't even know what to call you. Yes, it'll do. I'm worried about him, about the state of his mind, and I want to help him. Well, all this that's happened in Afghanistan, it, it's all still in his head, so maybe it's good he's going to see these people. Then he has to talk about it. Perhaps we just have to be patient with him. So now can I ask you? What? Has he said out about me? You mean what he thinks about you? He said very little about anything. How he's thinking, how he's feeling. But I know he talks to you, doesn't he? Sometimes. Well, sometimes he's more than he talks to anybody else. Me, his dad, anybody. So, I'd say he thinks quite a lot about you. And you know what? I'd be very glad if he did. So, she said, can they come round you at six o'clock? And I said, yeah, of course you can. Do they have an house to sell? I don't know, but she asked if anyone else would put an offer in. You know, like they were serious. Right? Yeah, good luck. Of course, I don't want you to go, so I didn't mean that. Or do you have? <laughs> I don't know. I know this must be hard for you. You want to come over and have your holidays with us? Might be one long holiday, the way things are looking. No. I'm sorry, ignore me. Of course you want to sell the house. See what we're on, will you? Because I want the place looking nice and tidy. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Come in the back door and remember to take your shoes off. So you're still thinking about taking over this place? <laughs> I am. But well, the banks don't seem to think that that's a good idea. I think he found shopping boring, he's exhausted. Of course he has, he's a man. All men find it boring. So, did you buy me out? Um, no, what, no, we just weren't really in the right shops. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I was only joking. Anyway, listen, Sally and Rosie have gone for a drink in that joinery place and they want me to go with them. So go. What, are you sure? I don't think it's very fair, but... Of course it's fair. Look, have you got enough money? Yeah, yeah, of course I have. And I won't be long, it'll be like an hour tops. Be as long as you like. But listen, uh, what you said before about us having another baby. Well, you said it first. I, I just think it's going to be, like, perfect. Thank you. All right. Mm. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Owen has said it's OK for it to stop any <laughs> That's what they're telling you, is it? No, not just them. Oh, he told me himself at dinner time. Oh, OK. What are they saying? I thought they had dreams of getting a flat or something. I think they woke up a while back, as soon as they saw how much we cost. So everybody's happy, then? For now, anyway. Well, yeah, I meant for now. We all know that. Happiness is only ever for now. Hi, Chez. Hi, Katie, how are you? Hi, thanks. Glad to hear you're going to be our guest. I'm going to go and get changed. What's going to him? Don't ask me. Evening. Oh, so you are joining us tonight, then? Of course I am. I thought maybe your mother wouldn't let you out after what she found out this morning. All she found was it's working from home. Yeah, well, she wouldn't be finding it again. <laughs> really scared me after that. Honestly, she hasn't said a word, and neither has David. He's the most suspicious beggar on the planet. Well, I don't want a baby till I'm at least 31. And then my figure will be going anyway, so it won't really matter. Well, things don't always go to plan. In fact, I don't know anything that does in this life. Did you actually want a baby? Or was it like an accident? You can't ask people that question. Well, what? I mean, she does have to answer. Um, right, well, it wasn't planned exactly, but now I've had him, I feel like he was. Well, you couldn't wish for a better father. Tyrone's been terrific. <laughs> I don't know what Jason would be like with the baby. Oh, let's hope we don't find out. Honestly, do you know what? I don't know what you see in that lad. He's not a lad. Well, he's got the mentality of one. After everything we've given, you know, private education and... Oh, here we go, She mother. throws herself at Jason Grimshaw. Honestly, even his name's horrible. Do you really want to be called Grimshaw? Oh, yes, Mother, because Webster's, like, really upper class, isn't it? Oh, yeah, compared to Grimshaw. Your drink, my lady. Ready and waiting. Ah, oh, thank you. Would you pay for it? 
Well, it's coming out of my ways, yes. Oh, well. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I better tell you, because Peter will if I don't. I asked him what was going on with him and Carla. Oh, no, after I'd gone and done the exact same thing. Yeah, I know, but they were at it again this morning. As soon as she saw him, she rushed across the street. Then they were, like, standing really close, just muttering away. What was Peter's answer? Well, he said there was nothing going on. You see? Doesn't mean I believe him. Can I just ask, not a word of this to me, huh? In fact, within 20 yards of her, it's juicy gossip like this that it's very difficult to want to stop to. Yes, okay. Yeah, people love keeping going till Christmas. I think they've won them, kids. You can see it in their faces. They have won, haven't they? I'll be watching them like hawks. Either one puts a foot wrong, the deal's off. There'll be a barbed wire barricade across the street with me sitting there with a machine gun. Hello. Didn't expect you back to soon. Not been anywhere. What's happened? Just couldn't do it. Couldn't face his parents? More. Couldn't face the memories. Anyway, look, I don't want to talk about it. You might want to sometime. No, never. Definitely not today. So, um, how's your day been? I had all sorts of plans for you and Sophie. I was going to turn you both into lovely young ladies. What, are you trying to say that I'm not? Of course you're not. Well, do you want to be? <laughs> well, I am a lot better than some. I don't do drugs. No, all I'm saying is you don't know how your kids are going to turn out, do you? Well, like Sophie seeing her prayers every night. And what about Jack? What's Jack? <laughs> I'm not bothered as long as he's happy. Right, I'm going to get another round, but this has got to be my last. <clears throat> Hiya. Hey, love. Hi, Nick. Hello. Listen, uh, I've just been talking to Simon. Oh, who's he with now? Oh, he's with, uh, my dad and Deirdre. But what he's saying, that you never turned up at school. When? This morning. You know, for that little concert he was doing. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot all about it. I did remind yeah, you. Yeah, I know you did. Was he upset? No, no, I don't think so. I just think that, uh, he worried something might have happened to you, you know, oh. like I did, but... No, nothing happened. Just forgot. Oh, well, good. No harm done. Right, better go and get him, put him to bed. All right. Right. <sighs> oh, no. Blame me. No, Why? don't you say anything. Don't even speak to me. It's just we're not being used to this. I've forgotten all the sorts of stuff I should have brought with me. No, we all do that. So, we're just going to nip back to mine while my dad's not in. How do you know he's not? He'll be in the Rovers. He's seeing Liz. All right. See you later. Yeah. Bye. So, now we've got a part-time lodger. Yeah, who's still at school. Now I'm the one wondering whether it's a good idea. We'll have to see. Hey, listen, sorry for the way I was when I came in. It's just one of them days. It's OK. Tell you what, i am nip out later, get us a bottle of wine. What? I only want a thimbleful. Well, that's what I was hoping you'd say. Well, it's Friday night. It's traditional. Uh. <laughs> oh, you're here. Oh, good. I didn't know whether to keep your son dinner or not. You haven't eaten, have you? Uh, no, no. Well, this will only be ten minutes. Your dad's supposed to be back, but I'll believe that when I see him. So, how was it? I, um... Yeah, it was OK. Well, not OK, but as OK as it could be. Were they glad to see you, Quinny's parents? They were... I don't know, really. You don't want to talk about it? Don't suppose I do, no. Right, well, we won't, then. And don't worry, I'll make sure your dad doesn't either. Do you want a drink? Hey, mind a couple of visitors? Hi, uh, no, come in. Yeah, Mo's still out with your Sal and Rosie, having a drink at that new bar, so... <laughs> Me and him had a chat, decided the men should get together and all. Oh, and look at what he's got hiding in his nappy bag. <laughs> Dada! <laughs> you won't think he's old enough to buy him, would you? But he says they never ask his age. I'm not disturbing you, am I? No, no, it's good to see you. All oh, right, well, I just thought you'd be on your own, same as me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, then, pal. Here's to the men. The men. So, a 
that's from tomorrow, you're a free man. You can go anywhere, do whatever you like. That's fantastic, David boy. Yeah, except I can't though, can I? No? No, I don't know when next I'm gonna have one of them seizures. Ah, uh, right. It's like I've got this bomb attached to me, yeah? And it's ticking away, only no one's told me when it's gonna go off. You know, will it be when I'm in the Rovers or when I'm crossing a busy road? Yeah, it won't be like that forever though. Once they get the medication, right? Medication. Wow. Yeah, good word, mother. Well, what word would you use? Drugs. It's when they've got me on the proper drugs and turned me into a junkie. You're not going to be a junkie. Of course I am. Junkie, Dave. I think drugs are like people. There's good ones and there's bad ones. There are, Graham, yes. Well, until I get my good drugs, National Health approved, can't touch you for it. So I might as well still be locked up because nobody knows just when I might explode again. Last one, I promise, because I don't know about you, but I need to get home sometime. <coughs> yeah, OK, but I'll just, um, I'll just ring tie. Oh, you're terrible, you, Mum. You're worse than me. Yeah, well, I've had loads of practice. Oh, could you tell me? Yeah, go on then. I, uh, um, yeah, I'm still here, but uh, I'll be home after I finish this drink, OK? Yeah, that's OK. You take as long as you like. Uh, is that Jack I can hear? Yeah, but he's all right. We'll see him to him. It's not a problem. Nothing's going on. Just brought him round to Kev's, that's all. We're having a party of our own here. Well, don't go get him all excited because we'll be up with him all night. He's fine. Kev's got him. Has he? Yeah. You just enjoy yourself and don't worry about us. They seem keen. That's when we could move out. And they don't have anywhere to sell. Oh, won't it be wonderful if it all just went through, no problems? It must happen sometimes. Oh, please, let it happen to us, please. I just want France to be a whole new start. I don't want to be leaving anything behind. You're going to leave me behind at one stage. You're happy about it now, though, aren't you? I can't be happy if I tried. And you mean that? Of course I mean it. <laughs> Kim, can you just hold the a minute? Will you have your executive meeting? Of course. What? It has to stop. What has to stop? We do. What, because you missed some lousy school concert? And because your mother nearly caught us, and because I am getting married in two weeks, and because this is just plain wrong. Not if we love each other. <laughs> love? What's that, eh? The feeling you've got one minute, it's gone the next. Peter asked me to marry him, and I said yes. And I won't do that while I'm having some dirty little affair. Oh, thank you. That's how anybody else would see it. Doesn't mean we have to. It's not like that, and you know it. I love you. Yeah, well, you're just going to have to stop. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're not being honest with yourself. What is it you truly, truly want? I don't know. I only know what I said I'll do, and I'm going to do it. And this, what we're doing, has got to stop. Now. There. I've said it. There it is. And if you're saying you can't do that well, then I'm going to have to leave here. Thanks, Kevin. I'll take over now. One or two raised voices there. I just had a minor disagreement. I'd hate to see your man after a major one. I gave some crisps. No. What are you doing? Coming to see you. Well, you can't. I said I don't want I to see you anymore. I know what you said. But there are two of us in this, and I don't agree with what you said. Well, look, we can't talk here. Somebody will see us. Well, let's go for a drink then. No! No! No, we'll, um... Round here, come on. We'll go around the corner. Everything all right? Fine, thank you. What are you looking so miserable for, then? None of your business. Nah. Something's happened. Something's wrong. Let's have a little guess at what it might be, shall we? Brother, you didn't. Why, some woman giving you the boot. Yeah, that's it, innit? You chatted her up, she told you to get lost. Oh, well, at least it shows she's got some taste. Shut up, David. Oh, don't tell me Red Over Heels in love with her. Had your heart broken, have you? Oh, well, never mind. Shut up! Nick! Let him go. Tell him to keep his opinions to himself. If I have a seizure, it'll be his fault. Be your own fault. Don't provoke him. 
See, you might think Fizz is an asset, somebody on your side, but no. Fizz is a liability, because I can come round here and destroy your marriage. Destroy it. Any time I like. And that's what you're out to do, is it? No. No, I'm here to give you a second chance to save it. Just how do I do that? By agreeing to share. No. Half of you for me, and half of you for Fizz, if you really have to spend time with her, though why, I will never understand. What, you mean you don't think she'll notice if I'm just not here half the time? Well, we can be a bit flexible. When I say half, a couple of nights, weekend here, weekend there, and once she's got the baby to occupy... All right. You will. Well, I don't have a lot of choice, do I? No. One condition, though. Go on. There to be no more letters, or photos, no. or videos. There won't be, I promise. Good. So, to start with, she can have you over this weekend, and I'll have you... Monday. Monday? After school. I'll, um... I'll try. No. You won't try, John. You will do it. Or else I'll think you've broken our agreement. In fact, I might even think you never intended to keep it. Yeah, OK. OK. So... Give me a hug. What? Give me a hug. Well, we best be getting back. She heard him crying, so she'll be worrying. Yeah, of course. Oh, but first, let me give you something. We have a Christmas present for him. Whoa, what? Do you think we've got no money? <laughs> I think you're loaded. I know what you take home every week. <coughs> Here. I just want him to have something from me. There you go. Well, that's too much, Kev. What, now you're saying I can't afford it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying he's a baby. There's not much you can get him at that age. Well, put it in a bank account for him until he's older or something. I don't know. Just... I just want him to have something from me, that's all. OK, cheers. Hey, listen, I'm not supposed to be telling anyone, but... me and Molly are going to be trying for another. Another? Baby, yeah. So you never know. Might be asking you to be a godfather again soon. And it'll cost you double next Christmas. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you, mate. <clears throat> Sorry, that took a while. Well, it did. There's a woman in front of me couldn't get a credit card to work. I don't know why. Crisps. Oh, thank you. Anyway, while I was waiting, my phone went off. Oh, you should have me when one ever rings you. Yeah, usually. But I've been trying to do something about that nasty photo you got this morning. Oh! Well, I said I would. So have you. Well, I've spent all day trying to track Colin down, leaving messages all over the place. And? Well, finally, I'm standing in Dev's and he got back to me. And has he admitted it? Well, it's not as simple as that. No, he denied it. Well, I knew he would. I've arranged to meet him on Monday night. We'll get it sorted then. Why didn't you just say to him when he rang you, did you send it? Well, because I want to say it to him face to face. I want to see his expression. Well, yeah. Yeah. Where are you meeting him? Um, Doncaster. Doncaster? Yeah, well, that's where he's living. And how long's that going to take you? It doesn't matter. The important thing is to get it sorted once and for all. And this time, I will. I promise. Well, I hope so. Hi, love. Hiya. Come here, give me a cuddle. Did you have a good night? I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm not a right good person, am I? Ah, oh, cos you missed size concert, you mean? No, you're not. You'll be ashamed of yourself. I'll try and be better. OK, love. We'll try. I still think I should come with you, see Colin. We can't both take the afternoon off work. And besides, I'm the one who brought this on us. I'm the one who needs to sort it out. And she's lost it, though, John. If he's mental enough to film the inside of the house. I know the man. Once I confront him with the DVD, threaten reporting him to the police, he'll back off straight away, I promise. <laughs> Trust me, love. After tonight, Colin will be out of our lives forever. See ya. See ya. Oh, hiya. Hiya. Had a few too many last night. Had to leave the car here. You okay? Yeah, fine. Morning. Hiya. Liam. I've packed it in with Nick for good. 
Eh? I thought you and him were love's big dream. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm marrying Peter next week, for God's sake. <laughs> you know, I should have seen this coming. It's me all over. Wedding date looming, I start feeling the pressure, the Battersby Jean kicks in and I start looking for the nearest exit. We'll have a chat at dinner no, time. No, there's no need. I'm fine. My mind's made up. But thanks for all your advice over the last couple of weeks. I hate to think what would have happened if I'd made the wrong decision, eh? You are right. Yeah, fine. I think I'll get started on them invoices. I've been putting them off since this time last week. You can't pretend everything's normal. So what's the alternative? Pretend everything's abnormal. What could be more abnormal than you marrying a bloke you don't want to? Who says I don't want to? You. Every time you look at me. Nick, I've already told you it's over. It was just... It's what? Wedding jitters? One last trip down memory lane. Look, take your pick, but I am marrying Peter and sooner you accept that, the better. You no, know, all I have to do is go to the bookies and tell him half of what's been going on behind his back. You wouldn't do that. No. Of course I wouldn't. I'll never do anything to hurt you. I love you. Cheryl's going to be here in a minute, so... And I'll never stop loving you. The sooner you accept that, the better. I'll make a start on those invoices. I know how much you hate doing them. What do you call these? Knickers, why, what do you call them? Talk to me like that again, sweetheart. And you'll be out that door so fast you'll leave tire tracks. Uh, what's the problem, Mrs. Connor? The stitching's all over the shop. Do them again. Get them right this time. We all make mistakes, Mrs. Connor. Oh, really? Tell me about it, Sally. Because it was 4% wastage in our last order. God knows how many this time. You are meant to be professionals. Pathetic. Why, man? I know she's not the sunshine and lollipop type, but still. Are you all right, is he? Yes, I'm fine. What's eating her ladyship, Michelle? Peter, I really need to see you. Everything. Court case with drinking, I feel like I'm losing myself. Look, just calm down, eh? I, I can't just drop everything. No, John's got the afternoon off, so I'm on my own. All right, look, I'll try and get a couple of hours cover, okay? Your place. Oh, I love him. He was laughing her way up there. He's supposed to be sleeping. He was. At first. You can't just come home on your break and wake him up. Yeah, I know. I just love that big smile when he sees his daddy looking at him. Why can't her husband do slopes off to the pub every chance he gets, eh? Oh, there's plenty of time for that. <laughs> Give it 30 years, we'll be Jack and Vera down to a tea. <laughs> Have you got any ideas what we can do with that 100 quid? I and mean, Sal gave him for Grimbo. Well, it's way too much if you ask me. Well, they love the little mite, don't they? Hmm? How lucky is he to have godparents like that? Yeah, dead lucky. What the heck is this doing here? Oh, we're just all the machinists. Nice to do we all. That is a trip hazard. Somebody could break the neck. What are you doing? They were expecting this before dinner. Oh, yeah, Kurt was going to deliver it. I'm sure he's just on the Get your boyfriend too. on the phone. Kurt's not my boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry, love. No offence. Listen, will you do us a favour? Will you call that moon-faced simpleton you hang around with? Tell him, if he doesn't get this order delivered in the next hour, I'll be wearing his crown jewels as earrings. You can't talk to people like that. I'm sorry. Can't talk to people like what? You flinging your weight around, bullying folk. You're the factory boss. You're not flaming Madonna. Does anyone have a problem with the way I speak to them? No? You're the new girl. Don't talk for them, eh? This lot know if there's a problem. My door's always open. Ty, I haven't seen Kevin. I'll be always hoping to find some dinner. No, he's on a call out. Oh, what a shame. 
I want a good moan and a long drink after the morning we've had. Oh, Carla cracking the whip, eh? She's like a demented lion tamer. What I wouldn't give to tell her where to stuff a job. You know, but with it being Christmas and everything. Yeah, yeah, we want to make this year's a good one too. Oh, by the way, thanks so much to you and Kev for that money you gave us for baby Jack. Oh, right, yeah, no, it's a pleasure. Molly could buy a nice little outfit for him with it. <laughs> for 100 quid, we'll buy my baby tuxedo. Oh, I'm going to have to get that. I'll see you later. So, David's in court now, isn't he? Yeah, but the medical what's-its have confirmed he's got epilepsy. So, so he'll wriggle out like he always does. T, you can't fake epilepsy. What? I won't put it past him. Four nights, please. Mm. Well, keep attention. Your gorgeous husband. The answer's no. I ain't said no yet. Anyway, tip for me, love. It's not kiddies. But I've just been looking at these holiday packages to lap lap. Oh, Becky. No, it's just a long weekend, right? But they get to meet the big man himself, Santa. And then they get to go on like these um, reindeer type sleigh. Becky, thing Becky. Is the... You know how skimp we are. And now I've got Lloyd on me back asking for the money I owe streetcars. We've a bit Maxine, Amy. Oi, hey, just... listen, I am at rock bottom. In fact, I've hit rock bottom, smashed my way through, and found another couple of levels underneath I didn't even know existed. Right. Yep. <laughs> when you said I'm going to learn the business from the ground up. Just drive, eh? Why? What is the point because of. Because I've got emails to send and phone calls to make. I can't do that if I'm driving, can I? I've got us a couple of nice juicy steaks. Even made my own bernays. Taste. Lovely. Look, Charlotte. My last fella was a veggie. He'd sit at the table giving my lasagna filthy looks and tutting. I can't stay long. Better open another of these, Colin. I'm sure they're making the bottle smaller. Are you really going to keep calling me Colin? It's all part of the game, isn't it? No, it isn't a game. It has to stop. It stops when I say it stops. Don't you forget that, Colin. Now, come on, Grumpy Draws, get that vino opened. We've got a lovely afternoon ahead of us. Do you want me to come in? What for? Well, I just thought if you're going to be working from home... Can you just go back to the factory and make sure that idiot Kurt gets that order delivered? You're the boss. Thank you. Hey. You're on time. I'm impressed. You sounded in a bad way. Yeah, I am. All right. Come on. So, these two lads are chatting at the back, not listening to a word I say. So I fix one with me paint-inted evil eye and I say, what's the last thing I said? And he's all, I don't know. So I roar, get out of my classroom. The steak was gorgeous. So he slopes out and I look at the other one and I say, what's the last thing I said? And he roars, get out of my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the whole class went off laughing. Could hardly tell him off after that. <laughs> Kids, eh? Funny thing though, his coursework went missing come the end of term. Had to fail the lad. That was his uni chances up the swanee. You're kidding. Claimed he handed it in. But they're very clear. No coursework, no pass. You ever find out what happened to him? <laughs> Keep up, Mr Chips. <laughs> I chucked it in a skip somewhere off the A54. Teach the little scumbag to cheat me. Come on, who reads these court pages anyway? There must be dozens of cases here. It tells the old world I've lost my licence. Hello. It's me. Well, 
I'm um, I'm busy. Oh yeah, with Peter. I know. I saw him coming. Let me up, Carla. I mean it. You're just going to have to come clean. I mean, it might not be a bad thing that you've got somebody else to talk to, but this is this has got to stop. So how long's this been going on then? Oh, wind your neck in, will you? It's not what you think. Third column, halfway down. When did this happen? And why have you not said anything? Why do you think I was mortified? Okay, so I get why you've been acting weird recently, but what has Peter got to do with it? Because it's not just the ban, it's me drinking, okay? I've been putting away a lot more than's good for me. Actually, I've been putting away a lot more than be good for the Rolling Stones, so... And I've got a little bit of experience with that myself, so... Peter's been great. I bumped into him at one of the Malky meetings. She needed somebody to talk to, so... Well, you could have always talked to me. Yeah, but he's been there. Done that. Well, why don't I put the kettle on? We can all... Look, no, it's OK, Michelle. Do us a real favour. Just hold the fort at the factory. That would be a real help. Yeah, of course. You know, I am always here. If you need anything. I know. Sorry, I didn't say anything before. I just... Come here. You've got my number, Carla. Use it. Yep. All right, I will. How's it going? Yeah, good. Cheryl's just getting ready for the after-work rush. She's dead good, you know. She's been checking out some high-end tequilas. What do you reckon? <laughs> you better not show Janice. She'll never be out of the place. Nick, don't. I love you. I wish I didn't, but I do. Nick, please. I can see it all clearly. You, no. me, this place, a life together. Nick, please stop it. Tell me you can see it. Say we wouldn't be happy. I'm marrying Peter in a week. Tell me. Say we wouldn't be happy. No, Nick, we can't. We can do anything we like. We can be happy. Look, Carla, uh, I really should get back. Can't you stay? Look, I sympathise. You know that. But you need to talk to your own mates. Join one of them support groups you're so sure that you don't need. But this... Yeah, you said it's got to stop. Listen. Michelle's one of your best mates. She's not going to say anything. This is all good, this, honest. It's a... It's a really big step for you. Whoopi. Okay. I'll see you later. I should get going. Already? I've got to get back to Fizz. I've told you. I don't want to hear her name, not when you're here. Look, I've said I'll see you. I don't want an affair. This isn't about what you want, Colin. Haven't you figured that one out? This stupid woman. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me? The stunts you've pulled. The DVD, the funny phone calls. Fizz was ready to go to the police. She wouldn't do that. Yeah, but I've had to tell her this is all Colin's doing. That's where she thinks I am now, reading him the right act. I'm protecting you. And yourself. Still. Thanks, I suppose. Yeah, and now I've got to go. Just another hour. I never knew you had it in you. We'll go out somewhere next time. He 
he's big and strong. The man I love. What was all that about? Hundred quid for Jack. You've already said you don't want anything to do with us. It was just a Christmas present. You've made your position quite clear. You don't want us, and we don't want your guilt money. Hiya, Sal. Hi, what is that gorgeous baby of yours? Oh, he's doing the teeth. Oh, get him started early, that's what I say. <laughs> um, thank you so much for that money for Jack. Well, it's a pleasure, and he is our godson after all. It's, um, it's way too much, but I'll let you off. See you later. See, See ya. ya. A hundred quid. What? Ty caught me in a soppy mood. Yeah, well, I was the one who looked soppy when Tyrone thanked me this morning. I had to pretend I knew all about it. Well, you was that bladdered when you come in last night, even if I told you, you wouldn't remember. We've got two daughters of our own. You were quick enough to say no to Rosie when she asked you for some money. You come in. So, uh, when's your plaster come off then? Not soon enough. Could have been a lot worse, though, eh? For some of the lads, it was. Uh, David, did you get off or has he escaped? Neither. The CPS realised what we've known all along. It was an accident. Hmm. We should uh, trade war stories. Huh. Check out the scar. <laughs> <laughs> we can just go home if you want. No, it's all right. Graham's cool. I don't think Tina is. We should enter the Flaming Paralympics. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. So, uh, go off then. What you think? I'm still officially an epileptic, if it makes you feel better. Want to join our Paralympic team? Drink, David. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I'll get him. Graham? Uh, yes, prefer. What, that's it? Mate, like nothing's happened? Life's too short for grudges, mate. Remember that. So, do you want to hug or something? Maybe. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Rising above the old town, What did you say? We got your beer in. Fridge, what happened? Uh, just laid it out. Told him how frightened you were, how we're going to go to the police. And what did he say? Well, he just broke down, saying how sorry he was. He's not been himself. I think he's losing it. Oh, Chesney's keys. He couldn't give them back quick enough. He was in a terrible state. He terrified that thug will track him down again. He's going back to Canada. Tomorrow, he's in the middle of packing when I went round. Oh! Oh, thank God! So that's it. No more weird stuff going on. No more Colin. We'll have to tell his mum. No, he, he doesn't want to see her. She's going out of her mind, John! Look, I'll just say you bumped into him. We don't have to say where or where he's going, just that he's OK. Well, if you think it's for the best. I do, yeah. And then, once we've done that, we can put Colin out of our minds forever, yeah? oh. I'll get your text. I'm glad it's all over. It didn't take those too long to make things up, either. Uh, look, can I get you a drink? I've only got ten minutes. I've left Leanne on the road. Yeah, white wine. It'd be lovely. Thanks. How are things going with Leanne? Uh, yeah. Great. White wine and a uh, beer, please, Steve. You drinking in our humble pub? Well, we are on it. Oh, here you are, love. I just, um, I'll have it there for you. And, uh, yeah, about earlier. I'm so sorry, baby. Lapland, what was I even thinking? Come well, on, don't worry about it. No, I mean, after everything you've done for me, Hey, Max, listen, you are my missus. And I said, don't worry. Uh, he swallowed my last quid, where's my credits? All right, soldier boy, easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. things just rubbed me. Why don't things work like this? Blimey. Blimey. Well, that's nearly brained me. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, mate. I don't see how that's happened. What, what, you think that I've come home from nearly getting blown to bits to get killed in my local boozer? All right, free drinks for this man all night and we'll say no more about it. What? We don't want to get him angry. All right, don't push it now, lads. Around on the house and we'll say no more about it, eh, guys? Yeah, all right, fair enough. Same again around then, lads, eh? Yeah. Cheers, mate, my uh, temper sometimes. Might order something to eat. 
starving. Yes, get us a bowl of chips, yeah. What So how's uh, life in the factory without yours truly? To be honest, I nearly jacked it all in today. Why? Carla, just vile. Not much gets to me, but that woman, she just knows how to press people's buttons. Tell me about it. I've never met such an hard-faced cow. It's, it's like she hasn't got any feelings at all. Sorry, I can't take your call right now, but please leave a message after the tone and I'll call you back. <laughs>